Do you want me to recap? No. All right. <laughs> I was born in 1982 to a principal. Really? You were born in 82? Yeah. I'm older than you. Yeah, I'm the you're, oldest motherfucker. Yeah, you're older yeah, than Oh, it's your birthday. I'm 40. We didn't say that yet. Josh just turned 40. Happy yes, birthday, man. Josh. <laughs> you know what you say? A group of friends in their 30s. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, well, fuck it a up. group of friends in their 30s and their old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and their dad. <laughs> oh, Uncle Josh. It is not cool to turn 40. <laughs> Dude, now that you're 40, do you think you'll start wearing pants in this room a little bit more? No, when you get older, you wear pants less. Uh, I think that's actually true. Yeah, he'll just get a diaper. <laughs> uh, the right. older you get, the less diaper. pants wearing. Or not care about my chair. <laughs> I mean, Ryan's chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a free chair. I don't care. Okay. That's Matt's chair. Done. Yeah. And Ryan's chair, he brings around with him. Yeah. Like it's his water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best chair in the house. <laughs> I told you, though. I was like, you can bring your own. And Matt's like, fine, I'm bringing four. <laughs> so now there's five office chairs in here. Yeah. I told you I have like 100 chairs in my house now. That's true. True No story. couch, but lots of chairs. So, so, recapping. Who wants to do that? Someone should do it. Where do we you. start, Brian? Not you. <laughs> Gee, you do it. You haven't done it in a little while. I haven't done it in two weeks. All this right. guy. Really did yeah, you? Oh, he did it last week. Alex did it last week. Oh, where do we start? Okay. I need not, I need a uh, Brian notes. Right. Yeah. If only you could do it. Set timer to 35 <laughs> minutes. Oh yeah. Really? That's where we started? Yep. Yeah. It oh. went real fast. It's mm. been a couple weeks. Um Alright. So we had found a tower. We also found out there's like twenty <laughs> towers you- in the world that all Pertain to the old gods. Were the there twenty? Gods. I wrote it down. Twenty-one, I think. Something like that. I thought it was blackjack. Yeah, twenty-one towers, but there's twelve tower towers, and there's nine other things. Yeah. Points of interest. Points of interest. Either way, this was the second tower we found, and in it we found that there was an elder god being trapped inside, maybe spiritually or physically or both, maybe. We weren't a hundred percent sure, but Brian decided to release him to the world because that's what Brian does. He's like, "I'm going to stop this thing." No, he didn't do that. Uh, it's not really his job. So we decided that we're going to try and send the tower to another plane because that was somehow a possibility. Because fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't understand how it works, but these two smart guys think they understood it and they're doing the math. We did so, the math. Mm-hmm. I think we did it. In fact, I think we were successful. We did all it go off yet? Yeah, it went off. We all think we were successful, sort of. So no, nobody confirmed otherwise. <laughs> we sent that tower to another plane, and that was with the elder god, the Christmas Yule. god Yule. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he was the it god was the Christmas of special. dreaming, god mm. of dreaming and sleepers. Mm-hmm. The Cthulhu. <laughs> After that, we decided to continue on our journey towards the library, which we found out is another fucking tower. Mm. These just are never ending. The library is not a tower. It's a, one of the other points of interest. Right, it's a point of interest. P-O-I. It, it, right. It's with the Elder Gods again. God damn it. So that's Boy. where we headed. We had to talk to old man mm. Mossy. Yep. Did I get that right? Yep. Old man Mossy, who was not a man and maybe old, it was a giant... He was 40 feet fucking mm. tall. Troll thing? Hunger mm. thing? Tree. Tree. Tree-like plant creature Should've that eats everything it. it sees. So we offered it the, the Horn of Valhalla. Here, you can have nine mm. Eric's every seven days Damn. that you can eat. I'm so mad at we you. We came up with such an elaborate <laughs> stealing I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. And you chicken out, we're just like, here, give it to him. <laughs> yeah, that was really great. <laughs> I you know you were on board with like, me. Oh, <laughs> yes. Have it. Yeah. Yeah, we probably spent a good half an hour, hour of game figuring out how we could get oh, to Mott to give up this treasured item. And then we get to this creature, and 
Tamat is the biggest pussy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking just, here you go, here's a fake horn that I don't know I have. <laughs> that guy was 40 feet tall. Mm-hmm. Here you go. <laughs> so, that's actually pretty much where we ended. The only thing that happened after that is we met Oslagon, the other elder god, who was like, yeah, I'm working for you. No, you're not. I'm here to help you and give you presents. Bullshit you are. Here, have some good things. I'll never ask for anything from you. Yeah, right. Oh, and he's going to answer our one question. We each get one question. Which came first, chicken or the egg? Well, that wasn't your question. No. So Brian that. wants to know hmm? how to become an elder god. No. Or like them. Alex Sorry. wants to know how to save the sleeping prince. Matt Tamat wants to know... How to save the sleeping princess. How to save the princess, or what she has to do with you. Yeah, I just want her. I just want to know the role of everything. Didn't want to know about his parents or anything. Fuck them. Oh, they're barbecue. <laughs> and like, oh, I wanted to know oh. how to stop the elder gods. I thought that's what we were trying to do, and you want to become one? So how do I stop Brian, John? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use your hammer now. Use it now. If you, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Stop him now! Right, <laughs> stop him before he grows. All right, that was the recap. It probably didn't make a lot of sense if you haven't been following, but basically, Cthulhu, Tentacles, Elder Gods, go. Right. Can you pass the coffee? I need more. Hmm? Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> Cthulhu, Tentacles, Elder Gods, go! go. I need more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you time to eat. Okay. I'm a nice guy. Thank you for your follow. I erased the sky. He raised the sky or raced? He raced. He raced? He raced. Like E W. D raced. Grab some bacon. You can spend it for inspiration later. Uh, you can even give the GM inspiration. That's right. Wow. <laughs> you would know that if you watched last week's. Yeah, but weird he said he was so sick he couldn't do anything. I really was super fucking sick, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you fuck you! You gave it to me, you piece of shit! <laughs> Look, I lit match my ear for like two days! <laughs> I still can't hear out of this ear. When I go, like, it goes, <laughs> burp. <laughs> Mine, I can half hear out of my right ear. This is three weeks going. You know, I have Dude, a big problem now, up. right? You might have this problem later, too. And my biggest problem is I don't get earwax anymore. Oh. I don't know where the fuck it's I going. I don't, I don't, I don't know problem. where it is. Well, I get earwax, all right. I think it's just all trying to go down. It's like, here, have some more clog. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't when you know. said big problem, you know, he might have a problem too. I was like, what the fuck's oh, about? Shit. Like, what's about to happen on <laughs> on, <laughs> on Twitch TV? All right. Yeah, okay. this is not good TV right now. My earwax. <laughs> My earwax. I have no clue where that's going. <laughs> I feel like you should be like. What are you talking about? That's like best kind Instead of D&D breakfast club. It's like D&D geriatric. It's better than yeah. yeah. D&D geriatric. Oh, man. <laughs> Bullshit. Have you seen my walker? <laughs> Have you seen my walker? I can't do anything without my earwax anymore. <laughs> huh? Huh? You want huh? something to drink? Yep, a glass of hot water. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What? No. <laughs> I hope when I'm that old, oh, God. I'm still playing D&D. I hope they come out with at least a 6 edition that doesn't fuck up skills so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like skills in this one? No. I assume that I was I really liked 3.5 before the power creep. 3.5, yeah, made sense. They did so right slow. now, you I think skills. proficiency is too subdued and general traits are too high. We're like mm-hmm. uh, I'm trying to look for like a, if you have a strength uh, of 20 you have a plus five to do a thing. When does your proficiency bonus catch up to that? Yeah, it, it doesn't. Um, I was, well, no, it does at like level 15, right? Or 12. Yeah. So you have to be over level 10 in order for your like trained skill to be as good as your natural aptitude. I just mean also just like it doesn't account for like training as well as it should. Mm-hmm. Or like a uh, ballerina could go use a trapeze and do ridiculous stunts or wield a sword because she has high dex, but it doesn't have anything to do with like her training or 
Anything oh, like well, there's no, like, melee skill or... I mean, there is. You just get it or you don't. Skill. It's like yes or no. Yeah. You're proficient at level one? Yes. You're always I mean, proficient. Good. I think they have a system that breaks down skills, probably in the DM guide. And there's probably in-depth ways to handle it, but... I like doing like five yeah. skill uh, dealing with skills because it was like, oh, if it's a skill you're trained in, it's one to one to buy it when you level up and you get skill points, right? Mm -hmm. but if you're not trained in it, you can still buy it. It's just two to one. So it's like, it's a harder thing because it's not a thing that you're already good at. So yeah. you could have, a, you know, a fighter that could pick pockets and open locks. And he didn't have to multi into rogue, mm -hmm. which was cool. He probably wouldn't be great at it. But he could do it. All right, is this insight check this or is, is this yeah. D D? What are we doing? <laughs> Greg's right, about whatever. the addition. <laughs> okay. Oh, the old person griping. <laughs> in my day, we used to handle skills. We the had way. to calculate Thacko uphill in the snow both ways. <laughs> like, the fact that you know Thacko. Oh yeah. I my balls sank to the floor. Leave it to this guy. <laughs> All right, we're done. Not wearing pants. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not age related because I'm older than you and that shit hasn't happened to me. So you better go see somebody. <laughs> yeah. You got problems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right so, so we're talk. still, are we in still down in the, the getting, library? Yeah, getting, getting downloaded. Yep. In you know. the library. I've just got a plus two to my strength and he's going to tell me how to stop the older guys. Right. Uh, so, good news, bad news time. For who? For you. Uh, stop is like a temporary thing with these guys. So you're going to get a lot of information on what's going on with the other gods, what they are, what your normal gods are, what's happening, how you got here. So basically, like, everybody on this planet that is a humanoid is non-native, right? Uh, aberrations are the only native things. And so think about things like, uh, I mean, you'll get some flashes of stuff like... Uh, Oh, what's that guy? The gibbering mouther? Is it gibbering? Gibbering. Gibbering? Maybe gibbering. The gibberish? The gibbering mouther? Probably. That makes sense. Um, so just like you get like weird amorphic, like too many eyes, tentacles, all kinds of mouths, like weird shit. That's the only stuff that lived here before. We have one of those. Do we? That oh, tentacle thing right there? Yes. Like That's shit. what that reminds me of. Shit like this. Yeah, put it on the tile. Like this guy. <laughs> Too close. <laughs> Too close? I'm like, yeah, like this guy! You came here to watch Ben play with miniatures, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but what happened is you guys came from a place where your planet had been stripped of resources and utterly consumed. And so there was nothing left and you had to leave. Right? And some of the people that were in your dimension uh, found a way out. But what they really did was they opened all of the in-between spaces. When you teleport, uh, you're skipping through another place to bend space and time, right? And this little, some of this could be lost in your character because you're not super intelligent. But what he gets is that what you think of as elder gods are just the native um, creatures of that other place. And so, you know, you made a deal with Oslagon and... You guys skipped through and got here. But he's kind of like a bad insurance salesman. He promises you all kinds of stuff, and not all of it happens the way you think it's going to. And so the other elder gods or native beings of that plane were really upset and have been since trying to get in. Your scientists have been using their biology as technology. Um, right? So... The only good way to stop them is to shut down all, like, teleportation. Magic has to go away. Magic would have to be over. So there is a chance. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. Uh, Do I know every religion? Sure. Do I know if Maestro is in charge of magic? All of the gods that you think of as gods like Maestro, Morden, all those guys, they're just people that were some of the first people programmers slash scientists responsible for the travel over here. 
And what they did is they uploaded their minds into the structures of the towers to try to keep the, like, temporal fissures and stuff at bay. They're just programs that are maps of people's brains. Is he telling me all this? I mean, you're kind of getting it in, like, images, flashes, pictures. After you're done being downloaded into it, it's just stuff you're going to know. Like, no one's having a conversation with you, like, blah, 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 blah. It's more like, and then you know a thing. You're, like, seizing in the chair. <laughs> hey. You guys doing the crappy flap while this stuff is hooked up into the base of your brain pan. We all got, like, <laughs> fish foam. <laughs> yeah, right? Down to our belly. Sar- Sar- Eyes rolling back into your head and shit. Hmm. So that's your answer? I mean, so if you could find a way to destroy all the towers, right? All the doors. If you could close all the doors, what would happen is magic would stop being a thing in this world. Because the way that magic works is you're basically siphoning energy or borrowing from that other place. All magic is to some extent that. But most notably, teleportation magic would be the first to go. So you could, but there would be ramifications for your actions. Okay. And you'd have to find every crack, every cranny, every fissure into that other place and close it up. Cast mending. The wheels are turning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Why yeah. is Bella so important? <laughs> is that what her about. name is? We have her name. I don't remember the it. Princess. Oh, oh fine. I'll, princess. I'll handle this. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's been a while since we've seen her. Meyer Linda. Meyer Linda. Neil Graff. Island of Nail Graph, right? Why is she important? Why do I see her in my visions? And why is she whatever? And what do you have to do to save her? Yeah. Okay, so why is she important? Why did you see her in the visions? And what do you have to do to save her? Yeah, basically, what am I... Why am I doing this? Why? <laughs> okay, so... Um, all right, so... When the towers were made before everybody came over here, right, and moved into this dimension using the gateways that they produce, uh, one of the ways the people that made the technology uh, locked some of it is using blueprints uh, that people are made from, basically DNA, right? Genetic blueprints lock some of the features of the towers. And so what happens is every now and then, if you have an infinite amount of time, and an infinite amount of universes, what you get is you get someone who's a ringer, right? And so her genetic code, or the blueprints that made her, or her building blocks, or whatever, are close enough to someone, one of the makers of the towers, that she can access some of the tower's higher functions. That's why you need to protect her, and that's why she was in your vision. (laughs) I just wanted to do a quick... One of these to you guys. Oh, we should have freaking brought her with. Instead of leaving them with the trolls. <laughs> yeah. How do you save her is kind of ambiguous. Right? Like, how do you save her? You have to keep her alive or keep some of her genetic material alive uh, if you want to mm-hmm. access the higher functions of the towers. Should have taken a finger. Guess where we're, <laughs> where we're going that, Yeah, right? <laughs> Some of her. Yeah. Well, uh, more on that later, maybe. <laughs> the Sleeping Prince. Yep. I'm trying to... How, how did you word your question? Uh, essentially, I wanted to f- figure out how to resolve the issue that Elio had with his prince not waking up. Okay, so the problem with the prince is that uh, the city that you guys just stumbled out of, what was it called again? That we were the made dead of city of Z- Xanax or Z- Zorix. Something. I don't remember. Check Xanax? It <laughs> 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 was the, the sleeping city. <laughs> right. Xanax. Too much Xanax. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I want to say it was Xerx. Xerx? The dead city of Xerx? Zorx. Zorx. 
Uh, so before it ended up in the swamp, it was in the desert next to the Elven capital. And what happened is Yule's influence uh, started to creep into the city. And at some point, the prince had contact with Yule and made a deal and gave him a foothold here. Mm. And that's why the prince fell asleep. And his dreams have been becoming a reality out there because the barrier between places is wearing thin. Since Yule has a foothold in the person of the prince and he's using that like little toehold to wear away the fabric of reality mm. so how do you wake him up close all the doors uh and maybe you influence will be lessened enough that he wakes up or maybe you don't wake him up pipe <laughs> 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 Don't worry. King! <laughs> Story done. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. So. Put the princess's head right behind his head. One shot. <laughs> Everything's over. Let's go home. And okay. Brian's. You want to know how you become like them? Yeah. I want to switch teams. Cause I feel like this one's not... Uh... I'm not on the winning team, and I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win. So you already are becoming like them, one piece at a time. Mm. Ostagon is making you into one of his uh, avatars. Toeholds. <laughs> yes. You are Ostagon's toehold. Mm. That's what's happening is that the old ones, I mean, there's more than one way for them to get here. One way is they can try to gain access through the towers, through the dimensional doorways that have been left standing. But most of those are closed and locked, and it's hard for them to get through. Um, and also, if you think about it, it's like a bunch of hungry animals looking at a mouse hole, right? They're all crowding in over there sure. by the doorways trying to get through. And so Oslogon's not actually a major player in the Pantheon or whatever you would call it. He's not the most powerful being in that place. So he uses the back door of trying to make deals with people. And what happens is he infects uh, them with building blocks that are more like him. And that's how he creates a resonance between him and the person, is that he's basically changing the basic building blocks of who you are. So just keep on doing. He is mutating your DNA. Mm -hmm. Keep on doing. If you want to, at some point, what will happen, though, is that your sense of individuality will begin to fade, and you will become more Oslicon than you. Right? Sure. That'll happen. Like, he'll end up taking you over. Yeah. And so there's, like, a dangerous balance that you want to strike at some point, because if you go too far... You'll just be his little finger puppet. He won't be you anymore. Sure. Right. Stay warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Issues, right. Yeah. Warlock problems. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. also, yeah, so he, and one of the things that becomes clear while you're being downloaded with information is that Oslogon might be the most, the, the one of the old ones that cares the most about sentience because he's responsible for it. Mm -hmm. Like, sentience came about because of an accident of his during an experiment. Sure. Um, right, you guys, all sentient life, the way the universe works now, all of it's kind of a hiccup from these guys, right? Like your place didn't exist before their place. Gotcha. Your place came about because their place had a sneeze. Run their Petri dish. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Nice. Some Elder God sneezed on a Petri dish and we are the result. Here we are. And your whole <laughs> dimension is the result. But they're great recyclers. <laughs> and they, they like to eat their own shit. Gross. Yeah, in a lot of ways. But yeah. <laughs> and you want to so, yeah. be like that. <laughs> so I mean, I can so tell you, you how could, to start. You could like go full Oz, right? <laughs> or you could try to resist. Um, there are ways to sequence him out of you if you like want to go the other way too. You'd have to use technology in a tower. <clears throat> Hmm. I'll probably ride the fence too long. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming that... Yeah. If, if, the, if we start making progress and we're really closing some doors, <laughs> I might, like... You might jump Tap ship. the brakes. <laughs> yeah, all right. But. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> the Jungle Buck, I want to oh, be I wanna like be you. I man, man, come. Roll right into town. <laughs> I want to be just like the other man. I'm tired of walking around. Something like that. <laughs> okay. So, well, just so you know, I did get a um, a new invocation 
with this level. And once oh. a day, it lets me um, see ghostly images on the other side of walls. And so that could be another upgrade or something. <clears throat> oh, okay. See ghostly. So you have X-ray vision. Did we go to level yeah. seven or mm -hmm. okay. level eight? Seven. Oh, seven. Okay. So yeah, I I tried, did, did I forget to level up? No, I tried I that last week. Don't worry. It I was, doesn't I was work. <laughs> begun to disassemble my vision being tied right. to your those optic. stupid He's little nerve endings. Replaced your optic nerve with a worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yes. Upgrades. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can ride it to the end. Um, they're also like not all of the things over there, the entities or whatever, started off like that. Some of them are hitchhikers from other uh, dimensions that were consumed and they're like the last thing left. Mm. Right? And so there's some conjecture that Oz himself might not be a native of that other place. Mm -hmm. That he might have come from some other failed experiment in the past. And that usually what happens is avatars start to become more powerful and if they can hang on to their sentience long enough, there's usually a chance where they have the opportunity to devour their patron. Mm. Because it's all about eating in the end. Uncle Oz, invite you over for dinner. It's kind of, it's sort of a Sith-esque sort of relationship. Perfect. Right. All right. <clears throat> so we're all just seizing download. together. <laughs> yeah, you guys are frothing all over the place. You're shaking, you're twitching, your backs are arching. What a great bonding experience. You have guys. wires connecting the base of your skull through the chairs. And we're not like a hive mind, are we? Uh, I mean, you might get some bleed over from what the other guys are learning. Like, you know a little bit about the fact that DNA chains are important or the basic building blocks of a person are important. There you go. Right? Um, you guys probably all got that basic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to attempt to hide what it is you're learning, you can roll a wisdom save. Brian. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> no one else hey, here has is that magic. Secrets. Can I use my flash of genius on this? Sure. Your what? <laughs> Add a plus four to that. 19. Damn it. Plus four, 23. Well, <laughs> he just helps me hide it better. I mean, yeah. Okay. He's, he's helping. Cool. I'm, I'm he's my helper. ally. <laughs> ally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he's guys, not native to this world either. I feel like guys, he's trying to do something. I'm going to help him. You guys get nothing from Brian G or from um, Abder. Oh, monster. Yeah, I wonder what he wants. Everyone wants something. Everybody wants something. I'm sure he wants his kid back. Hmm. I think mean, you can just go talk to old man Mossy about that. Can you cough something up for me? Yeah. <laughs> Chop off that uh, arm piece. It's made mostly of my son. <laughs> oh, God. It's not an arm piece. It's, it's a skin tag. <sighs> so what are we doing there? Well, when you guys are done, but you're still kind of in the mind space, you'll have a moment where you're all standing like in a blank, featureless place, right? It's like... Can we see each other? Great Earth for as far as you can see, like rolling gray clouds overhead. No animals, no birds, no features at all. No clothes. No, you have clothes on. Pants? Okay. <laughs> yes, you have pants. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, can I choose not to wear pants in this space? No. That's not a thing. No one wants your weird square door. Until I learned Dreamwalk. So, um, Oz, Oz is there too, but like mostly his moral seeming. So it's not like the weird flesh beast that is his physical manifestation in this realm. It's like a person that looks like the person puppet he has. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six of us standing in a circle. Mm hmm. Abner's not there. Curiously, no. five of us standing in a circle. Mm. And what are we gonna do? We came to this library. Why? This uh, it's not even a library. That's oh, a repository of knowledge. Who the fuck are you? It's Oz. The one you just been talking to. What's he look like? I mean, he looks, you know, like a dude. He's got. Kind of long, scruffy, dark hair. Uh, I don't know. 
blue eyes. He looks like the most human representation of him you can imagine. Flat teeth, not sharp ones. Enough, not too many. Vincent Price with a Nicholas Cage too wig. Less. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, he's like, he just looks pretty average. God, that visual is awful. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> he's got on a crimson robe, which he has on usually, but it looks like it's not hiding weird wriggling stuff, which is usually what's going on with him. Yeah, so here we are, the mind space. This is where mind space. Yeah, you're still in the chairs. You're having a hard time, and I'm trying to make some adjustments to your biology because those chairs weren't made for you, sadly. What do you mean adjustments? Uh, just what right. I mean is that right now, this is what you look like. And he points over to a spot, and they're like, "You guys see, like the clouds part, white comes down, and there's a chair there, and in the chair is, I don't know, you. Oh, okay. And you're like." having a serious convulsion and there's like foam and froth boiling out of your mouth and your eyes are rolling back into your head. Your hands are clawing at the armrest and stuff. He's like, that's what all of you are doing right now. But don't worry, I'm fixing it. And he makes the image go away. He goes, don't worry, I'm fixing it right now. I'm fixing it. So as far as what we're standing on, it's like ground? Just like, yeah, gray, gray, featureless. Like, think of like... If someone took the world and put a linoleum pad over it, that was just straight gray. So I can't drop to my knees and start sketching out or anything in the... No. Nope. No. No. Linoleum. No. I mean, it's just like, you know I'm saying, a flat surface. <laughs> so it's a for this. So, uh, Perfect. So that's bad news. Twitching in the chair. Good news. If you want, I can fold space one time for you from here. Huh. If you want to go someplace, we need to get to the girl. Uh, relax. Hold on. Let's, the one girl. let's let him finish. F- finish your What's sentence. Going on tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. You look anxious. Fold in space one time. Mm-hmm. From here. Mm-hmm. And if you do that, where do you go? Mm, I'm. I'm gonna stay here. Most of me. He looks at you, and he goes, but, um... Do I get any hint of that? Is he making it obvious? I mean, do you want to roll insight? I do. Go for it. Can I cast guidance in the dream space? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> 20... Do you want to four. cast magic here? Yeah, <laughs> right. 24. Yeah, so he's alluding to, like, him and Brian definitely have, you can tell... A specialer relationship <laughs> than the Temujin. rest of you guys, or him and Temujin, yeah, <laughs> have a specialer relationship than the rest of you guys. And he is definitely alluding to something when he kind of nods to Temujin like that. And he's like, Most of me will stay here. Mm. He's like, So, uh, here's how it works. And you say one time, that's everyone in the same place, correct? If that's where they, if they all want to go, yes, you can choose not to go. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> well, your green friend who's not here, he might choose to stay for a little while. Yeah, but uh, then you got to deal with old man Mossy on the way back, right? That's right. True story. If you go back, you could stay here forever too. Nah. <laughs> Well, you can't. Life is full of options, though. For everybody else. (laughs) Uh, So, you're all hell-bent and tangled up over this girl still, eh? She's important. That's great. So is your ma. I think think she might be uh, helpful to us. Uh, She's connected to the tower somehow. So are we. Mm. She can. Uh, uh, she can use them better. You. So, uh, not to get ahead of things, but you're saying you want to go find her, and bring her to a tower. Mm. Well, if uh, aren't we supposed to be shutting them down? I mean, we've done that too. We're 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 getting there, yeah. But 
two out of if you, twelve. If you think that she's able to, I mean, I mean, we all struggled pretty hard getting in and out of this last one. Mm. Just saying, uh, your wee companion may not be prepared. I mean, I'm all for it. <laughs> you got to send a canary down in the coal mine before you. But uh, I'm just saying it might, if we're going to do this one-time gift, we might want to find somewhere else to head. Like a pizza parlor. You ever had pizza? I don't even oh, know gosh. if I'll be ending up going the same place. I don't even know how I came back from Mm. So when you fold the space, is that going to be, are we going to be going through, you know, that other place that hurts real bad? Well, what I'm saying is I can protect you from here uh, one time, one time. Right? Like, so I uh, think about it like, and he goes like this, and there's a piece of paper in his hands. And he's like, okay, this piece of paper, right? That's like. All the places you could be now. I'm like dumbing this down for you guys. I hope. Can you it works. get us into another tower? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh, I do like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get you inside of another tower without somebody else becoming aware of what I'm doing, which I would like to avoid. But you I can. said one time we could go. I can put you right outside of another tower. That so I can. You don't do. have the power to put us inside the tower. I could do it. But I'm pretty sure that one of my siblings would be aware of what I was doing. On your scarred? I think they would eat you on the way over. I don't think that I could necessarily keep you safe all the way through from here to there. I want to roll an insight. Okay. <laughs> Natural 20? Yeah, no, he's telling the truth. That he basically, that if he opens the, the doorway to a tower, someone else who's around that doorway wanting to push through might snatch you before you get there and eat you up. You still have that mop. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. He snaps his hands and there's a map on the ground. Hey. That map, yeah. So looking at the mop, <clears throat> what's the nearest tower to this girl that you were worried about? Oh, you mean, if we're using the term tower loosely, do you mean this library is probably the closest structure I mean, uh, one that we haven't. No, she's just. Destroyed. We just left her behind like a three well, days ago. Well, this isn't a tower. This is a point of interest. I mean, they're all towers, really. If, but if, the ones that we need to destroy. We're looking to close one. You, I'm assuming you wouldn't want this one closed. Essentially, is what we're saying. This is not a tower. Okay. What do you mean when you say tower? We're all being dumb. <laughs> Trying to go back the to the memories that I had, the question that you answered. Yeah. The so, towers that we need to destroy. So basically, like you need to seal every nook, cranny, crack. Yeah, from this I might place start with the big place. one first. Not just every little crevice, but the gaping holes into our world. Oh, so Yoink. you mean the towers that That's are doorways? What she said. Like, yeah. Then, if you're talking about towers that can transmit people from one place to another. Uh, translocation, um, you know, dimensional wormhole punchers kinds of stuff. And yes, there, there's 12 of those. Aye, that's what? what I that's what I fucking said. Right, yeah. But What's if the you, nearest one to the little girl that you were talking about? Mm. On the map. There's two that are close. There's one out in the middle of the ocean, and there's one in the desert. Hmm. Those are not close. When you said close, I thought you meant close. I mean, it, it's the whole world. Those are close. The desert, I think, would be a good place to start because, uh, from what I understand, Yule is already having a foothold over there. If we close that one, oh, I thought we yeah. just sent Yule away. Oh, well, Yule's got an avatar, so I mean, we exist on multiple sort of planes simultaneously. Yeah, you guys removed Yule's physical presence from this air time space right now. We got it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> nah, Some other a... things leak through. That'll I got a be few fun in a little bit. Then. If we went and grabbed the little girl <clears throat> and brought her to safety, <clears throat> if she is defenseless, like Tumberjum says, then it might not be a good idea to take her to a tower. She's not defenseless. She's a little girl. She has you. She's got me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that she fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right. Fine. 
So, the so, middle of the ocean. Is that near Garakoff? Uh, it's like northeast of Garakoff. Garakoff, the city, the mm -hmm. port city. You know who the wise man is up there? I mean, yes. Alright, is he one of you? Uh, I mean, how do you define me versus you versus... Not one of us. You fucking know what he means. <laughs> <laughs> you like to talk in circles a lot. Well, it's just that I find the way that you communicate so limiting sometimes. And yeah. I find you so daft. You can just answer us straight. But you're not asking straight questions. Is he always like this? Is the wise man from... Our plane... No, no, that doesn't. It doesn't make any sense when you put it in context of what he told you already. Well, you guys, we're not the one. We're the you invaders. Guys aren't from this plane. We're the, we're the is snot. the wise man native to this plane? No, is the wise man human? Humanoid, uh, aberration, celestial. Oh, demonic, sure. Devil, Classification. Fiend. Yeah, that gets hard too. Oh uh, God! <laughs> well, let me try to help you out. Here. You're an infuriating whatever you are. <laughs> yeah. How about you just give us the Wikipedia entry on the wise man? Sure. Okay. The wise man. Uh, he's been around for, I don't know, hundreds of years. Um, is he human? Question mark. Are you human? Are you human? Are you human? Right? What is human? You're, you're not human. Classified as other. Um, oh, sorry. So, satisfying. So, yeah, that's great. <laughs> so, the wise man is... His basic template began as something very similar to yours. But he has received aftermarket modifications. Not from me, but from someone. Is someone's finger puppet. He uh, is someone's avatar. I find that finger puppet thing offensive. Oh, I apologize. I believe I thought we were using that term. <laughs> Only I can use that term. We're not saying that anymore. <laughs> oh, <okay. It's> like, <laughs> Oh, no, he's someone's avatar, harbinger, um, mortal agent, you know. Who's? That's a good question. Huh? Well, I'll ask him. Are you not familiar? Do you not know? I don't know who belongs to who all the time. Hmm. Uh, I think that if you were to visit him, it would probably become clear. But so, like, not everybody knows who my avatars are. You just can identify the smell on somebody, if you know what I mean. That and the fact that he's been alive for damn near a thousand years and is not an elf is a very good indicator. Because he he's, you know, has a much more basic form of DNA. His building blocks are more simple. I mean, he is not immortal. Right. The elves are as close as you guys came. We tried really hard, though. A for effort. So the, the tower's outside of Garakoff. The tower's in the ocean. In the ocean. Northeast of Garakoff. Hi. <clears throat> we wouldn't want to just be there, because then we wouldn't escape. We wouldn't be able to get back. That would end badly for you. Agreed. That's what I just said. It's right. pressurized badly. <laughs> Too deep. It is deep. It's pressurized. There are ways to get there. It's underwater. Sure. You swim. Well, you could swim, probably. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Aftermarket modifications. They're good. If you, you guys want to swim, let me know. I could make two of us. After a long rest. Hey, who <laughs> made these guys? Mm. The same guys that made you guys. So, huh? uh, yeah. The So when you guys were coming across... Wait, so he's like an equal? Equal? What do you mean? It's us to me. Yeah, the, oh, the only difference is that you're made of squishier things than him, but you're both engineered. You, 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 <laughs> you, like you all came from base human stock. Before you came to this dimension from your parent dimension, so to speak, everybody was human. But the problem is that this in the beginning, before you guys modified the ecosystem to suit your needs, was a very inhospitable place. And so you sent through... Right, Warforged first to scope the place out, and then you started sending through hardier strains of humanoid that you engineered yourselves with my help. Uh, you know, to check the place out. 
The dwarves are some of the first ones here. Huh. Hardy, sturdy, like the rock they mine and the earth they delve into. Uh, you know, better suited to climates where radiation is a problem. They like to live under the surface where they're insulated. So you're a good fit. A lot of the things you say, I don't even understand. That's fine. That's because you're stupid. It's not your fault. I can make uh, three cloaks of the manta for long if we get a long rest and work on those. So then maybe, maybe. How long do we have for this um, one time only teleportation? I mean, from here. From you can stay here. here as long as you want. And you'll still send us somewhere when we ask. I will send you somewhere when you ask. Can you get me out of that chair? I don't feel like I should be seizing this long. <laughs> I mean, right now, no. You can't unplug it halfway through the upgrade. How right. the fuck do you know? Uh, it's but a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I unplug you now, I might accidentally melt your brain. So I have to wait until the biological configurations are made that suit your particular biology because these chairs weren't made for you guys. Uh, you already said that. Yeah, they were made for the very first people uh, that designed this place and the other towers. The proto-humans. So we Pre- well, I thought you said he was one of the first. Well, he was one of the first engineered strains uh, that they adapted to this environment. Hmm. So then we rest for the night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Skipping that one. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> and then we might have to decide where we end up going. That's Despite it. having the close of the manta, I believe that the pressure underwater might be a problem. So I, I, I said the there's ways to get down there. there I mean, ways. there's are always ways. Hmm. Are there artifacts down here? Down. Oh, here in the library? All right. There are things that you... Yeah, yeah, yes. Are there things that we can take with us? Yes. Go on. Go ahead and ask. <laughs> that just did. Speak polite. Uh, I believe you would want to make your question more of a statement of something that you would like. Rather than asking if you could take something with, ask, can you have it now kind of thing. Will you please show us to your trinket room? So they, they come with a price, all of them. They're not for free. I'll take seven. <laughs> 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 no? Okay. I'll let you be the judge of whether or not uh, that's feasible. <laughs> I don't know if uh, you don't I'd be able seven. to handle you, that. You probably don't want seven. But no, you, you can have one of the artifacts that I possess the ability to fabricate. Mm. Would I be able to take the staff Pardon? back? Or Sorry, unfortunately I need the staff. Would I be able to have anything in exchange for the staff that you already ate? Or is that already a transaction? That happened. Okay. That's a done deal. I don't know why we're sitting around talking about this when I already said we're going to go get to the girl. Well, you aren't even talking. Just sitting there stewing and brooding. You're imagining this conversation. You are still plugged in to the fucking chair tongue that's licking the God, man, brain. take us to the girl. Tomorrow, it'd be better to rest for the night. How about, how, how about this? I bet you got something real good that makes little girls... Careful. You say that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. <laughs> I bet you could find something that help you on whatever quest it is you, you choose there. Your big lug. Easy there, Noom. Noom. Tomorrow. What the hell is going on with you? Yeah. That yeah. was a little bit. I felt racist. You're, you're getting all hot and bothered. Is that what's going on? You got the, Easy there, Noom. 
Oh, no, I'm, wow. I'm not the little girl. I'm not the easy one. Oh, no. Here we go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. In this <laughs> side of the ring. <laughs> if he hits him here, is it going to even matter? I mean, it's not going to work. It probably won't work out. Unless you want it. Do you want them to hit each other? I can make it happen. I'm just wondering if it's going to affect their body down there. No, more likely it'll cause neural damage, right? And so they'll start to bleed in their brain. Maybe. In other words, it'll affect their body down there. But, That's what I, mean, I fucking said. <laughs> it's not in the way that you were thinking. Brain. No, it won't affect their body. Mm -hmm. Their body will be fine. I, this, is, this is the thing that I fight with every time. Bodies work great without brains. Yeah, because it makes them into little puppets. Are we done yet? Get... Are you are you asking for something that will help you? No, okay. not for your favors. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Nobody else wants to ride this train. Because I have, I can make you guys an apparatus here that would get you to the bottom of the ocean. Oh yeah, like a big giant fish that we could swim inside. God, kind of fish, crab. There's more than one model. Do you want that to mount? Want to get inside a big stinky fish? We already know he wants to go right to the. I don't know if right now is the time you want to push him to. Should I just push you guys to sleep until your body's done recalibrating I and I can send you someplace? Okay, no, right. done I sleeping. Wanna... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you guys can take a long rest. Someone needs a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> I need that long rest. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> mm. Done. Take him. Bingo. Done. Bingo. Taking bingo. You're taking bingo? That's going to be my magic item. Bingo. I like a magic bingo board, please. Like a magic bingo board, please. Uh, so good. All right, let me just look something up there really quick while you guys are taking a long rest. Can I make infused items during this long rest? No. Okay. Nope. You're just, you're out. Unconscious. Which is strange for you. Do you... When we... Well, we're going to wake up, I assume, right? Can we discuss what we're doing when we wake up? Sure. Are you going to do the uh, cloaks today? If you want me to. The issue is with that uh, apparatus thing that he was thinking about making. Is but it it's still, if it's not fail-safe, you know. Well, if it's not fail-safe, we'll be crushed under the pressure of the water. Well, what if it happened like... You got the fucking magic thing of underwaterness. I'm you saying as worry a about backup, gravity. are you doing the cloaks? Huh? As a backup, would you do the cloaks? If you want me to, yeah, I can. Well, what are you thinking? Uh, if we're not going underwater or if we're getting that... Uh, Breathing underwater thing. We didn't decide. Yeah, but if we did do that, then we wouldn't have to breathe underwater because we would have that app, the thing that would just like click to the outside of the thing, outside of the tower. So we wouldn't have to breathe underwater anyway. But if you're worried about it, I can definitely make three of them. Maybe we should figure out where to go on first. If yeah. we go to find this... Imagine we all do all this talking and then go to the desert. Exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, why do you want What to about your, uh, the little girl you're going to pick up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking up the I'm girl. going. <laughs> That's what we're talking about right now, Tamal. No, we're not talking because we're sleeping. No, we're awake and we're talking. We're awake now. Wake the fuck up. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. We're having a weird <laughs> dream. There's the brood. <laughs> <laughs> go from Happy Matt to Tamal. <laughs> Tamal. So we're leaving then. We're talking about where we're going. We're gonna go get to the little girl. She will help us. So do you think? What we exactly should... did you see? You haven't even really said. You just been brooding. So I go. I go down to the ground. Can I sketch into the ground a little bit? What are you trying to? Sure. You, if you were right in the ground and you want it to leave a mark, it'll leave like a big old glow thing. All right, so I, like, start doing these, like, kind of cave <laughs> stick men, like... Can't you just use your words, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> this is taking forever. This will help me explain it to your small mind what's going on. So there's this... Did he get hit in the head while I was mm -hmm. gone? Mm-hmm. 
she is connected to the towers and she will help us use them. So maybe like the last time when Temujin just started smashing things, which was a brilliant idea. It was the wrong huh? idea. And this girl will help us. Yeah, no, she's the failsafe. Huh? The failsafe? What? Uh, okay, so the people that built the towers a long time ago, they knew that maybe someday modifications would have to happen. And so what they did is they built a genetic chain code as the lock that seals most of the higher functions of the tower. Right? Now, that genetic chain code is so long that you would think that it would never reoccur, or at least you wouldn't get close enough because you'll need about a 99.999 something match, right? But so what happened was there's an infinite amount of possible uh, dimensions that are kind of stacked really close to each other, and you can even actually hop from one to the other sometimes, although it's dangerous because you could stabilize the whole stack. But um, in one of those probabilities, at some point, someone was going to be born that was a close enough match to unlock the tower's higher functions. <laughs> you following this, mate? Yes, <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to draw it yeah, on the ground. That's not dimension sandwich. That's a fucking BLT. <laughs> oh, no, I'm drawing it. Look, here's the person, and here's the tower, and he... Those were all drawn before he started talking. Mm. What the fuck are you up to now? <sighs> He's so, saying that he, she can use the towers better than we can. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. That's basically what it boils down to. He's not wrong. Well, let's go find her. I we need her, Timogen. Yeah, how about you get you stock up on, on uh, some handy items? To help us on your quest. Go ahead, do it. You want to be stronger, don't you? Strong I enough already to have. It? I already am stronger. Stronger than you are now. You could be even better than you already are. <sighs> your cap on the attributes that went up by two is now 22 instead of 20. Just okay. FYI. Ha oh, okay. Okay. So, you don't even know where she's at. Oh, she's she's in the village. Where's Abder? Not with you guys. She's in Abder's village. We left her behind because these people were chicken to take her, and we could have used her. Let's let's get you properly equipped so that uh, you don't have to be chicken again next time. You you didn't even bother standing up to us and insisting. On your plan. Next time I will. Let's let's get it. Let's make it make sure you're strong enough to do so. I bet you I bet you could be strong enough. You're almost strong enough to save her. Do you want to at least see? Do you want to see what he's got to offer? Rather than just putting your foot in the ground and stubbornly insisting that you fail on your own terms. I'm not sure if I'm inclined to make a deal with the devil right now. Oh, I do not believe your side of the See, way. actually, not a devil. He's not infernal, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. No, I'm not a devil. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it nobody is believes or not. that. <laughs> Even devil's woman deals with me. He smiles. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows what we're saying, and he just acts daft. Well, yeah. Come I mean, on, let's go take a look. I at I mean, that. you called him the incorrect categorization. Acts really right now. He's right. <laughs> I like this guy. You don't have to be racist <laughs> about it. What side are you on? I mean, I'm not taking sides, but it's incorrect information. He's so. just stating the truth. <laughs> He's on the side of the truth. Then what is your price for power? <sighs> if we're going this route, let's just get on with it. Yeah, that's a thing. So, my price for power is just a little corner of your soul, just a little piece. You got plenty. Not big. Yeah. It's it's a very large, delicious thing. I just need a little bit. You know, I like those old myths about vampires that are horribly incorrect. All you need to do is invite me in. Well, I don't know if you could have sold that much worse than you did. <laughs> there will be no deal with me today. Mm. 
Sounds good. Mm. You, well. short man. No, I no. said no. No, okay. I'm good. All right. I would like to be strong enough to thwart his plans. <laughs> to thwart whose plans? <laughs> Just in case. Right, okay. <clears throat> For my plans? No, I meant the big man. What the fuck you do, Intelligent? Whose side are you on? I'm just ready to put up a fight in case oh. he gets all <laughs> fight. Temujin's on his side. Yeah. Temujin's on the live forever side. Which maybe, just maybe, we can work out. That's what we talk about. What happened, Temujin? What happened to you? What do you mean? Here? Since I've been gone? I'm, I'm doing all the same things. I'm just hedging my bets a little bit. I mean, if I win... No matter what, I want to make sure that I'm on the winning team. And rather than throwing up... Pretty soon you're going to give so much of yourself away. You're not going to be you. But I'll win. But you ain't going to be you. But I'll win. Someone will. Is that you want to live forever? That's what we want. You want to live forever. Uh, Yeah, essentially. I'm going to be able to... Survive any of the apocalypses and uh, begin the process of jumping, moving from a two dimensional being to a three dimensional one that can go as the pages turn. That sounds like a good idea. That sounds, yeah, obviously. It's the best idea. He's up with the wheel. Right. That was a strange curse, us, Lagan. <laughs> you swear, like, oh, it's... Imagine we had this same gift for Marlinda. Imagine she was able to survive. Mm. And you can guarantee your success. Temujin. I respect you. Oh, that's We've good. We've been through a lot of, a lot of adventures together so far. Hi. And I am not good with words. Oh, don't be hard on yourself. It's all right. Oh, I did a pretty good drawing down there. Yeah. <laughs> What's that item where you automatically stabilize? Per, periapto. Periaptive. It's not periaptive health. No. No. That makes you immune to contracting any disease. That's what I thought it was. Um, it's not the amulet of health. It makes constitution a 19. I thought it, it was an amulet, though. Is it an amulet? I don't think oh, it's Oh, periapt of wound closing. Right, okay. Wound, wound closure. Periapt. Yeah. Periapt of wound closure. <sighs> anyway. So as I was saying, <laughs> you are changing, and I don't not believe for the better. Oh well, come on! Those are hey, obviously it's better than he was when he first started on this journey. He doesn't need to sleep. He can see through walls, and now, and you see like uh, from his sleeve where he had a hand a moment ago. The hand splits into like about a hundred different really small tentacles and shoot forward and pierce Brian's chest. Well, I'm looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, and now, while well, he's like rooting around his chest and then he pulls his oh. tentacles back out and reforms a hand. Now, his wounds will close automatically. So you did that just for show? He's not actually here. Yeah, but it was fun to watch, wasn't it? Oh. I don't think it was. That was, yeah, well, unnecessarily painful for an illusion. But biofeedback. Wait, what? Yeah, so my wounds heal. Well, they will automatically close to keep you from expiring in an untimely fashion, but you might still be sucking floor for a little bit until your body actually puts itself back together. Oh. Regeneration is currently beyond you, currently. Uh, but for now, that should help you live longer. That, that item also gives you double your hit dice. Or when you roll a hit dice, it doubles gives you doubles it. your hit points. Yeah. Double. So, well, that so you terminology heal faster. Yeah, so, that you'll great. heal easier. Yes. But it still takes time. Hmm. Time. 
That sounds amazing. Right. See? Boy, that would be awesome. So anyways. Huh? Do you like it? Let's make a decision. Upgrade am, complete. I am, I am fine with my mortality. Oh, All you... right. Very well, so, but if you die, who protects the girl? Are we deciding that are we going to the city? The village? I that will be up to the other gods to decide. That's where Tamat wants to go. You know, I mean, we probably just throw him a bone at this point. Uh, we could head back and that'd be real funny if we could we beat back? Abner back. <laughs> How do we get back from the swamps? Well, if we got to we walk our feet slow or way. We are and then we wait much. two or three weeks or something. Ridiculous. We'll wait for a boat. Or we could just swim from there, I guess. <laughs> so you don't want me to fold. You got Space to, time for you. You got to at least fold it to get us past old man Aussie. We're going back to the village. I thought we just fucking said this. But I'm saying... Back to the village in an instant. That's what you want. Sort of. Axe? I'm fine with that. We need to find the girl. Take us to the girl. The village. Okay. Then take us to the girl. Right. Mm. so, yes. 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 Mm. Why? I'm vaguely compliant. Okay. Well, that's nothing new. That is actually it's, more than I, usual, I believe. I <laughs> just offered <laughs> so many different things, and you're like, oh, please take me two miles past the swamp. That's the way I feel about it, too. But hey, yeah. who am I to question? Uh, you don't think the girl is useful to us. I'm just saying that if... A king offers you any title, any castle in the world, and you you're want like, hey. to get a five dollar off at Subway coupon. You're gonna. There's a reason that oh, it's kind of like a barbarian. I will give you a, any kind of mount that you wanted, and you said you wanted the old suede back mare that died on your father's farm last year because you miss her. That's sort of what I feel like is going on here. But I am not. He got an attachment to. I'm, I'm just going to send you where you want. Because that's what I said I would do. I said we should go to the tower, but you wanted to find the girl, and you said she's important to... Oh. And I believe you, Tamal. We we do believe whatever you saw is right. We do have a map that lays out the location of all the towers, so they would not be that hard to find. It would just take time. I mean, some of them move, but sure. It would do they time. move on the map as well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> the map have you ever seen a map before? It's a map fucking is magical. magical map, Tamal I could make it more magical and update it so that it tracks them in semi-real time. You're going to throw tentacles into his chest again? Mm. No. no, just I bet it costs you money, though. Costs you something. Everything costs something. Yeah, do you want an upgrade? Now you're Here interested. Here we go again. We're going in a circle. Yeah, this is... Take us to the mm. village. Right. Okay. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay. You guys feel kind of nauseated for a second, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you're like knee deep in wa- swamp water. Kind of curious. <laughs> yeah, <but> basically. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what happens if you put on the band of loyalty with that other periapt of wound closure. What the fuck is a band of loyalty? Uh, when suicide you, pill. <laughs> yeah, when you hit zero, you automatically die. But then the periapt makes it so you don't die. You automatically stabilize. Automatically stabilize. So you stabilize die and stabilize at the one. same time zero. Well, the band of loyalty would kill him first. Yeah. He wouldn't mm. get a chance to stabilize. Mm. Okay. I just find it funny. Both of them trigger it when you hit zero hit points. You might want to take that band of loyalty at some point. <laughs> 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 I don't know. If, I mean, that's uh, the only way you could die. I don't know if this fleshy shell is <laughs> doing me, keeping me any safer. So... Getting rid of it. I don't know if that's really an advantage. But, you know, might put it in my pocket. <laughs> it's my cyanide pill if I get caught. For a rainy day, yeah, right. <laughs> For a rainy day when I'm just sitting in my room, listening to The Cure, staring at my walls. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you guys are back. Abder is also there. <sighs> Abder. Good to see you. Good to see you. Did Glad you get you something that you'd like? Uh, you know, that sounds like a private question. 
I'd rather not talk about the things that I received from our dear friend under the swamp. I was not asking for the subject. I was simply making sure you were... <laughs> I got, are, are you happy about you it? You got what you wanted. I got what I asked for. That is good. Maybe. And how much of your soul did you have to give up? Only all of it, friend. That sounds like a bargain. Where did you take the... Do you know where the girl is? Well, and she was Larry and the other Larry? And that we were left her? Would you like to go see her? Out of game. Did you guys leave her with the Larrys and see yeah. came back? Yes. Okay. And then they called a boat, I believe, that was going to be... They were going to take her to a boat. In a week or so. Yeah. Right. And Which is probably close. Close, but not there yet. Yeah. I'm going to take a look at it. And then we could... Stuff. Depends on so how So we much go time. find her. We hop on the boat with her. Go out to the middle of the ocean. We go well, scuba which one diving. What are we gonna do first? Well, that's just I'm saying we're on a fucking the boat. We're that close. The whole. If Does we wanted to go far to away, the then we should have used the fucking magical teleportation system, the once in a lifetime chance thing. Cabbage, take a breath. God damn. Oh, I maybe I'm just saying. If you wanted to start on the other side of the world, we could have done it a lot easier. But at least now we got a sidekick. A pet. Tomat says that she's important. Yes. And maybe she is. I yeah. said she was important. I'm sure she has many uses. Your pictures didn't actually explain anything to me. No. Tell I, us about it. There's a BLT sandwich that looks like a person is standing on it. Oz explained it to you. He just explained it to you. She In has Oz's weird She has terms. admin privileges. All right, Marilyn like and Neil Graf. Oh, starting to pick up on some of the lingo. Mel, Val, Larry, and the other Larry. There with her. She can access higher powers in the tower. Like the bigger gods. And we want that. Higher powers also mean able to close things. That maybe you know. she'll be more useful than just smashing things. Look at you! You're all grown up! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Essentially, she could close the tower without us having to blow it up. Oh, that could come in handy. Handy. The last time we had to close a tower, I believe, uh, it was at a very costly or calculated time that we had to do it. Rather than setting it for five minutes, instead we could maybe just... If we can keep her alive. Oh. We're going to see oh. her right now. Stop <laughs> bringing up the fact that she might die. Oh, she, she will, will not die. die. She will die. Oh. That's the thing. This is this is all, you know, negotiated inside a dream. That will be over soon. Where are the Larrys? We're going <laughs> to see them right now. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, as you're walking through town, average like they're probably... Uh, over at the jail slash my house. You know, the one that you all helped re-roof before we left. Let's go say hi. You know, let's walk through town and get over to Abner's place. Larry. Other Larry. Val, you home? And so, you know, knocks on the door. <laughs> you knock on the door of your own house. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure there's no, you know, not a ruckus going on. They're not currently incarcerating somebody before we walk in. Mm -hmm. And you guys walk in. It's your show now, Demont. I see a girl. Yeah, I mean, one of the jail cells is open and made up and stuff, and she's been crashing in there. One of the other ones down in the other row, like the whole back row of the house, the jail cells, the other side, there's a hungry in it. Wait, what? So on one side of the row of jail cells, the jail cell is open, and it's made up like a room, and okay. she's staying in it. All right. And the okay. other side of that row of jail cells is a hungry. Hmm. Hi, a Meyer troll? Linda. This is a troll. It's not the same one, is it? No. I wasn't here, no. but... It's not the same one. <laughs> I'll walk over to the open jail cell where the girl is. Mm -hmm. You're back. At long last, you're free. Yay. Meyer Linda. Would you like to leave this place? Uh, where are we going? Into imminent danger. We're going on an adventure. 
<laughs> we can at least be honest with her. I kind of want to go home. Hmm. You may be able to help us. What about my family? They've already shuffled off the mortal coil. You will soon follow them. Don't move them. I don't like it. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's the problem? Wait, she's, you want to lie about it? You fucking dishonest. Lie about <sighs> what? You do not know anything about it. Yeah. I, the only one that said any known fact is you. Do you even Which know? Part? What, that she's going to die? So All of us are going to die. Our family's gone. What, we know Tamak's family. Whether they... <laughs> really, Ox. <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, that was the only factual... Oh, what? <laughs> what happened to your family? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's a, it's a long story. Do you want to talk about it on the way? I'll, I'll I'll sit down and I'll sit down cross-legged. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, this and is got awkward. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll sit cross-legged down on the ground and I'll put my maul by my side. I kind of put my head down and go, it is true, Myrunda. My family is dead. I'm sorry. It was because of a tower. And yes, my friend here. Because of a tower? Yes. Wait, what kind of tower? These are towers. Like, with a crenellation around the top, and uh, I will crenellation. Good vocabulary word. I mean, you're a fucking genius. She's a half elf. She's older than you think she is. Oh, you're, you're, aren't you like four years old? <laughs> no, she's not four. She probably looks like she's like ten or eleven, right? Or was she super small? I don't, I don't know. You're way too tall for me. That's you're a giant. <laughs> but she could be like twenty, right? On my uh, projection on the wall of a tower, so she can see it. Mm. Is yes, that the... this tower right here. Thank you, X. Yes, they're dangerous, and we're trying to shut them down. Okay. It has come to me in a vision that you might be helpful. Uh, I just want to go home. Would you like to help save other families? Ultimately, it is your choice. Marlinda, we have reason to believe that you're sort of a good luck charm, a way for us to achieve some of our goals. We want to keep you safe. And I know it doesn't necessarily seem like that. But I, for one, think we should just send her home where she can visit with her folks and be safe for the little brief moments of the remainder of her existence. <laughs> Why do you keep talking like I have some kind of terminal disease? In his mind, everybody has a terminal well, disease. Yeah, it's just the way we're made. It's called mortality. See? It's not so bad. I mean, I'll probably outlive most of you here, except maybe... The short one that left, the dwarf. Like I, my family has long lived. You know, I've not yet found out how long my kind live. I don't even know what you are. This is Ax. Huh? That is my name, and is not what I am. Do you cut trees down? He can. You know, I just found out he was a person. This is amazing. I thought he was like a a tool. Or I believe that was a construct. Yeah, and he is. But now he's a person construct. Hey, this may seem like a weird question, but what if... I, got, I just got an idea. Would you mind give me a, a good luck charm from you, the good luck charm? Like a little lock of your hair that I could tie into a braid. What? A lock of your hair. That way you don't have to come with us. Because your luck will still come with us, and you can go back to your family. Uh, if that's all you need. Yeah, I think so. Would I know from my download that that would be sufficient? I just, I just hand her, handle first a uh, little dagger. Uh, it has to be live. It has to be like living tissue. So that wouldn't work. Oh, uh, <coughs> kind of like 
brush Tem or Temujin's arm aside. No, Temujin, that will not work. You don't know shit about luck. I do. I am the genius here. I do, and I know it has to be living. Well, how about I prove you wrong? He wants to bring you to the tower. I want to send you home. Okay, she cuts some of her hair off and <laughs> hands it to you. <laughs> All right, thanks. How smart are you guys? I go over to the other. I'm 18. I'm a 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to tell story. And tell it just straight. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's try. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we added together for a twenty. Yep. But... So I rolled an eighteen, and my I got my <laughs> mod as a plus five. They become like what they eat. That's my clue. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is a way to make multiple copies, <laughs> <laughs> or at least you could. You could take her DNA and make it a little more hardy. Like when she first showed up, she had something on her that was converting her biomass into its own and in also words, adopting her genetic code. If we would have left it, we would have been in a better off position. Eh, as long as things it could be different. It left. So I'm going to walk over to the hungry in the other cage. Okay. I, I just leave after after I get the handful of hair. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, good, I'm done. My job here is done now. Yep. Oh, you walk over. Okay. I got it. You guys can have your little girl conversation if you want. <laughs> I just want to go home. I cannot force you to go on an adventure with us. It is very dangerous. We stayed our fucking once in a lifetime chance. <laughs> Better fucking force her. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so fun. You hear him mumbling. Tomat. Are you familiar with these surrounding areas? I know where my family stays on the other side of the swamp. You guys were going to send me to go stay with some cleric? There is a cleric that was planning on setting a ship. We could bring you up the river. We were going to send you to the cleric because we believed that your family may have passed on to the other side of the swamp. I'm not there. Did we ever get any evidence of anything concerning that? No, she said the hungry kind of jacked them up while they were out foraging and they caught her. Abder alluded to the fact that they're probably dead. probably, probably got eaten, oh, okay. eaten or converted. So this is why we were going to send you to the cleric up north. But if you would like to come with us, save the world. This might be your fate. Can I think about it for a little bit? Yes. But please decide soon. Temujin grows impatient. <laughs> How much and time? We can you... only stay here for so long. Yeah, we're just standing in the, in the room outside, and he's like, "Y'all are welcome for as long as you want to be." <laughs> there are things that we should do that require a time restraint. Did you ever ask, uh, in, what's your timetable look like, friends? Do you even know? The closer we are to the timetable, the worse it gets. So our timetable is simply as fast as we could possibly go. Mm. Well, you know, slow is fast. Haste makes waste, friend. Just saying. Sometimes. Coming here probably was a bit of a waste of time. Mm. <laughs> in the simple in the simple fact of distance traveled we could have traveled much further mm. well 
I will leave you gentlemen. I'm going to go walk down to the... To the yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll see you boys in a little while. <laughs> he walks out and leaves you to it. He's like, Larry, Larry, Val. I'll give you to the end of the night. Or to, till tomorrow morning. To decide. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. That is when we're leaving. I understand. Will, will you take me home if I decide not to go? I believe it is our best interest, interest to keep you safe no matter what. So I believe that would be the best plan. That would be the best plan, but you know that Temujin will not want to travel south. Just to bring her home. East. 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 Just to bring her home. I believe we would want to uh, go around the swamp, not through it. Otherwise, we could encounter something like Old Man Mossy again. We do not have additional things that we can give. You said it yourself, Axe. We do not have time. We need to shut these towers down as soon as possible. But we also don't necessarily have a course plotted. Perhaps for today, we can plot a course. Find the most efficient. If the tower is further to the north, it may be even faster to travel north and then east. If there is a safe route, she could take the ladder off of it and we could go north afterwards. Then let's make our plan right now. Let's gather Temujin and whatever his name is, the dwarf. <laughs> Orin. <laughs> that was messed totally up. forgot. I killed your parents and you can't remember my name? No <laughs> name is <right>? dwarf. <laughs> my name is Tomat. And we'll come, and we'll come up with a definite plan. my father. <laughs> Temujin. Hey! And pull out the map. Uh, is there any tower or anything close oh. to the... Oh. Let's, X, let's find Orin first. Hmm. Before me? No, before we start looking no. at the map. Okay, so you go talk to the Hungry. Mm-hmm. He's quiet and... He looks thoughtful as opposed to the other one that you guys encountered, the other ones. He's just yeah. sitting there kind of squatting on his haunches, uh, rubbing his hands together, watching the whole thing unfold. You got yourself in a bit of a predicament, it seems. He just smiles. What brings you here? Huh? Food. Food. You like to eat? Don't we all? Uh, yes, I suppose we all do. Instead you know, of the long stringy hair that's common with most uh, trolls, his hair is actually cut pretty short. Got a bowl cut? Your kind is uh, pretty new to me. I'll admit, in all my travels, I'd never met anything like you until recent. You're a remarkable folk. How... If you were to eat, say, a single strawberry, would you become more like a strawberry? We don't eat strawberries. Let's pretend and accept the metaphor as it is. If I ate a gnome. Would I become more like a gnome? Let's not blow the metaphor. I'm not saying an entire strawberry plant, but a strawberry. You are to me as a strawberry is to you. He leans close to the bars, and he says, It must be aware. It must think for itself. Hmm. Well, it seems like a limitation, but fair enough. Hmm. 
How'd you get yourself caught? Maybe I wanted to be caught. Take a quick peek over my shoulder. Mm, I can see how that would be. Now I reach in. I'm going to pull the dagger back out. I say, I don't know much about being aware. But I think I might be made of different stuff than you think. And I'm going to cut right along my rib. <laughs> What's up with you and fucking the with your ribs? Fuck, dude. <laughs> and okay. then, I, then okay. I mean, you want to cut deep enough for him to see the Oslogon uh, in you? I want to, well, I'm not trying to show him that, but yeah, I need to cut deep enough for the Oslogon. What the fuck's your problem, dude? Alright, so, I mean, you can get close in a small spot and only take three points of damage. Okay. But it's still not nice. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's gross. Right. And I make it grosser by taking the locks of hair and I stuff it in and I feed it to Oz. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> One of the things you notice is that, like, uh, there's a little bit of blood that starts to drip down, but as the blood drips, it starts to thicken, it turns black, it becomes these small black weird writhing tentacles that reach around to the holes of the wound, grab them, and kind of pull them closed. That's awesome. But yeah, I stuff... You stuff your hair and buy your Osprey. I stuff the, the, the DNA key sequence hair, yep. and I jam it in there. Into your Osprey. Okay. Like there it is, the code. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, you're so not good for people. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then I pull my shirt back down. Okay. And I'm like, oh, hi, guys. <laughs> and they come over. So he just watches you, like, quietly. He watches you do that. He watches the blood thicken and turn into tentacles. He kind of squints his eyes and looks back at you, and he goes, mm. So you too eat. Don't we all? He nods his head and then leans back onto his haunches again. All right, well, this one, he's not the one I thought that might be down here. As you're getting ready to walk away from the, his cage, he's going to speak in deep tongue for a second. And he's going to say to you, do not spend the night in town, brother. So I'll wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'll walk away. Okay. This is why I call out to Temujin. Temujin! We need to meet with Orin. We need All to right. come up with a plan. All right, Tim. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got, I, got some, I got some good ideas about what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Like, right away. <laughs> I got, Excellent. Yes, very good plans. I'll look up to <laughs> Meyer Linda. Please rest up and think about helping us save the world. Oh, okay, I'll we'll talk again in the morning. Yes, we'll spend the she, night here, and then in the we, morning she pulls the door <laughs> to her cage. Shut. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, what if? Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's. Yeah, we should go talk about our plans. Where's Orn? <laughs> well, sorry. Orn outside, yeah. Oh, Jesus. If you, you just go to find me, I'm um, sitting on a log. Looks like I'm casting some sort of ritual. I'm praying to my god. Morning. And my shield, all the uh, little lines are slightly glowing while I'm casting it because I am casting it as a ritual. What are you so casting? I don't consume a spell slot. Divination. Oh, okay. How does it work? Read to me. It says, it puts me in contact with a god or one of his servants. I ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity that's going to happen within seven days. And then I would get a truthful reply. It could be a short phrase, cryptic rhyme, an omen. And then there are, like, addendums. Like, it doesn't take into account possible circumstances that might change it, such as casting more spells or gaining or losing a companion. Okay. And if I keep doing it, then there's things that could happen. Okay. It's worth <laughs> reading. That shit can happen. Okay. All right. So you cast it. What is the thing that you ask? 
So after the ritual completes, if you guys interrupt me, I'm just going to be like... Okay, you guys come out. Lauren's praying, Mecha like a high, Mecha high, ho, out on the deck, and his shield is glowing, and light is pouring out of his eyes. He looks lit from within, like by a lantern. That's amazing. And when it completes, <laughs> my question will be... If we were to bring Meyer Linda with us on our adventures, would she survive through the adventures? No. So I'll look up. She won't survive as she is. We're not going to take Meyer Linda with us. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Tamar. I got it. Would not, it would not work. She would die. Morden's told me this. Hey, Was Tamar. it Morden? Got I mean, who else would it be? It do you be think one of his servants or do you think Abder's you hear Morden's person? voice? Abder? Yeah. Yes, he's a person. Okay. He's alive. Yeah. That's all. I was just wondering if you think he's still him. That's good. What do you ask? Oh 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 interesting. Well, you see, I was just thinking, uh, I mean, the important part of your your little lady friend um, is that she has inside her the access code for these towers, you know, to save the whole wide world. However, she's currently in this little itty bitty, uh, very fragile Fabergé egg kind of shell of a half elf i was wondering if That's she would old. still be a person if she were made of hardier stock like uh like one of the the folk from this town which are you suggesting timogen i'm just saying i wonder if if she had all those abilities if we'd be able to keep her safer and she'd be able to do what she needs to do to save the whole world. I don't even know why we're letting you continue to talk. He's asking me questions and nobody wants to hear from you, Mr. Light Eyes. What are you saying? Are you Sorry, saying fear you are hungry? There you go. That's not what I'm saying, but that is a very good idea. That's what you know, I was saying. That is not what I was saying, but if... Hey, what the fuck were you saying? Well, can we have one conversation at a time? You, shut up. Go back to... Light beam in your the side of the whatever it was you were looking at. I was having a conversation with Tamat about the girl that he's trying to protect. But with your idea, that's even better. Now listen, if you were, if you were to listen, that can't do. <laughs> I just don't know why I'm buying into this shit she's, right now. <laughs> she, you could give her a better body. You could make her sturdier and stronger. I believe the problem is. We did not know Abder before, so we do not know if their personality, their person, persists. We are not feeding the little girl to any of these hungry. There you go. There you go. All right, so at least you've made a choice. It's good to know that you're on my side in the end of the world now. What you really got to do, is though, is actually join up the team. What is... What... What? What team do you mean? Well, we're the, we're going to be the ones that survive. I'm going to be the one that gets to the other side of the world after it ends because she's not able to deactivate all the towers. If you wanted her to be able to do that, then then you'd be on the side of the living and whatnot. But you but but you you agree that we we shouldn't make her stronger and better for this process. So so yeah, you're you're over on the. The, the other side now, right? <laughs> Your words are confusing me, Temujin. I believe they are meant to. You know how <laughs> I get when I'm confused. You get violent. Or do you? I do not understand. Why are you suggesting to feed this little girl to a That was your idea. <laughs> That's not... I mean, I do think there's merit to it, and I... I would say it's not something that you should write off completely. But, I mean, they have an entire society. For all we know, I mean, sh that 
important genetic code could be copied multiple times across their society. It could be an entire world of the little girl that you're, you know, how hard is it to save them if there are hundreds of them? That little girl was everywhere, made of thick, trolly stuff. I look over to Orin. Orin's like, no, dude. <laughs> I or he I'm letting be... him talk because he thinks he's so fucking smart. Well, he is. But he's just trying to confuse you. He's trying to make it seem like that was your idea. And it wasn't. That was his. And it's not a good one. There are certain codes one must live by. Do you agree with this, Timogen? Everybody has certain codes that they live by. Uh, I mean, there are simple codes, like, to survive, you must eat. Everyone has different codes to mock. Not everyone's codes are the same. Right now, I do not feel like your codes are matching up with my codes. You know who does have a good code worth matching up? It's Meyer Linda. Mm. You just stop it. There can be another way. We don't need that DNA. That no. code. No, there's, and there's ways around Tamat it. wouldn't be able to live with himself. Going that route. And maybe others would. If I look at you. <laughs> but I also, you can see in my eyes that I'm thinking myself as well. I mean, you did some shit. Your hands aren't yeah. clean, man. Yeah. I'm not saying you that killed the rest of his family. <laughs> That's why we're not bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suggesting we sacrifice his future wife. You sacrificed all of his parents and sisters and brothers and uncles and aunts and friends and school teachers and firefighters and uh, I don't think trainers. there were any of those. <laughs> I don't know. We never got to see his fucking village, did we? Well, they didn't fight the fire very well, did they? <laughs> Rough. I don't think we're saying any of that. No. In your eyes, you're saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we're like, <laughs> <laughs> He starts hitting me with telepathy. <laughs> 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 Metal man. Yes. Where do your morals lie? Uh, usually my my what yeah. my choices are more based on individual circumstances. I do not generally do the long drawn out plans as things often change. I prefer to calculate in the moment. Generally I value sentient sentience. So do you have anything to contribute to what was just being said? I believe the girl has sentience, and therefore she should make her own choice of what happens to her. If she wishes to go home, and I say we have choices to make around that. We can see her home, or we can send her off and hope that she gets there okay. Mm. I told her that I'd let her decide on her own, but we must. she must give us an answer by the morning. And I believe that is fair. We cannot waste our time waiting for her answer. Tomorrow. <laughs> She will die. She the things you don't say are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It'll be her choice, but she will <laughs> die. <laughs> and we might as well. I've already done it once. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. Didn't know the robot sneezed. You know now. <laughs> Fantastic. Perhaps. We could. You okay over there? Well, uh, I'm trying my best to operate in a way that doesn't offend my dear hammer wielding companion. Because you don't want to get hit. Oh, speaking of hammers, remind me to tell you guys about this crazy war mace that I got for working out the other day after game. It's wild. What? Yeah, they make these. Uh, quick segue away from game. <laughs> they, yes. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they, you know how kettlebells are a thing. Mm -hmm. They make these things that are they're called maces, and it's basically like a kettlebell ball on the end of a super long metal handle, and you swing it around. 
It's really cool. Yeah, that sounds like something that you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's so good. Is it ridiculously heavy? No, it's pretty. I got a 10 pounder because I was checking them out and I was like, oh, what kind of weight should I get? I wonder. And yeah. this one guy was like, dude, get a light one because it's super fucked up. And I was like, eh. And then another guy was like, I got a 20 pound one. I can't use it. Get 15 at the most. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll get a 10 pound one and I'll share it with Heidi, right? It's like a good middle of the road weight. The first time I swung around, I almost dislocated my right shoulder. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> AKA, like... <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't have one. <laughs> but after a little bit of practice, it's super fun. It's really great. Mm. Zombie prep. It makes you feel like a barbarian while you're working out. Mm. In fact, there's this thing called barbarian squats that I do with it that is fucking brutal, but <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You got to get one. So, you don't want to offend them all. Uh, but I don't remember why. Oh, because you don't want to get hit. Yeah, yeah, well, that too. We all do that. <laughs> what, t- what time of day is it? Can it's probably around 10 in the morning. Hmm. You've got time. You guys finished a long rest, had a quick conversation, and I was like, unfolded to space. What you boop. And then there, um, I'm just trying to remember. So, this is set up about a day's walk from the river where we met. Is that what was, was that about what it was? I don't know. Or was that from the Peacekeeper camp? Yeah, it was about a day's walk from the, the Peacekeeper camp. And then okay. another day to get to the, the port where we would take the ship to go back up north. Okay. If you intend... So sorry. If you intend to keep this girl safe, we're going to have to plow the road. We're going to have to make sure that everything between here and there is cleared out. We can get her back to the river. We can take the boat around the swamp. But that peacekeeper camp, which is probably our best rest location, it's proven problematic. We've seen, we've seen the vines. We've seen the growth, we've seen the decay. It appears to be a thin spot. So we should probably go clear it out first. I believe keeping her with us would be a, a smarter <laughs> idea. The uh, I do have this still, and I'll hold up the rod of security. Yes. I thought I had that. Did I give that to you? I have it in my inventory. Oh. I'm saying she's, she's, got got <laughs> she's, she's got a, a room here, and it looks like she's... Decorated it. There, now you it's have it. It's oh, as okay. comfortable as possible. <laughs> we let her decide in the morning. I believe he's talking about clearing the way before morning. Yeah, I mean, what are we going to do all day today? Might as well get get started. You don't want to dilly-dally while the world ends around us. Are you, are you a, a doer or a waiter? I'm I believe. far away, is it? Uh, I mean, we could we could get there by nightfall if we wanted. If we were at, left now. Do they have anything that we can take through the swamp? Any creatures that we could ride through the swamp? With all due respect, Temujin, and as much as I want to smash things tonight, I do not trust her in a place full of hungry. I she, never did from the beginning. She's been here for days. For like a week almost. Also, uh, there are some who may find offense in us clearing the way. If, like what was in the uh, the bars is what we would be clearing, because many of them consider them their own. Uh, yeah, it is well, possible we could offend them. I would. I wouldn't <laughs> recommend telling anybody. I mean, the the barkeep down there for sure. She's already not in the mood to feed us tonight. So I I wouldn't. You know, bring a full report to her. I do not require food. That's fantastic. You're the only thing in the world that doesn't like to eat. Orin. What do you I was think? trying to see if they might have anything we could ride through the swamp. Quicker. Who? You want to go back through the swamp? To the west. To the... So we have to go but you still have to go through the hunger. Short, chair. stubby legs don't like to go through these areas. Yeah, no, it's so terrible. 
Is Abder still around? Right. He left, didn't he? I mean, he's kind of like... <gasps> Wait, did somebody... Did I have to give away my hoverboard of floating? No. Yes! No one took your hoverboard of floating. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember if I kept that. Yeah, I took all the items. Oh, wait, did you give it to Old Man Lassie? I don't know. Oh, don't yeah, right. So. Yo, you gave something from him. Yeah. Then he gave again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, you gave his <clears throat> horn. Right. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. Sweet. Cheated your way through that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did you say I G'd my way through that one? No. I thought that would be great. I said cheated. No. <laughs> G'd your way through that one. That should be a new phrase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. G your way through oh. it. Mm-hmm. I've done my evil deed for the day. You choose, <laughs> Mr. Tamat, whether or not we bring her. We are staying with the girl until the morning. Nah. Nah. See, I don't particular want to be here. Whatever it is we're going to do, I, I vote that we start fucking doing it. We could have teleported halfway around the world. We could have gone anywhere. And you brought us to the front doorstep, which is fine. But we got we got to get moving. Your plan would have the world end while we're training to get ready to battle the world ending. You guys could have done so many different things to that free teleport anywhere. So you could have said almost anything. Hey, you put you put a you put a, a goal in front of the, the barbarian. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. putting a goal in front of him right now. <sighs> you get an inspiration. You get an inspiration. Oh, I do. Oh, oh come on, Illbeard. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ill beard. Nice. He knows not to give it to this devious gnome. <laughs> <laughs> he will fuck over here in the yeah. corner. <laughs> I'm trying to save all our lives. <laughs> mm, sort of. Def- well, yes, definitely true. That was not a lie at all, actually. We're giving... <laughs> I love how you have to, like, fact check. I'm like, wait a second. Was that... Uh, what? No, no, no. no, 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 no okay. right. That one was true. Yeah. That right. one was true. <laughs> the end of the world will not be tonight, Temujin. What if I believed you were wrong? I don't believe we could do anything in one night. You can't. But then we're all doomed and we might as well start drinking. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. Sometimes, sometimes you can't save the world, but you can make it better. And that's what you find the little piece that you can do. Like saving this girl. You plow the road. Do you want to if you if you right. guys if you guys don't want to go, if you want to sit here and watch the little girl sleep, you can do whatever it is the fuck you want. It's not for me to judge. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna start clearing the path, I'm gonna get it ready so that we can leave in the morning if that's what you choose. So be it, Temujin. But I am not leaving this girl's side until she tells me to. Yeah, I know. You're terrifying and disgusting. I get an inspiration. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is, there, is there a swear filter on our thing? Because I got words for... <laughs> I'm trying to be evil here. <laughs> so you do have a hoverboard, or the, the board that you hover on. Perhaps you... It wouldn't be a bad idea for you to scout ahead and see if there's anything. Let us know, so we would be more prepared for the morning. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, yes to die. Yeah. You go. <laughs> we have not found anything in the swamp yet that flies. Everything is on the ground. Even the uh, the catablepus required a certain distance to be able to. I would have been terrified things. if they could fly. Yes. Can you carry two people on that thing? I don't know. Let's look so much like a flying bird. Like, uh, you I... ride on to Mark's shoulders and you both go. I could probably ride. A... I already said I am not leaving the girl's side. All right, I could probably Let's bring the down. girl. She's small enough. I don't have to roll inside. <laughs> I don't think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody's like. Yep. 
I, for one, was like, oh, that would be a good way to travel and make sure she stayed safe. All right, gotta keep her out of danger's way. Yeah. But nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to keep her safe. Did you say, like, that would be a good way to keep her safe is to, when we travel to fly? Yeah. Yes. The metal man is right. When we'll travel tomorrow, you'll take her on your little floating machine. I don't know if you're in a position to start giving out orders. I've been trying for the past half hour to get things solved, to take care of this situation, to do things even your way. But you just fight every single step of it. And now you want to use my resources. What about your resources? What about requisitioning your hammer to go kill everything between here and that peacekeeper camp? So we don't have to fucking deal with it when we've got a 12-year-old with us. <coughs> but she would be I think fine. you're doing apples and oranges there, Tudmajum. If we had our stocks, would it be a good idea to use this rod for everyone? Would you be offended by that? I would not. There you go. It's a group resource. If it's something we need, we should be willing to help each other out. No one needs mm. hammer. And there's been many a time where we help him out, give him a better hammer, better armor. I'm giving him as many options as I can. You're yelling at him. Look at him, he's scared. It's because it's taken a half fucking hour to get the most base. We're still in the goddamn swamp right next to where we... Right, you wanted to know what goes on in between those uh, skips and jumps. Here we go. <laughs> Lots of talking. What happens... Speaking of between the skips and jumps, have you even tried that, Rod? Do you think... I mean... What if a whole bunch of us were to sleep there tonight, that other place, would that be useful for us? It would be a good way to get out of danger, but we would appear where we disappear. So it would not be a good spot if uh, the thing that was chasing us does not move on. But so there's no use to use it right now, since so we are not... In danger. Well, that that you know of. Are you saying that there is going to be danger? Of course. Have you have fucking met us? We have they stayed do. here many nights and we have not had any issues. That is not true. We have not stayed here many nights. We've stayed here one night and there was problems. Mostly him at the end. We got in a little bit of a tussle with the, the bar matron. I believe we would use it at the time that the bar matron would be attacking us, though. It is not something that we would want to use later. So if there is trouble, then we would use it. I walk away. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. No, you don't. I hoverboard away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will uh, pull out the map and work with these guys to figure out where the closest tower is to both us and the girl and see if it's going in the, the direction. So where do we go, Orin? Where do we you go? You guys never here? updated the map in real time. No one wanted to... Uh, we didn't update it in real time, but figuring out where the closest one on the map still, even though it might not be correct. I mean, it's still the same one. It's, there's two that are around the same amount of distance away. One's in the middle of the ocean and one's out in the desert. Are any of them heading east? What do you mean heading east? Uh, if we were to bring the girl to her place. Oh, no, yeah. You're probably closer to the one in the ocean at that point because you're moving away from the desert. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll work on that and point out, plot a kind of course so that we okay. can go around, drop her off, and then continue going to the towards the ocean. Uh, I mean, sure. You can get to the ocean. How are you going to get like way out in the middle of the ocean? Mm -hmm. That's, That's a problem nice for future acts, yeah. future yeah. Orin. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We go to the to... desert. That is the easiest one to get to. We would be That's going an idea. Let's right now. Let's get to the boat. What? 
It's supposed to be here soon? No. It was I mean, a week. It's kind of like, yeah, it hasn't been exactly a week, has it? So it's like two or three days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we spend this night, we'd have a couple days. I guess right. we could travel. So maybe in the morning. Location. Whatever the girl decides. We then head we towards go. the boat. Yes. Do we still have the, or the other? Do we still have the thing that can communicate with the person mm. who's sending the boat? Yes, Timogen has the stones right now. I, the, 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 the boat's already been sent. The little girl yeah. has yes, the stones. Yes, but uh, I believe the I have girl. information. Oh, wait. Did the little girl... Yeah, okay. The little girl has little stones. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. She's been talking okay. with Saul. Okay. Uh, I suppose I should tell Saul about the information I found out about the prince. I believe... Elio is speaking to him. Sure. He might be able to relay information. I mean, Elio's so. dead. <laughs> I know. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're no problem. I don't think, actually, well, I don't think Saul really gives a games. shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> two or three more Not games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we wait till the morning. The girl makes a decision and we leave. And that's that. Either we take, take her with us or she goes up north. Whatever she decides is her choice. I thought that's what we just said. I'm, I'm not just force reiterating her what you said. Well, if she decides that she wants to go east, she goes east. Fair enough. Right. Then for the rest of the day, I want to go find out if they got any mounts. If they get through the swamp. Most of these boats. Or boats. They got boats. There's boats. Do these canals go all the way to the river? Uh, the swamp? Could you navigate all the way through? I mean, so who are you talking to? Are you finding Abder or are you finding... I find anyone I can. Anyone you can. Okay, so there's like an old lady sitting on, a, on her porch rocking in a rocking chair. Does she know anything about the boats? Sure, she'll talk to you. I find someone that knows about the boats. Okay, so you find the guy that, like, is in a boat with a fishing net or something? There you go. Right. All right. Do you know if anyone uh, can be contracted to go to the river? West? Well, see, that's interesting there. Prospect there, because, like, uh, going to the river from here, if you want to take a boat, it's a roundabout sort of way, and probably you're looking at the same amount of time to take you to walk, really. Uh, well, you got stubby little legs. I don't know about you. Exactly. But, uh, I mean, you could, someone could take you if you wanted to. Yeah. Sure. sure. What's your thing that would cost? Well, it depends on how many people you're taking, how many boats you want Four. to contract. And it, what, pardon? Four people. Five. Five. Five, thank you. F uh, five people you want. But two of them are kind of small, and I'm a little small. And what, and where exactly are you trying to go? To the river? Well, there's a lot of rivers that empty out in this one, my friend. X, show them the map. Uh, I don't know the river's name. The <laughs> encampment. <coughs> oh, uh, I'm trying to go up to Peacekeepers then. Yes, in that direction. Yeah, there's a way to get down it. there from here. Sure. This, this is a possibility. I'd love to get there. Could I contract your boat? Uh, How much would it cost? Three gold ahead. Temujin has gold. all the gold. <laughs> I got 15 gold, don't I? No, I don't, I don't think you have gold. any gold. You have no gold. <laughs> I always give Temujin the gold. <laughs> well, do you only trade in gold or you trade in other things? I'm not talking about sexual favors. <laughs> yeah, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> the rules of the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep your Does hand he have a rudder. fishing rod on him or... Yeah, he's got a net. He fishes with a net. Fishes with a net. Mm -hmm. Is it weighted? Yeah, it's got weights on the outside. Metal weights or? No, stone. Stone weights. Well, I happen to have uh, certain talents that can fix up any broken nets or create your metal pieces from others. I can create you different kinds of rods that you need to fish with or... Things that do, you might need. I don't do none of that rod fishing. It's too slow. I use net, catch up everything all at the same time. It's real quick. It's much faster. But uh, is there know. anything that you do need that you're missing? Money and magics. What, what kind of magic? What kind of magics did you got? 
Well, I do magic. Wait, so you you are magic? Huh? And he is hungry. Yeah, why don't you roll your <laughs> insight there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hear there. a rumble? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think anyone ever explained to me the hungry. <laughs> I don't think they did. <laughs> Uh, 17. Okay, so he's like, well, I'll see here. That would be a bad idea. It's not so much as he is magic as more did. Hey, I'm given my powers by the gods. You talk to Ur. Who's Ur? Ur, you don't got in these parts, really. Well, I could mm-hmm. if you have a question for him. Find your food somewhere else, Hungry. I be fishing. That's what I be doing for food, mostly. All right. <laughs> so, does, it, does he look kind of fishy? His, yeah. He's like gills. Ask, do you have anything to trade this man? If you want to, I could trade you an answer to a question. And you'd be asking her for me? And I can ask her. It'd be with something that happens in the next seven days. And it'll be a specific question, no, like, open-ended. Something that has a, a, s- a singular answer. A- ask her if I'm going to go find, if I'm going to get Sally in the next seven days. Who's Sally? Biggest catfish in this here swampy area. Bigger than your whole leg. Big enough to eat some small man like you. Even take a butt out of some hungry. She's a mean bitch. Everybody been fishing for Sally forever and ever. Hi. Now, I don't know if this suffers from the 25% chance since I'm talking to her, so I'm going to look that up. Asking different patrons? Yeah. <laughs> I call in all the gods. <laughs> One after the other. It says, it says a god. He says to you, that's how the bar Or their servant. A not- single question concerning a specific goal. So, I'll do it as a ritual. And if I do it two or more times before finishing my next long rest, there's a cumulative 25% chance for each casting that I get a random rating. So, this might not even be an accurate rating. Right. But I'm not telling them that. I don't even know if you want to talk to her, but okay. I mean, it's a god. I'm right serving. here. <laughs> it's oh. kind of. I've never done this. All right. Oh. Do you know better? Uh, no, he doesn't know. That. I mean, I'm uh, wise, but my intelligence is about to get a hammer to the head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right this man. is what a concussion feels like. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're pulling a Brian right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I do it. It's you pretty exciting. It. <laughs> so it takes yes. uh, 10 minutes and one action. Well, you better hope that you uh, get the random reading. So roll for that 25% chance. You want me to roll? I'll roll it. Here. I won't even know, right? You'll know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so one's bad. No, one just means you get in touch with somebody else by accident. One is the random. One is what you want. Two, three, no, and one's four. Bad. Are bad. I want to talk to Ur. Two, three, and do. four are bad. <laughs> okay. <Like> that. <laughs> hey, Ur. <laughs> All right. Hey, it worked. So again, you'll see my eyes glow, but kind of in the middle of it, you see them glow in a different color. It's not bright white light. It starts turning a little darker. Yeah. And the lines in my shield start tracing, but all the lines avoid the symbol of Moradin. Okay. Um, Yep, so you have a chance to ask her a question. As I'm concentrating, I go, what was her name again? You ask her that? This guy. Oh, oh, I was like, that's your one question? Yeah, I was like, there you go. Sally, Sally, Sally. Sally. No, Sally was a lady. I forgot the kids no. No. Sally, Sally was, was a fish. fish. His name is Caleb. I need to know his name, who I'm asking for. Yeah. Caleb. Because the question is going to be, will Caleb catch Sally? Catfish. catfish. Make right. sure because there's no Sally in town. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> and I cast. Mm-hmm. Even I didn't fucking up this bad. God. <laughs> Mr. Err. Between the two of you. Will this here gentleman Caleb catch that catfish named Sally? Okay. So you don't even hear In words. the next seven days. There you go. You don't even hear any kind of words or anything like that. You just get like this over, like, 
overwhelming sense of being starving, like ravenous. You feel like your stomach is eating itself. You're so hungry. You feel like you haven't eaten in years. You're thirsty. You feel the flesh on your body kind of withering and sort of being consumed by your own body. You open your mouth to scream, and this is what you guys see if you're there. Are you guys there? I yeah. assume so because we've okay. been interacting. He opens his mouth to scream, and instead, like, a bloom of black tentacles start creeping out of his face and wrapping around his mouth. I take my maul out and, and I get ready. The light in that's coming out of his eyes was kind of darkening and it turns crimson and blood starts to drip out of his eyes like tears. And hey, try to touch him and cast Lesser Restoration. You're going <laughs> to touch him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Trying to cast Fuck my restoration. life. <laughs> okay. I rage. So, it's a touch. Roll rage. concentration. <laughs> because you guys need to die. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to die. The campaign <laughs> needs to end. <laughs> Mott's going to end the campaign <laughs> today. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't <laughs> do it to Mott. needs to end. Uh, wow, that's hardcore. I'm going to break everyone. <laughs> oh, no. One? I yes, rolled a one, but you have an inspiration. I have an inspiration. Thank Better God. Now. Thank you, Eelbeard. Yeah, right? Uh, concentration Fucking is Ill-beard. a... Eelbeard. Uh, con plus five, so 22. Okay. So you can cast it, nothing happens, but when you do make contact with him, you start to feel this feeling like you don't even know what it feels like, mm-hmm. but it is overwhelming hunger. Uh, and thirst, and you, you have no like conceptual framework for it, but you feel pained. You feel like the substance of your body is being consumed by something, and uh, you also start to sprout tentacles in all of your joints. <sighs> okay, so Ur finally speaks to you. Oh, it took that long, huh? Well, first you had to eat you a little bit. Bastard. <laughs> so... <laughs> So he says... He has to tell me the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. He can and he can answer cryptically or indirectly. An or cryptic, rhyme, short phrase. Caleb will be dead before the day is out. All right. He will be consumed. All right. That's what you get. And then what you... Uh, yeah, that's what you get. And then it's over. The link is broken. Snap. The tentacles fall out of your mouth. Do you I have a bad aftertaste? Free. Yeah. Oh, this is like the slugs all over again. Yeah, you're like, yeah. blah, blah, blah. you spit the tentacles out. <laughs> you wipe the blood off of your eyes. And then you see me ready you, to strike. You shed the tentacles that were growing out of your joints as if they were dead leaves. Right? You move and they kind of fall free. You guys are each 10 pounds lighter than you were before this happened. Hmm. Speak if you still <laughs> speak if you still serve Morden. The fuck's your problem tomorrow? And Caleb was like, he was kind of looking at you. And he's like, ah, oh, you did talk to her. I know what that looks like. That's that's what that. Said. So what did he say? Am I no, catch he'll not catch Sally in the uh, next week. Her damn it. <laughs> How much would it take to her? Her damn it. <laughs> Nay, dude. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> If I was to ask you to leave, what day would you want to leave if you were going to take us? As soon as you get that there old or some kind of magic item in order to trade for, uh, you know, in order to trade me, I'll, I'll take you whenever you want to go. Would you go today? Sure, I'll go today. Tomorrow? Yeah, sure, I'll go tomorrow. Oh, it's done. I mumble. <laughs> And if I didn't get you the gold? Well, then I'd be not getting you no more. Then you'll stay here. Yes, sir, I would. I, I'd probably go try to catch Sally anyway. Or be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't say that too uh, loosely. <laughs> you do know that uh, it's able to hear. Since uh, you're able to speak. Well, to I her. did open a... A bad link. Yeah, I. <laughs> I. Yeah, it seemed like. That's the last time I'm going to do that. <laughs> Friend, maybe you'll be gaining into wisdom. You better be careful. About we'll not be back. All right. Where are you going to be? I'll be here on the porch. My fishing done for the day. 
I'm gonna smoke me some pipe and make oh, a track. you'll be here all day. Ah, yeah, this is my shack right here. Right. I'll smoke some pipe. Come Maybe follow. later on I might go I down say. to the bar and try to catch a different Sally. <laughs> That's what he says. So we, as we walk away. <clears throat> right, I did get an answer. What did you see? He's going to die before the end of the day. I had a little trouble interpreting that. Because if we were the ones to take him out of the city, out of this village, maybe he would die because of that. But if he stays here, maybe he dies because he's here. Or maybe something's going to happen here. But. Or maybe he will try to catch the catfish and the catfish will eat him. Well, he said he's done fishing for the day. Maybe the Sally will eat him at the bar. It's entirely possible. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Either way, I was trying to get an idea. It's a fucked up story. <laughs> Either way, I was trying to get an idea. If we were to not interfere with the fates, if it would happen here or if it would happen out there. Regardless, if he's going to die, something around him is going to be harmful. He so. said he'd be here for the rest of the day. So I'm going to explain it in a different way. If we don't interfere, I believe he'll die. And I believe that he'll die here. He'll be consumed is what Ur had said. So it sounds like something's coming here. If something is coming here. Then my Ireland is in trouble. Then we're all in trouble. The entire village is in trouble. Some logical jumping right there. Just fucking <laughs> meta game and sons of bitches. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's not meta game. We could be completely wrong. <laughs> this one hungry, the village of hungry is going to get eaten. Therefore, let's get this get the elf fuck girl out. out of town. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've seen the hungry, <laughs> the things. Do y'all think that? You guys had said that old man Mossy needed a payment on the way out. Do you think he's coming here because he didn't pay him? Does he know that we left? He may still be waiting for us to come out. I do not know. But if the girl's in danger, we must leave. Or she's in danger because we leave. At least oh. to recap of the easy next week. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fuck. Got shit done. We teleported. Yep. Done. Recap that done. Game. <laughs> we, we waited. I mean, the day is starting to pass. You guys are, it's probably like, it's at least lunchtime by now. Late lunch, I'd figure. I could try again. Talk to Morden. Mm-hmm. It's not accurate. It's more of a coin toss at this point. Mm. No other consequences to the mm-hmm. spamming that? No. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. yeah, there is. After four times, it's 100% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> then then you can use that to your advantage. <laughs> I also figure that if you're reaching out to a particular god and then you start getting random readings, you don't really know who you're hooking up with. Mm. Well, there's a coin toss here. That carries its own sort of risks in this in this setting. Does it say that you know that you got a random reader? Uh, no. You don't know. You don't know who's on the other end of the line. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, if tentacles come out of your mouth, then you know that you probably didn't get more in. <laughs> That's a fair assessment of what's going on. You actually do make the role of seeker, by the way. Oh, well, I that do. one didn't matter. I understood that that was... Right. That was definitely her. Yeah, that was her. You dialed the right number. I don't have another way today to get in contact with the gods, but I could try and see what they say. See what Morden says. Whatever you want to do, I say we leave. I, but you've been saying that for a while. In what way should we leave? By boat? With that guy? Uh, By swamp. The ramifications of even affecting his fates are making my head spin. I do not care about the fairy man. I take. I start the ritual again. Okay. Coin tossing. Where are you? 
Are you just outside the house right now? I guess we're at the next cabin over a couple Odds cabins evens. away. Uh, it's always evens. Okay. Cool. So my question is... If we stay... If we all stay here tonight... Are we and Meyer Linda in danger by staying in the village tonight? I've never done this, guys, so. <laughs> Three divinations in one day. Okay, so you get like a couple of like brief flashes. There's like fire, people screaming, the gnashing of teeth. Any um, people in particular? No, that's hard to tell. It's just kind of like random. I've seen this are built off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been this before. <laughs> yeah, so that's what you get. But at one point you see a hungry, hunched over a form, mowing down. Is it me? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave the night. <laughs> we must go warn Meyer Linda. And maybe I'm warn good. Abner. Right. Let's go find Temujin. He's probably sulking somewhere. Where did you go? Um, I went around the corner, and then I hoverboarded up to the roof where they are, and I'm listening. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you watched him like... Or you heard him tentacle mouth and right. So I'm just sitting there. That's not creepy at all. No, but he's <laughs> he's become the creepy one. <laughs> you like look up and he's like, <laughs> right, I'm going down. <laughs> we need to go find damage. Damage, Smeagol. <laughs> So we'll head away. I'm not looking up for him. No one ever looks up. No one ever looks up. Right. It's such a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> towards the village, I would suppose, because we'll, that's where we'll he's stuck towards. We'll probably go to Meyer Linda's way. Oh, you want to go back to get her first? Yeah, and warm Abner. That was the last time we saw Abner. That's where he is. Yeah, yeah, Abner's Abner's yeah he's basically the village security, so. Right. He's out of... Hunt? He kind of walked off into the swamp a little bit to give you guys some privacy to work shit oh, out, okay. but then when you left, he went back. So then we'll go back there. Yep. We walked back to the hut. Okay, so you walk back outside of town to the hut. Do we the, see Abner when we walk out? Or? Yeah, he's sitting out there on his porch, <laughs> smoking a pipe. Abner. Yeah, how can I help you? Uh, tell him. We have a reason to believe that your village is in a dire straits. Let's say going to be burned down to the ground. Everything here consumed. Everyone. At it's just point, a hunch. For about fifteen <laughs> feet above like, you, flying <laughs> silently, is Temujin. You know, well, you mean a fifty-fifty shots, or none of that could be true, right? I mean, be honest with him if you're going to give so, him all the gloom and doom. When you're telling me that my village will be razed to the ground and everything is real bad, and then you say you have a hunch, I'm not so sure if I understand correctly the words that are coming out of your mouth. All right. Well, let me put it to you plainly. I've seen in a vision that tonight, if everyone's here, they will be killed. Consumed. A vision from a god. No. Oh. First, what did you say the math was on it? Temujin, you, shut the fuck I'm up. just curious because he, you, you see, act like you know everything. I, all I'm saying is I'm sitting up here and you're giving him exactly half the story, which is an interesting number if you think about it. What I think is you can fucking stay here tonight, and you can fucking stay here tonight. I don't care, but we're leaving. 
and we're taking the girl. And I'm going to walk inside the hut and... We're telling her that she'll be safe to come with us because it's not safe here. <laughs> You're coming with us no matter yeah. what. Yeah, and there's like... Hold like, oh, one second, friend. Like, <laughs> from what I understand, you gave uh, this here little girl the opportunity to decide for herself what it is she wants to be doing. Yeah? And we will let her know. All right. He's kind of rubbing his side. Anybody have insight can roll it. Oh, I... He's like rubbing his kidney. I got... I got up my eyes and insight, so... I you got, got what? I got... Up your eyes? Oh, that was... That was <laughs> oh, a skill he gave. Up the eyes. Up the eyes, <laughs> right. That's cocked, kind of. It is. What do you think? Should I keep it? Roll again. I mean, it's, it's either like, 12 or 15. Roll, roll again. It's an ability check? That's not bad. Uh, You're stupid. Yeah. Uh, well, 17. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I just realized my flash of genius also works for ability checks. No. I'm yelling at Temujin. Okay. Uh, I got a, a 9 minus 1. Okay. 16. All right. So two successes and two failures. You didn't botch, did you? No. All right. Oh, they're all a 2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, so he looks unwell. He kind of looks sweaty. He's a little pale green. He keeps grimacing and kind of rubbing his side a little bit. Mm-hmm. Is it where I rub my side a little bit? Nope. It's over by his kidney. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> With my insight, like of 17, would I understand that it's probably due to, you know, Oz? Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know that he has an uncommonly good constitution, right? Right. And he looks sick. Sure. He reminds me of like your one of your uncles had like kidney stones and the gout simultaneously one time and looked really fucking bad off for a little while. And he looks kind of similarly bad off. Like he looks like something's fucking wrong with him. Do what you will with his information. Orin, come help me convince the girl to leave. Thanks. I don't really know her though. So he's like he whistles. I'll just help you. He whistles? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, so let's just tap the brakes on the whole Larry, kidnapping. Other Larry. Uh, Val. Val and Mel <laughs> kind of come out of the woodwork around the ca- around his, his building. He's like, I think that what you meant to say, friend, is that you would like to give her the opportunity to consider your proposal. Is that not what we just said? That is not what you said. What did you say? You said you were going to go in there with all the charm of a day rapist and talk her into doing whatever it is you want. Every time you open your mouth, Temujin. <laughs> it's like I hear Ozzy over there. Fucking, you just fucking asked me a question and I gave you the answer. Yeah, I'm talking You're the to one you. being creepy right now, not <laughs> me. <laughs> May I have a second to speak to Abdur? Yes. Say words. <laughs> Time's up. He kind of like gets <laughs> cowboy hat and he sort of does this. He kind of leans and rubs his back a little bit like this. You see him leaning up against the wall next to him. He has a great axe. Uh, he sort of moves so he's a little closer to it. Orin. Inconspicuously ish. Orin spoke to uh, Ur per request of the ferryman, Fisher. So are you done? <laughs> and he was no. I really, I would like an answer to that question, boy. <laughs> like, he no, did it on purpose. He's not the most brightest. Most he, brightest. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still learning. <laughs> fair, fair enough. But I learned was, something today. <laughs> he was I informed. He, did. he was informed that the fisherman was it K K something Caleb Caleb. Right, the old crusty one with the barnacles on his boat. He was informed that he would die today. Did you tell Caleb about this? No. Why not? Because they're liars. Because I wasn't sure if his fate was tied to ours. And if I tried to change fate, we were trying maybe to get that's a boat. what gets him killed. We were not sure if he would die if we rented the boat or if... All right, so let me stop you for a second. Mm. We're doing too much. Slow <laughs> So uh, what time is it? 
It's midnight. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's dark all of a sudden. <laughs> the sun's like, whoa. <laughs> no, it's probably like, you know, 1, 1.30, 2. Somewhere there. It's afternoon. So here's the thing. I talked to some god who showed me some pictures of this village being destroyed. Now, Whether wait, that is, is actually you, accurate or is not. Is this when you talked to her? No, after talking to Ur, and we were unsure of the fate, he decided that it would be good to double-check and see if it was the town or Caleb that was essentially doomed. <laughs> and what did you see? I told you what I seen. And it might not be true, and it might be true. Do you want to take that risk? That's the question. We have a 50-50 chance that the town will burn today, essentially. Did you see a picture of the town burning, or was it all the people? Maybe as they were fleeing the town. Maybe. I've seen fire, things being raised. You probably wouldn't raise the fields and then the swamp, a but you would raise eating. the town. A or, hungry or the hungry. Eating. You yes. raise the hungry. Fire. That's their weakness. It's good to know. In the future... If you ever see anything about anybody dying, I would recommend that you let that person know. I'm letting you know. Well, poor Caleb has no idea. Well, it's not time yet. It would be a good idea if you well, wish to tell him. Sometimes, if you have a large group of people that... Would you rather have me start a panic without talking to you first? No, that makes some kind of sense. Maybe the first sense you made all day. You're the authority figure, and so we decided to come to you with the information. Now... Go get Caleb. I think he was running off to Sally's. I reckon he probably is. Yeah. And not got, the fish one. Well, he's got a problem with both of them, Sally's. <laughs> Unhealthy <laughs> predilection. <laughs> hoping to catch the worms. Hoping that he's always trying to catch something. Man don't hardly catch shit worth eating. Mm. All right, well, uh... Well, we got Kenneth in there right now. Probably going there and see if he knows anything about any of all this. I can get a what? what? Kenneth. He, one of the hungry. He's an uncommonly bright one. He ate a wizard once or so, he says. <clears throat> Perhaps we could take the girl outside so that the hungry and the... Uh, is it named Kenneth? Kenneth. Kenneth? Kenneth, yeah. Perhaps we take her out so he does not hear where we are planning to go. Does not follow us. Would that be okay I with you? I think he was just saying that we should ask this thing. I'm going to go speak to Kenneth about the veracity of your comments. I believe we could take the girl outside at the same time and talk to her as you talk to him. If there are be? hungry in the vicinity, I don't know if outside of town is where you want to be. I'm just saying. That's where they mostly spend time is out in the open swamp. But, but do as you will. I, I suggest heavily. And at this point, he kind of places his hand on the haft of the great axe that you give that girl the benefit of deciding her own future. I agree. If you can, I mean here. I believe, like you, we are giving her information and letting her make the choice and helping her out as we can. As we plan to do with you as well. Well, let me go speak to our prisoner. And he stands up and kind of grunts a little bit. Grows his back. And walks inside. <clears throat> Is that noticeable now? I mean, yeah. At this point. When, when he stands up and starts moving, he looks like something's going on. Are you injured? Nope. Although, thank you much for asking. If there can be in a, of any assistance, please let me know. No, thank you. Shall we have the girl step outside so we can speak to her? If you have to speak, you we'll speak to the girl. You know her. So I'll go, I guess I'll go in. Okay. And I'll ask her to come outside. And be like, Marilinda. Would you step outside and speak to us right now? All right. And she walks out with you. <clears throat> you guys see, at this point, Larry and the other Larry have taken up their 
rooftop positions that they usually occupy when the hungry come, but they're watching you guys. I'll just give them a little. <laughs> I'm casting detect thoughts. On. Um, so who, who are you trying to skim the surface of? I think it was. You can focus your mind on any. Oh, any one creature you can see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So her. you focus. You can move it around. You mm-hmm. just have to focus on. So that. I'm going to start with her. Um, okay, she seems nervous and skittish. She doesn't know. She trusts you guys. Yeah. She's worried about what you want from her. She is not sure about all this talk about saving the world, but it sounds like a whole lot of reason to get some young, naive little girl alone in the swamp. And she also never thought that she would be so happy to be staying with some bloodthirsty hungry is the way she thinks of the mm-hmm. townsfolk, because they might be able to stop you if you try and take her. She's not super into it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we don't know that. I, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, what I could tell when he was like, hey, lady, come switch to Abner. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to focus on him for the time being and through the in- impending interrogation. Okay. Uh, that's a good one. Let me see. Do we ever know what his son's name was? Uh, you never said his name. Okay. The only thing that I got was, last time I cast this on him, I got an, an image of his son not making it from old man Nasi. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he was eating. Yep. And to be honest, I assumed that he might be waiting for us when we got back, which is why I went over and talked to the prisoner in the first place. Why? Who might be waiting for you when you got back? The son. Oh. Well... These things take time. Yeah. So you do, he is thinking about his son, and he's happy that he could save his son. That's one of the thoughts you get, one of the surface thoughts. Mm. Um, he's sad at the price that he had to pay, and it's sad that he won't be there to talk to his son when he when he shows up. Gotcha. And he is worried about the rest of the town folk, and not only how they will take his son's return and his the sacrifice that was necessary, but also what the hungry have planned and if they're finally going to make their move against the townsfolk. <clears throat> that perhaps with him being in his current weakened state, if the hungry are aware, they might capitalize on that. And he's talking to Kenneth, not getting a whole lot. You know what I mean? Kenneth's being kind of like, he's not actually saying a whole lot. He does say at one point to the sheriff that he's sorry for his loss, and that's about all he'll elaborate. But he says that without... Abder talking to him about anything that's connected to just, that. Okay. He just says it like it's like a weird, out of the blue kind of comment. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's mostly what you get. Yep. It's like weird around little shit. All right. Mm-hmm. You don't try to hit Kenneth though? Um, I guess it depends on how long the conversation is. Uh, actually, here. Evens means I'm going to recast because it, it's only for a minute a piece. So oh, I will recast. Okay. So I'll, I'll try to get it on Kenneth too. Okay. Is I'll that a, a cantrip? No. No, he's one of those. I'm, I'm going to zoom it. Do it. Yeah. I'm trying to save the fucking campaign, though no one will participate. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> no. I know not. you don't. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, you got Eldritch Blast. So, we'll, we'll, we'll do this for a little bit. More we'll eldritch than ever. <laughs> All right. Hey, Josh, can you pass me that cord? Which cord? This uh, one? That one. Was you where we were? Thank you. Yep. So, you guys are trying to convince the girl that you don't want to take her out of the swamp and do horrible things to her. Mm. Tomat's trying. And so I'm she'll come with us. <laughs> yeah, right. Why would you go with us? She's like, I don't know. This is a good idea. He was nice about it. <laughs> yeah. Well. So I'll sit down and I'll put my maul to my side again. Do you have persuasion? <laughs> yeah. All right, roll that. I'm, uh, I'm going to do the flash of insight. Persuasion. No, you do. I do. Nice. Wait, I'll check. I think I do. You do what? You have deception. Fuck. So yeah, you, you sit down with her in a room. I don't help you, damn you it. Help. And then you lay so your I weapon. Get advantage? No, you do nope. not get advantage. 
I lied. Roll and die, but you get a plus whatever. Plus four. Plus four. On I top get, of your regular uh, so I get a plus eight because I have plus four in my persuasion. Cool. All right. So. Don't roll one. What are you saying? Oh, my God. Inspiration. Hmm. What are you trying to do? Well, not that. Whatever it was. <laughs> okay. It's even less, man. <laughs> he never rolls a good inspiration. <laughs> Every time you roll inspiration, is less than. Uh, what is, what 11. Is, okay. okay. So what is it you say? So I'm just going to say what I always say. It's up to her to believe me or not. Like, whatever. But I say... Marlinda, <clears throat> there are things in this world that I don't understand, that I know they are bad, and that's why I continue to go on and fight these. I know that you are young, and it is dangerous, very dangerous, but you may be able to help us stop these bad things from happening. What happened to my family? What happened, what happened to, to your family? family? The tower. We did not know how to shut it down. And Orin blew it up. And it exploded. A big volcano. You exploded. see my face kind of turn a little white. <laughs> <laughs> exploded. And it destroyed my homeland. So he killed your family? He did what he had to do to save millions more. Would you do it again? Aye, if I had to. It's something I still have a hard time wrapping my head around. I did not know what would happen when I did it. But that is why we need you. So we do not make any more mistakes with these towers. I'm just a girl. I don't, I can't do the things that you can do. And I cannot do the things you can do. If you give me a moment, we did not take you out here to continue to try to convince you. We told you we'd give you till morning. Unfortunately, we found out recently that I do not believe that it is a good place to stay here. <clears throat> There's a chance of some attack happening on the village. Your rod. How many people can that thing take? Quite a few. It's 200 for an hour or one for 200 hours. Yeah. The more or, people we fight for days. days. It might be days. days. Yeah, 200 days. So, mm -hmm. yeah. One per day. You divide as per person. How many people are in the village? I have not gotten a full count. However, we would reappear where we left. Right. If they ransack the village and you find do not find anyone here, if they stay any amount of time, we would appear in the middle of them and not have a chance to escape. Would it be better than being here when they get here, whoever they are? Who are they? We don't know if they are anyone. We are trying to leave. But you then know, what I'm, happens to the rest of the people in this town? Mm. Or you've given them warning. You're not going to help them? I thought you were trying to save people. It's up to Abder if he wants to... What he wants to do. He hasn't even gave him the decision. But you're going to leave them to die. We are going to let them make a choice. As we are trying to do with you as well. A choice to run? A choice to run. A choice to fight. But you're not staying to fight with them. We do not know if they want us to stay. We are trying to keep you safe. There are a lot of children in this town. A lot of people in this town. They're important too. I look up at Orin. Really not. <laughs> I look up at Orin. <laughs> they're not people and they're not important. Oh my god. <laughs> if you would like wow. us to, we can ask Abder if you would like our assistance. If you want me to come with you, then you have to stay here and help save these people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
cackle of laughter. <laughs> I'm not actually. I look at Orin. To them. It is the right thing to do. Clerics in my town are good people. I'm not a That's what person. she says, and then she walks back into the building. <laughs> All right. <laughs> back to you. Whee! All right, so you're going to skim Cannon's mind? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're going to have to give me a wisdom save. You have advantage. Wisdom save. Wait. So, um, no, this is not that. Okay. So this is just feedback, huh? Yeah. Wisdom plus save, 17. Okay. Think about what happens when you put two microphones together. So you get like this horrible noise in your head, this like screeching, sort of raking sound. You feel ah. really hungry. Really, really hungry. And you're getting these flashes of like eating meat and like biting into flesh. And you see yourself biting Meyer Linda's face and you're happy about it. And then you can hear Canis thoughts. You get through like this weird fuzz. <clears throat> <clears throat> and he's thinking things like Abderhorn and Raven before the sun rises tomorrow I will eat your flesh mm-hmm. he thinks things like um, you know that Abder's current weakness will allow the hungry to sweep the town that Abder was the only thing really standing between the hungry and consuming their cousins that's time to take the abominations that the townsfolk have become and fold them back in to the rest of the hungry population and that if they won't come willingly they'll be torn limb from limb and consumed. That Ur demands it. And when he thinks about Ur it's not like the weird distant thoughts that someone would have about a god they've never talked to. It's more like thoughts that someone has for an older brother or a patron. Er. <laughs> gotcha. So that's the kind of stuff that you're going to get from Kenneth. But you get the idea that the hungry are coming tonight. Um, and that he's here just to scope out the town and how Abder's doing and what's going on. Because they thought Abder was gone. Mm-hmm. And that he has some way of communicating with the hungry in the swamps because of her. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to wait until their conversation is over. <clears throat> okay. He and doesn't really give Abder shit, but Abder, he's like, Abder's cagey enough to pick up that he's hiding stuff. Mm. Yeah, when they're done and he walks away, I'm going to make eye contact with Abder. So we need to talk. I reckon we do. He walks out, and he's like using the great axe almost as a crutch on his way out the door. Mm-hmm. You can see like a noticeable lump on that side where his kidney is. Kidney. <laughs> <sighs> and telepathically, I will say into his mind, <clears throat> there are ways of communicating that don't require mouths and ears. I was listening in on that one. We called you Horn Raven. Is that a name that you used to wear? He plans to eat you before the night is through. He's a scout. He's not a prisoner. And he is relaying the, your information back to the others. Mm. So you can stay and fight, or you can protect your boy. They're coming. He kind of his hat, he goes, well... Larry, Larry, calls him down from the rooftop. He says, unfortunately, time for negotiations are over. Could you please step into my office and take care of our prisoner? And one of them looks at the other one, and they kind of look at him, and one of Larry's is, not, not other Larry, but the first Larry is like, uh, are you sure, Ab? And he's like, uh, unfortunately, I reckon I am. 
He starts walking away from the building and he... Tamat's in there. Or, no, no one's in there right now. The girl's in there, Meyer Linda. He says to Meyer Linda, Sorry there, miss. You don't want to grab any valuables you might possess and leave the premises. Unfortunately, we are shutting down business for the remainder of the evening and the foreseeable future. He goes, gentlemen, away from the structure, if you will. <clears throat> yep. You talking to us, too? Because yeah. we were outside. Yep, all you guys. Yeah, I think I was the only one that was inside, but the other guys are outside. Because we took Maya Linda outside to talk to her. Yep. Okay. At this point, Mel gets back from grabbing Caleb. And I goes, Caleb, I need you to do me a favor. You know this swamp portion of the swamp better than anybody. Was there any way that we might be able to get some women and children out of town before the hungry, if they happen to be coming in the next 24 hours, uh, show up? How many are there? How many what? Women and children. Mm. Mm. Last I counted, probably around 80, 90, give or take. We're talking whole settlement wide. I'm uh, I'm able to keep people in another space, although I don't know how well that would work at the moment. You're just trying to get them um, out while we're here to fight? I don't reckon that's the best plan. Do you remember what happens when people teleport at the moment? God damn it. I, I believe if anybody was going to think of that. <laughs> we'll just send all the what children together. <laughs> Where are they going? Uh, oh. There's like a space for them, I think. Rod of hell. <laughs> Rod of the abyss. <laughs> Time's up, and they just kind of ooze back into it's like existence. Event horizon. <laughs> it's a sluice. <laughs> Tentacles everywhere. I believe we would survive. This is the worst, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> And that was the long-term evil plan of Temujin. <laughs> Tell everyone to escape their lives. <laughs> I'll wait here and fight them off. Yeah. <laughs> you just fly away. Put them in the rod of blender. <laughs> <laughs> here, they're easier to eat. <laughs> Helped you. So what you're saying is that that thing is useless? Not entirely. No. Anyone who could survive the trip. We just don't know. Oh. A little bit. Yep. We'll have enough any. to put your lips on. Have any of you tried it? No. I don't think no, he wants to know. He won't let us I know what happened things. the last time I dabbled in things that I didn't understand. I'm thinking of uh, I'm just about an early. hour ago. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <sighs> totally works. All right. So. Uh, <clears throat> what's your plan, Abda? We're going to stay? We're going to fight? Bye. I mean, I'm going to stay and fight because... Do you think Old Man Mossy is coming? No. Old Man Mossy don't. He don't live in the middle of the swamp anymore. He's more of a, a fixed force of nature. He's not necessarily one for getting out and about. But his brethren are, in numbers, quite dangerous fellows themselves. Also, you hear some screaming from the cabin behind him in a deep bass tone, like shrieking and shit. And if you can see in through the open doorway, you see those uh, Larry and the other have their hands out towards the cage, which is bars, so it's open. And they're just like spraying fire into the cage interior. And Kenneth is just like fucking cooking to the bone and then to ash. They burned the back of the building out even. <clears throat> My vision's coming true already. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're like, fire I saw screaming. this. This is exactly what I fire saw. Fire and screaming. <laughs> I'm so good at this. <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> uh, the two things I can do consistently would be ice and acid. Are any of those particularly more effective than the other? Well, uh, I don't know. Probably acid. Seems closer to what fire does, possibly, but I don't have a whole lot of experience with it. All I know is fire works, friend. That's what I know. Okay. I usually stick with what I know. I don't really want to stay, but I will. If you wish. No one's asking you to do anything you don't want to. Yeah, it's going, you pay your dues. That's not true. And then mosey on out of here. She asked. 
I point towards the little girl. He crouches down, he goes, Well, little miss, might be time for you to mosey on out of here. Maybe take the gentleman up there, find offer, and leave the premises while getting still good. And she looks really stubborn. She She's like refusing to leave because she knows that if she leaves, it takes the four of you with her. And their chances the town are better off with you here. So she's refusing. What are these things capable of? I've never really um, seen any. Fought, fought them. Well, they're fast and they're big. And they don't like fire. <clears throat> right. But if you don't burn them, they'll heal from damn near anything. How many I think there are? Well, I don't know, but probably enough. Well, that's a big statement. Enough for what? Total and utter destruction? You understand why they're called the hungry? Had none of you fellers seen fit to edu educate this poor bastard over here? They've been a little preoccupied. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Seriously. You were with us the whole time. No, I was not. I was trapped into a chair most of the time, making a deal with a god-awful son of a bitch for the future of my progeny. And I don't know what the fuck you all were doing, but you didn't tell this man shit. He's coming to this blinder and deafer and dumber than... Seriously. I'm disappointed. Dumber than what? Of you. And a box of rocks. I thought you were going to say tomorrow. <laughs> Just <laughs> Nobody's that to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> it's like, seriously, I'm disappointed in three of you gentlemen. Listen. I'm used to it. When the hungry probably are. consume something, mm -hmm. someone, mm -hmm. what happens to the soul? Well, I don't rightly know. What happens to a soul when someone dies? I imagine it's the same thing. Mm. I sure as hell hope so. I don't think it is. If I were one of the four of you, I would focus hard on not getting it. Right. <clears throat> Well, what's our defense? What's our strategy? I'm sure you got one, right? Yeah, we'll probably pull you back. Prepared to, for this? Well, you know, prepared is a strong word, but probably we'll pull back into the center of town. Uh, is the town all made of wood. A lot of it is made of wood. That could be to our advantage. And possibly if we can lure them into the buildings and not be in the buildings ourselves, which I don't, I'm not so sure. But we will probably pull back to the center of town. Try to fortify a couple of key buildings. Uh, and we don't have much time, so it looks like probably just hold up and attempt to survive the night. But they will come. Is that what that creature told you? Nah. But I believe if I were them, now is when I would come. If I were them, I know this is kind of a dark thought. I'd make you think that I was coming. I'd lure all the women and children away. Then I wouldn't hit you. I'd hit them. Well, sure. That's why I was asking Caleb, is there any place where we can hide the women and children? And Caleb just shakes his head. He says, sorry, I have no place in this here swamp that, uh, you know, the hunter can't find. Mayhap they'd be better off behind our defenses. Mayhap. Well, let's pull into town. Mel, Val, Larry, other Larry. I figure we got a little bit of time. Why don't you go to the outlying corners of the settlement and try to pull everybody in? Little Miss. Fellas, I think it's time for us to go down to the... Uh, Sally's fine establishment to have ourselves a quick nip before we start putting things together here. What's everybody looking at me for? I'm on, I'm on board. 
I'll look at uh, Marlinda. Are you okay with this plan? She kind of shrugs a little. <clears throat> She's like, I'm okay with the idea of you staying here and helping these people. And if this is what that takes, then I'll do this. <clears throat> then we prepare for battle. I don't know anything about battle. Mm. Not you. You stay safe. Right. I believe you can fit on Temujin's flying device. I believe that might be the safest, as the hungry have no way to fly, as far as I know. Yeah, come on up. When the time comes, I believe that is the smartest. Move. I mean, you might as well get used to the flying. It doesn't feel like being on the ground. It's kind of like, gotta get your sea legs first. All right. Hop on board. Okay. So she climbs on behind you, puts her arms around you. <laughs> Keep her safe, Temujin. Be my pleasure. Why are you so evil? Is bad, Why are you so evil? <laughs> He's like, uh, you kill her, you die. <laughs> Just saying it right now. You kill her, you die. <laughs> my pleasure. I will hunt you down <laughs> until the end of days. I mean, you know he's a child killer. You've seen him do it. Oh, yeah. no, you didn't. Elio did. Yeah. Never mind. You guys know he's a child killer. You watched him kill a bunch of children. Yeah. Only when it needed to be done. Yeah, they were infected, so I figured that was... <laughs> yeah. that, was, that makes it okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> All right. Doesn't Just make checking. it okay. Just checking. <laughs> doesn't wow. make it okay. It's wow. just... All right. My mind doesn't go into that specific area because I still feel like he's a okay. That's right. Why do I do this? <laughs> Tell yes. me when the preparations start. Tell yeah. me when I'm going to go pray. Okay, so, I mean, they'll go and have a quick bite to eat, and then they start putting together, you know, they start barring doors and... Bar the door! I will let them know that the things I can do, mm -hmm. uh, one of them include... A cannon that makes fire, but it's only a 15-foot cone. So I believe that the most efficient use for it is to set things on fire because it does automatically set things on fire. That it hits any flammable objects in the area. And if they so, try to find me, they won't find me. I'm going to go pray in privacy. I'm not going to prep anything. Okay, where do you go pray? Probably in some back alley bar or something. Okay. It's 10.52. We can fast forward to the carnage a little bit to get to it today, or we can push it off a little bit so we get to it next carnage. week. Carnage? Carnage. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I don't even know what you're talking about. I feel like you're texting Josh. I don't know. <laughs> <don't text>. <laughs> Passing no time. Oh, I don't, I, I don't <laughs> need the text for this one. <laughs> no, we all know it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, you <we> don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just preparing for wherever we are. I'm just like stretching. Stretching. Yep. Okay. Getting ready? Yep. All right. So. I have to see my war call. Yo, lady. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to fight. <laughs> I am purposefully not exerting myself. You got to limber up. No, I'm lazy. It's calisthenics. It's jumping it's my ducks. flaw. <laughs> I don't help with setting up camp, taking it down, prepping for battle. He doesn't bother to contribute. Mm -mm. That's for sure. Not if it's something I don't like. Fair enough. And you call me evil. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay, so there's four mm. major buildings that they want to really fortify. There's mm. the inn slash bar, which is pretty big. There's the general store. It has a pretty large footprint. The town hall, where they have most of their meetings, although they're kind of democratic society. And the community center is out in the green, sort of a raised section of area in the middle of the town that looks kind of more like a small park but there's a large community center out there they're all pretty close together not super far apart 
So what do you guys do? Do you guys want to bunch up in one building? Do you want to split up? How do you want to do this? Uh, we should I, all stick together, right? I want to find a building that has the least amount of things that are flammable around it so that I can maybe use the cannon to hit a 15-foot area and make things in flammable but not burn the building if possible. Okay, so the community so center is probably the place that you want to be. Okay. Right, because the community center is in the middle of the town green. There's not a lot around it. It's pretty swampy. Yeah. There's a lot of vegetation, right? And it's like not su- it's not super wet because it's a big raised area. Yeah, and I'm but also thinking if we can get some like wood or something that's flammable stacked up in that area, maybe okay. make a bigger fire so that they have to push through it. Okay. We want the barricade to not be attached to the building so the building won't burn. Exactly. That means they can get around it. Uh, I was thinking about full perimeter. Full perimeter, if possible. So okay. I mean, the building will catch on fire if it's super, if it's close at all. Stuff from the fire will blow onto the building at some point. Mm. You will slow down the inevitable burning of the building, but the building will burn mm. if okay. it's an effective total coverage windbreak. I guess gotcha. hungry. I don't like that smirk you have. I just want to. I'm curious what. Okay. Ultimate's feeling. I think my intelligence is high enough where I would just do the entrance, though. Then. Yeah, you could do the entrance. What you can do is you can like create funnels, right? You can Mm -hmm. say I'm gonna set a bunch of flammable stuff over here and flammable stuff over there, and I can control their uh, lane of approach so less can approach at once and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm focusing on. Okay. I come in at the end and hear everyone's plan. All right, so are you guys going to split up? Are you going to be at the community center alone? Are you guys all going to stick together at the community center? I'll try to fortify the community center. I don't know what they want to do. We should we should stick together. We are stronger when we are together. So put him at the bottleneck yeah. that my fire is creating. Okay. For once, I tend to agree with him. I don't <clears throat> particularly give a shit about the rest of the town. We can find one spot and hold it up. Then we win. That's what that's what the goal was. We right. stick together. We preserve the community center. We can still have bingo. We can all hang out together at the park and let the whole thing burn down around it. I do not believe there is a park here. I mean, it's kind of a park. It's, it's the community park. green. Um, okay, for so for plant folk, that's extra special. I walk in about now. <laughs> so Abner is willing to take suggestions, but he's of mind to stick around at the inn. If that's what Abner wants, we will do. Well, that, that's his idea, is that he's going to stay at the inn with Sally. Um, Abner and Sally. Caleb. How many able-bodied men you got? Well, I've got a lot of able-bodied fellows, so to speak, but not necessarily with the skills that you gentlemen possess. Any that could hold their own against some of the hungry that come in from the swamp? You're kidding me, right? Nope, I'm proving a point out loud. Well, there's a reason they pay me to do my job, friend. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. The able-bodied men are just going to add to the buffet if we throw them out front. If I do acid splash... Can I store the acid in like a container or? Nah. Okay. <coughs> That'd be sweet. Just all day. Yeah. You have like buckets of acid. That was my thought is a Spooging person who can't do very well can still splash acid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Always one step. One step too far. So the uh, way that it looks like now, it. Abder and Sally are at the inn. Josh. Larry and the other Larry. All right, the general store. <laughs> Play with the pencil. Yeah. yeah. Larry and the other Larry at the general store, and Mel and Val at the town hall while you guys are at the community center. That's the way it's currently How set up. How far apart are they? Mm. Like, say you need to send backup somewhere. How long is it going to take? From I mean, one round to 20 rounds. Probably three rounds in between at the most. <sighs> three rounds is pretty big in combat. I mean, it is pretty big. You know what, Ryan? The most We're all going to stick together. The fate of those buildings, <laughs> oh, it's done. He's already. We know the fate. He's over at the community center right now. With aren't we sticking with him though? Well, yeah. Is are we gonna do that? And then Abder and Sally and all the people are gonna be over at the inn. I mean, there's people at the community center too. They're gonna be civilians with you. Yeah, yeah we're protecting the women and children. Then community center. I Is that where imagine. all the women and children are? 
No. You guys have decisions to make, so I'm saying. <laughs> like, you can make decisions about where people huh? go. You could send them into your little wand for for the afternoon. And then uh, they could come back after the battle. We already established that teleportation magic doesn't work properly. They would not survive. Yeah. No, I mean, you could, could at least to... try. Is the community center you made out of wood? Or throw it away. They're all made out of wood. Oh, God. <laughs> if, it's nothing, if it's nothing worth using, then it's not worth keeping. Well, swamp. That's the most prevalent building material. You're going to find blocks of granite out here. It's just bad. Of course it's bad. This is bad. This is bad. Do you want to just give up now then, Orin? No, you can just kill yourself and then bring back somebody else in your place. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that time, That's right? Just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's you about that time. The women and children will be best in the community center. That is where we are. Yeah. We will not fail. That's true. I 100% have your back and agree with you completely. I hope this is true, Temujin. Oh, the community it. center in the town hall are the only two-story buildings in town. But, or I guess, no, I guess the inn is too. The inn is also a two-story building. The general store is one story, but it's got a large footprint. So you could stand on top of one of the buildings and see what's going on at the other buildings. I'll probably be positioned on top of the building. Mm-hmm. So you're on top of the community center? Mm-hmm. Okay. I am not. I am down on the ground in between whatever you, that funnel point. So you're like point. at the front door, basically. Yeah, I'm at the funnel point. Okay. I'll be with tomorrow. Okay, down at the funnel point? Yeah. All right. I don't like this. So here's how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do like chunks of time in big chunks, and then we'll slow down and have kind of like small combat encounters real fast during moments where something could happen that's either something you want to happen or something you don't want to happen, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so for every place that has two people defending it, they'll get to roll a d20. Uh, you guys have more than two people. You have four people with steel roll with advantage, right? Every round there will be a DC that you have to beat depending upon what's going on. And you, or every chunk of time, and you can do things to change that. Like you could say, I'm going to cast a couple of, you know, healing words on people and kind of bolster our defenses. You'll also take damage as time goes on, depending upon how much in the thick of it you are. I rage. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna rage. All right. Hmm. Man, that's fucked up. Okay. So he looks at you and goes, Not exactly. But there are ways to do what you're thinking about doing. And if it gets that bad... I don't think I have any... It's not a first plan. Okay. But so if, if he, passes, apart. <laughs> he passes you something... Like, I accept it. Unless he stabs me in the hand. <laughs> no, that would be awesome. <laughs> he, he seeks you something on the slide. Oh, it's a point of a dagger. <laughs> Hypodermic needle. <laughs> cool. Flashlights on. Yep. Okay. So here we go. You guys, everybody's all ready. You know, there are a couple of like red shirt guys that have like sharp sticks or like a pitchfork and they're like, I want to help you out repelling the invaders. New buck teeth and shit, you know. Do you accept the help of the irregulars or no? The irregulars? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. No. These. Uh, Delaron, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, right. That would be horrible for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did the math. <laughs> yeah, Delaron, me, you, and you come with me. <laughs> Everyone else die. All right, we're leaving. <laughs> All right. You say they don't eat dead. <laughs> yeah, right. 
So no, it's stronger. easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. Don't worry. I won't let them eat you. Whack. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucked up. Um, okay. So, no. Do you want the. Do you want, like, Joe Dude with the sharp stick to help out or no? Yes. Absolutely. They're... Front line, medium line, last I resort. I was a part of the prep, so I'm not. This is happening. I, I'm yeah. thinking that uh, you're in front of the door that they would have to go through. If they break through the door, mm-hmm. maybe the people with pitchforks and stuff. Try to hold the line try there. Try to hold the line there. Secondary okay. line. That's why. So if these guys fall. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So it starts to get dark out, and you guys hear some hoots and howls, some low bass calls, and the hungry arrive, and there's a lot of them. And, the, and so right before... They come into camp, this kind of like fog settles around everything. Visibility gets a little bit rough in the streets, but you see like large shapes moving quickly and they're running on all fours, kind of like apes. Um, They have long arms and they're like just running around. You hear first contact over at the inn. Is anybody on the roof? I am. You're on the roof? Okay, so what you see is you see Abder standing in the doorway of the inn. He set up a fire break as well. Uh, and he lights his axe on fire, and they run into him, and he starts to hack away. Uh, Larry and the other Larry are providing him fire support from the general store where they have a vantage point. Um, and things start to start to take off. So let's see how Abner's going to do. I should record some of these. So, Duh. Abner, <laughs> Team Larry. Um, Mel and Val. And then, you got, what are you, do you guys even have a name? Yeah, we're the God Killers. All oh, right, God Killers. What? No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> we're the Timujins. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, so Abder. God, we're never going to have a name. <laughs> no, we're, I already declared it to old man Mossy. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, not, we're, it's not true. Abder rolls a 10. Nobody goes and talks to him, so it doesn't, doesn't exist. Team Larry. We should have came up with a 11. name, but I feel like... Mel and Val. We're way too conflicted to have a good, like, yeah, bonding name. <laughs> Mel and Val are doing pretty well. At one point, it looks like they're getting a little bit overrun, but you see one of them shoot a flaming arrow at a keg they'd placed out front previously, and it explodes, and... Uh, just peppers a bunch of the hunger with burning debris and stuff. If like you're that. deciding fate with dice, you should. We should do it in front of that uh, the camera. Oh, should we give give people oh, something to look at? To... Okay. All right. If we're not guys... going to do battlefields. We should. Okay. So during this first chunk of time, well, we should do a battlefield when it comes to us dying. I at mean, some winning. point. At some point. But right now we're just in the prelim stuff. During this phase of the of the encounter for the first couple hours, does anybody expend resources to increase your odds of? Winning. Remember, you're rolling with advantage right now. As long as everybody's joining in the fight, are you fighting? I am. How? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I got two okay. things going on. Okay. Because I'm flying on my my board. Hmm. Um, peppering down with um my chill touch cantrip for the necrotic damage. Yep. And right. a lack of regeneration. And um, interspersed with eldritch blast. Okay. And then I'm going to spend my last. Uh, spell, spell slot. slot. To do what? I'm going to summon greater demon. Right now, in the beginning of the fight. Oh Jesus! Uh, yeah, I, he's around for an hour. I would rather not have him actually have to fight us. The fight will last the night. Okay. So then I'll say that. Wait. Yeah, I'll say that. But that's cool. But yeah, I'm going to summon greater demon. Okay. All right. I'm going Get to. Yeah, but at his angle, it looks really weird. If I roll over here, do you get it? Yeah, but it's hard to tell. Well, that works. Is it because it's so low to the ground? You got it's it? because it's angled like this, so rather it's than like, what kind of number did you roll? Yeah. 3 and a 14. Sure. Make, it, cool. make it taller and point down. Yeah. You got that crazy squat going on. Everyone hold on to your lunch, people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 get your sea legs. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay, now tell me if this works. Everybody see that shit okay? That's better. Okay, all right. Do you want this thing? Uh, sure. Actually, I'll tell you what. Give me some of these. 
that's kind of your barrier. So, right up against the shadow. Is that okay? Two and twelve? Yeah, two and twelve. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, so you're going to at some point cast that. You can do it now if you want to. I'm just saying it could cause complications. Uh, no, I'll I'll save that for when we can actually see it rather than narrative over it. Okay. Um, all right. Anybody else spending resources? Anybody? Anybody? Um, I hit things. If there's things to hit, do you rage? Um, how many rages I got? Are we doing like more large scale kind of battle right now? Uh, yeah. I, I will give this you. This is gonna last. This fight's gonna last the night. There'll be a few moments that are like real clutch moments, but mostly we're just gonna do large chunks of time. I'll give you the ring of spell storing because it has a shield and uh, a cure wounds level three in it, and I feel okay. like that's gonna be more useful for you down there than. Who do you here. give it to? Me. No. Uh, oh no, him. Orin. Okay. Because he can also put spells in it if he needs. It has a one shield. A level three cure. And a level three cure wounds. So, but do you expend any resources? Uh, If I need to. uh, My first thought is... I think ours is more reactive. Like We see gauged on the battle. Okay, so you're going to wait this first round out and see how things go. I am going to cast Sanctuary on Orin as well, because he can cure him. So I want to make oh, sure he doesn't. So, do you down. fight at all then, or do you just try and do you just are you the cure bot for Tamat? Well, I'm going to stand behind him this first couple times. Okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. Or bad mm. idea. Five and ten, so ten it is. Okay, so half of you die. <laughs> no, not yet. But uh, <laughs> Tamat, you're going to take some damage. Nothing big. You take six damage. Right? That's, but, that's when I'm raging? Uh, yeah, not divided by two. Okay. Right? And so you're a little bit hurt, but you fend off the first couple of Hungry. I mean, he's providing air support. You're providing air support, I assume. Yep. Acid splash. Right? And then uh, you're down there swinging your maul. And... Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you guys kill... Oh, God. One, Max. Six hungry. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I rolled a six. So you, you kill a bunch we of them. We kill them all we win. All right, moving on. No. <sighs> there's a lot more than that. <laughs> <sighs> so you kill a bunch. You ask to splash them so they don't regenerate. You find out during the fight that's a viable way to keep them from gaining back hit points. Mm-hmm. Along with uh, chill touch. And the first wave kind of peters out. Uh, let's see. The inn is looking kind of rough. Some of the windows have been broken open. Abner looks like he's hurt, but still standing. Um, let's see, Team Larry, kind of similar. One of the Larry's got one of his arms half pulled off. He's hmm. trying to hold it on while it heals. The other Larry's helping him out. Mel and Val did the best. Uh, none of their defenses were breached, and they're both still healthy in a working order. There's a lull in the combat if you want to do anything. A lull. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe. Oh, didn't prepare it. Never mind. <laughs> That's God, you're so horrible. Nice. <laughs> I prepared for a short combat. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Second Another round starts, combat. and uh, you what see are, Hungry running back into town. What are we trying to be here? What's up? Are you going to give us a DC? I mean, it's just the better you roll, the better right. you do. Okay. And the DC will climb as the night goes on. Okay. And the hunger are going to do things that will also affect the DC and make it more difficult. Okay. But not yet. They have resources, too. So, Abder. Team Abder rolls a five. That's bad, Abder. It's all right. We didn't need him, right? Well, He's hopefully just not. the heart and spine of the whole town. <laughs> <laughs> Team Larry. Oh, cocked, unfortunately. Man, that was so close to rocking Team Larry. Team Larry rolls a 10. They Five also, and 10, your magic numbers? I guess so. <laughs> right. Mel and Val, 8. Ooh, Mel and Val. Can eight, you roll, good. like, anything above a 10? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. uh, Here's the hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I was going to say, when he rolls attacks against us, he'll roll over 10. God killers. You guys have advantage. Oh, man. Where are we the dog killers? 
12. We're not the Thank God, God killers. That's what he just said. He's Why are you buying calling into us the it. God killers? We are the God the killers, Orin. Orin. Team Jin. No. Team <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, we're the God killers. No, you can't change it mid-combat. Can we be the Mad Men? No. <laughs> so your rage wore off from the first combat because of the break in combat. Do you rage God again or no? Uh, yeah, I'm going to rage again. Okay. How many do you have? Do you frenzy or just rage? Um, no, no, no. I'm not trying to get exhausted because I know this is going to be a long one. Okay. Does chat have any names for us that are better than the God Killer? Okay, so this time you're going to take 11 and 6, 17 damage this time. Oh, you took damage? Yeah, I took damage. Is this the second time you took damage? Yep. You call us We. The We. Yeah, he's still fine. The we. You probably still have more hit points than my max. I'm 45 of 68 right now. Oh, a little <laughs> less. Thanks for healing me. <laughs> I'll get you when it gets bad. What are Don't you worry. doing? You throw, the, <laughs> throw the cure wounds on him. Right? I'll get to him. Okay. Hey, see, this is sabotage. <laughs> this is sabotage. <laughs> this is one of those moments where we're going to go through a little bit of uh, like round by round combat. Yes. Because what you see is That's you see a few of the hungry running into town and they have large crates in between them. Four hungry to a crate. And they're running a crate to each one of the establishments. <laughs> Abner, who's hurt and leaning up against the um, doorway of the inn, bleeding profusely and holding his wounded kidney, yells, Take him down before they get to your building! And you see Larry and the other Larry start lobbing fireballs, like full on. They're going to burn some resources and cast fire. I'm going to burn a resource. Court cast. So are they running into our building or into his? There's one to each building. One crate running to each building. Okay. And so you've got four hungry on the crate and one hungry with support. So five hungry in a crate. Five hungry how, in a crate. How many crates did you say? There are four? There's one four. for each building. How far away are they? 120 feet? How many are in range? Because of, 120? of because of the fog, probably you can't really see them super good until they're within sixty feet. Okay. You can see kind of the outline of a building if there's fire and stuff like that. You can see shapes moving. You can see what's happening as it starts to get close. So I'm not going to be able to see their crates. Uh, you can see their crate once it gets close to their building because there's a fire in front of their building, and so it'll kind of come to light are and be a little. Are they more within visible. 120 feet of me? Mm. No. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to hit theirs with a scorching ray. No. But uh, I'll hit the uh, the box actually. Okay. Actually, there's how many hungry to the crate? There's it takes, it's taking four. four hungry to carry the crate. Uh, I'll hit the crate and I'll hit two hungry. Okay. Cool. Hit the crate. Natural twenty. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> so you're nuking the crate. <laughs> That's a 8 times 2 would be 16. 16 damage. damage to the crate? Yep, fire damage. Okay, so the crate's going to uh, light on fire. And whatever's inside the crate screams as the flame oh, punches through monster. into whatever's inside. They were returning prisoners. <laughs> Tim Jim stuck more mellow in there. <laughs> And the other I hit her in a box. No. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, the other two fire. That would be the most evil. Point, thing. The other two rays will hit one of the hungry. Okay. So you killed him. Uh, what? Do you, you want me to do? roll for those or no? Yeah, I roll for the hungry. Uh, I rolled a seventeen and a fifteen plus whatever my thing is. Be so a plus are we seven. are we gonna set up a battlefield? 24 and a 23. Yep. What is a cattle bleep this again? What the hell are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? What's in do you have my one note? Holos? Do I have your one note? I think I do. Open one note and open enemies. It's under there under alphabetical order. This <laughs> is also under alphabetical order. So it should be under C. Fucking cattle bleep this again. <laughs> So I saw what was in the crate then? Mm, you... Here we go. That's what I need. 
Mm. Is it a hungry cat of lepus? That would be terrifying. <laughs> be horrible, most horrible shit ever. No, they just kidnapped some cat of lepus and created them so they could run them into town and unleash them on you guys. Oh, lovely. It's their own version of Summer Greater, Seven Greater Demon. <laughs> Seven cat of lepus from the box. Because I have a range of 120 feet on the Scorching Ray, so if I can get another spell off before they get close, I'm going to also shatter on the box. Oh, That's sure. The central point. Yeah. Well, did you hit the two trolls? Uh, I did. It was a 22 24. and a 24. 22 and 24. Who's in the building? Oh, yeah, that hits. That's not... Okay. Did damage. they split the women and children up, or did they put all they their eggs in up. one basket? They split them up. Which building is my in? Uh, the building with you guys. She's seven she to on one that. and eleven to the Surfboard. other. Oh god, that's right. She's with Temujin, the evil gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving her life right now. <laughs> okay, so the two trolls take it in stride and keep running. Um, they're gonna move 30, 60. Yeah, so you're gonna get. Wait, no, you probably that's the shot you're gonna get. Okay, right. Which ones are you move. hitting? The ones going towards Abner? No, the one's running into your building. Oh, okay. Adder's got to deal with his own shit, evidently. We're going to get a couple actions before they get here? That was it. When they come, when he can see them enough to target them because of oh, the Oh, because he's on the roof. He's on the roof. They're so, going to be yeah. up under your grill. All right. So, the trolls are running straight for you guys. I'll shore up the defenses with this guy. Okay. I mean, we're going to do round-by-round round combat. So, I don't know. I mean, I step up side-by-side side now. Okay. They're 60 feet away. There, you, you'll get one action oh. if you want to, because he shot the Scorching Ray. Let's roll initiative. Yeah. What level is that Cure Wounds? It's a level three. Oh, they cure are wounds. not doing well. I'm going to hit him I. with the Cure Wounds before if I get that one action. Yep, you can. It's 13... 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 hit points. Uh, you rolled a 6 plus 1. Actually, seven. it's a level 3 cure wounds. That's normally 1d8, 2, 3. Oh, yeah, it's only 3. Okay. They rolled 4. Oh, I rolled 4. <laughs> that <laughs> that is. Four plus. Wait, do I have a negative dex? Nope, just regular. So right, I rolled so a roll four. Again. 4. I got a 13. I got a 15. Nice. There you go. Thank God. I rolled a 20. Oh, I have a 20. oh, I'm sorry, a 17. I don't have any pluses to initiative. So are we 17? funneled yeah, 17, sorry. in a fire? Or are we just no, there's like standing a, at the entrance? There's two flaming banks of like stuff, furniture... And they're Dang. already set up. They're a already a fire, so they have to come right through the middle to you. Right. How long do you think this fire will last on these? Um, I mean, they're huge bonfires, right? So, like, so it's hot. Probably last most of the night. Okay. We hold our positions until they get here. All right. I wasn't going any further. Okay. So they're running for you guys. The uh, well, we should set us up. I should set you up. Yeah. Right, that's good. Good call. That's me. Oh, you just killed us all. Yeah, like, that's all of us. This is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> They're done. Combat over. No, that's not true. If you wanted, you could use those like large logs as the funnel of wooden I'm just going to say this is that they can approach from one place. One place. Okay. Right? Like, that's it. That's their approach. Some runway here for for takeoff. Sure. I'll say you probably can see them that far out. So you could hit them here, and they're gonna run sixty in, and then drop the box and pop the front. And this is the building, dude. Right. Okay. So this is the doorway. So what we have is we have. Are you outside the door? Inside the doorway? We're gonna. Use this as a choke point, right? Yeah. Well, this is all choke point. This is all like burning stuff. It's super hot. You're all sweaty and crazy. So you want to be up here or you want to be back here? I want to be right by his side. Where do you want to be? You can we're even be out here. We're, we're at the choke point. So right here? 
That'll yeah. Work. Okay. That's good enough. So this is all like been piled with stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's a space kind of over here. So these small tiles are outside. This big tile is inside the building. So it kind of looks like this because you need to make room between the building and the fire. Yep. So they're going to be up by the. They're going to be like right here, dropping yeah, it off so. and popping it open. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think they were going to be up there so that they oh, could Oh, do you go guys want to be up here in the choke? Yeah. Okay. Like, right. Is it hot? Yeah, well, it's hot. It's super hot. This is all on fire is stuff. It's dealing damage. You could be pushed into it during. You could get a push. All right, so we'll be, we'll be back a little bit then. Back like here? Five feet? Ten feet? Or back here? Right there. Right, right there. there. So if they okay. try to push by the choke, we can stop them. And then right here is like the doorway to get in. Whatever you go in right there. This There's is the literally doorway. doors right there. Is there? Give me a door. Uh, all right, cool. There's a door. There's a door. That's the door to the community center. Bar the door. Bar the door. The door is barred. Or hold the door. Is it barred or does it open for you guys to retreat into if you have to? It's open. Okay, it's open. The door is open. If you fall, they will have unimpeded access Who's to falling? the juicy morsels inside. We're god killers. I think we have <laughs> there to. There it is. <laughs> there it is. God killers. I love that name. And so the people I hate so, it so on much. the inside so would be just told if they come through it's awful. to not Why? attack. Terrible but if uh, anything else comes in, they would attack. Okay, right. so they run the box up to about here. Uh, the trolls on the outside are taking fire damage. They're running into the flaming stuff, so they're going to get burned pretty what, heftily. Wait, what, 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 what are they doing? They're running in the fire in order to drop the box off. What right box? Here. They're holding a box? A crate. Where have you been? I, the I crate hit the crate, crate with holding. He hit the <laughs> crate with fire. He did a natural 20 into the crate and fucked yeah. up one of the catablepus. And catablepus. I don't know what those are. I like how he said one of the catablepus in there. Yeah, you metal for a second? In case no one else caught that. Right. As a little gem, I caught. So the trolls on the outside are taking a significant amount of fire damage. Actually, they're going to run it for two rounds. We'll make it a little bit more beefy. No, he's Where are the trolls? They're on the sides, in the fire. In the fire? Running in the fire to run the box up to you. 14, 15, 16. So this guy just took 16 more fire damage. He's not a happy camper. And his friend. Why would they do that? Because they want to unleash the cattle beepers on you guys. Oh, this guy did not fare as well at all. 25 <laughs> damage. He's real bad off. He's like, ah! He's screaming. Good. Good. We'll just go like that. Is okay. that the one that I hit with one of the other? Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. So they're fucked up. They're, all four trolls are screaming. There's a guy in the back back here. <laughs> he, he, he's he the, the support guy. Yeah, he drew the long <laughs> straw. He was like, not me, man. Not it, bitches. So. They got like five long, short straws. <laughs> right. One long straw. Like, ah. So where's, where's Temujin and where's the robot? The, the robot's robot. up here. Uh, you don't have to be so racist about it. Where are you at? <laughs> uh, flying. Like over here? Oh, yeah. Over Closer, here. but yeah. Okay. So you're up here mm -hmm. and you're on the building. Mm hmm. And then you guys are down here. Okay, so top of the order. It's me, I think. I'm like this. Yep. Come on. Yo, I just <laughs> hold my hand yeah. out to like. I hold my action, so if keeping him on the hot tits. Yeah. Yeah. Hot tits. <laughs> so I hold my action to rage and smash as soon as like something. You can't gets... rage and smash. Uh, he rages and then holds his action to attack. You could rage now, but if you're not attacked. Or if you don't attack, you lose the rage. Okay. You're going to be attacked. Yeah. <laughs> I really, a I, there's there's because never the, a point where I can just go into a combat and rage and do it no, right. This is that it's point. It's the build up. You this have problems. To, do you want to rage now? Yeah, I'm going to rage now. Do you frenzy? It's Catabolipus. I better frenzy. Okay, so you unleash the beast. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's about to <laughs> unleash the beast, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Uh, next is me. Uh, they're holding it by like a handle, or are they grabbing the actual box? They're holding the, the sides of the box. There's handles built into the box. Okay. I is that that looks like a ten foot radius box, right? Did you put it right there? Yeah, you're gonna hit everything. Okay, I'm gonna except for the guy in the back. You'll hit all of these guys. I'm gonna cast shatter on it. Sweet. Oh, so why? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, you do it. Do it. I mean, you did. Uh, it's three D eight. How Jamis. big is the area? It's for the best. I'm it's raging this. and frenzying. That's everyone needs to be freed. Not you guys, but the four carrying the box. <laughs> fires. Eighteen thunder damage. Oh no, it's it failed. Sco- save. I mean, the box is gonna fail, right? Yeah. Creatures made of an organic matter such as stone, crystal, metal. It's disadvantage on the save. Are any so of them made out of stone? One for the trolls, one for the catablebus. Catablebus are purple. Trolls are black. Nah, yeah, they are. Yeah. Nah, let's <laughs> roll. I'll roll the trolls individually. Fuck it. Hmm. Succeed, succeed, fail. And what's the DC? Is it dex? Uh, it is... I think it is dex. Constitution. Wow. Oh, yeah. So what is the DC? 16. 15. 15? Okay, so three successes and a failure. My main thing was to make it so they couldn't bring the box any closer. Yeah, the box is done moving. The box takes it. The front of the box breaks away. Even the fire around here, around the side. You just want to replace it with Catablepus instead? Yeah, I do, actually. Where's the Catablepus? They're behind you somewhere. The bleeps. Down, down. down. Down, down. down, down. I think it's the third shelf down. Really? One, two, three, There's one thing over here that even resembles the Catablepus. Check one lower shelf floor. Sitting by the the trees. trees Oh, all the way down. All the way down? The bleepities. How many are there? Kettle bleepus. Oh, my God. There's more than one? Yeah, there's two. There's two in the box? There's two in the box. Oh, it's 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 a snuggle box. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Uh, Let's see. And I'm assuming I don't have my cannon. I mean, you can drop it somewhere if you want to. uh, The thing is, is I think it lasts for a certain amount of time, and I think it's like a minute or two minutes. (laughs) Might be the time for that. Well, I mean, if I set things on fire beforehand, I don't know if I use my cannon to do that. You can use a torch to do that. It's not a big deal. Okay. So I still have my cannon, but it takes an action to cast it, so I'm not going to be able to do that this round. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I cast a spell, so I can't do it. Yep. I'm, my turn is done. So uh, I need more of these. Here we go. There's plenty there. The non-fire spot is now a little bit larger because when you cast Shatter, you blew out a bunch of the stuff where the fire was. How are the trolls doing with that Shatter? Are they still up? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're, they're hurt, but I'm going to say, like, most of this now is fire-free. Because it was like, blam! Fire-free. Okay. So, but the trolls are hurt, right? Like, mm-hmm. And they kind of bleep this I too. hope. Yeah. Oh, this guy's bad. Has uh, he still got all his limbs? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna have to put them down. Uh, next is Temujin. Alright, it's uh... Summon Greater Demon Time. Oh, nice, where do you put it? <laughs> um... I remember, see. just text the nearest not-it thing. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna put it... Right on the ass of the rear Gleepus. Do I pick like. the demon? Uh, yep. Not for greater. Nice. Do you pick the demon? Mm-hmm. Do you have anything that looks AP? AP? So we got this guy. Well, there's he the Yeti. Really cool. Right to the right. Where? White Yeti. This guy. There's it's a Barogura. And then you can pick, man. Then I have this yep. crazy toad thing is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got two of them? What, the toad thing? Oh, okay. Wait. No. Uh, so uh, pit uh, let's do the do the yeti. You yeah, can grab the okay. pit fiend. Where you put it? Uh, right on the butt of the rear. Oh, I guess. Let's see. As long as it's within. Okay, sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah. Right okay. there. There's a troll right there. You can put it behind that troll. Okay. Cool. You actually have a troll up there if you wanted to. You're just making that up. There is no troll there. Mm. How no, many the trolls are troll? there? Five. Oh my god! We don't have five troll models. I know. <laughs> And like he gets his own initiative. Can you, can you set where the trolls are so we have a good visual? I don't sure. care if you use dice. Yeah, I really don't. No, cool. Use zombies. Yeah, just, just use these guys with swords, because what the fuck, why not? Well, I also have these, Josh. What are those? The dice? This is, those are the little let's, beads. Let's not think too much about them. Oh, yeah. What's its initiative? All right. Just set some markers. Cool. All right, that's fine. So set initiative. So it just has thing. the plus troll two there. from dex, it looks troll like. There. So it's a 12. Now the trolls are hurt, right? So they've been burned. 
and yeah. shattered. That's why I wanted to know where they were. And shit so like that. So you can summon it. Does it go right away? Does it go on your initiative? It has. We just rolled it. Yeah. Right? It, <coughs> rolled a tw- or it got a 12 total. He had a 7. So it's actually in the back of the initiative now. That's so weird. Because it rolled higher. Yeah. So if it rolled lower, would it go this now, turn? Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. Shit happens. That's strange. But, uh, right. yeah, uh, after that, unless you're doing anything else. And uh, what, what kind boring. of demon is it? It's a Balgura. Balgura. I tried to email it to you right it now. Is... It's under demons in the monster manual. Yeah, so it's under D. Right on there. I'm devil right now. So yeah. back up a little bit. Back up, back up a hair. Yokel. It's, it's a big the red. It's the big man. red month. The fuck is it? Yokels are weird. It's the big red punchy ape. Punchy ape. I actually have a couple Back paper minis room. of them, but they're just paper oh, minis. Oh, this one? Not the uh, gal nope. you? No. no. It's under B. So no. they're like so at the very beginning of the Oh, this guy. Yeah. Punchy, punch, but. Oh, this guy's awesome. They're pretty cool. You can cast spells? They can be invisible, I think. Invisibility. Yeah. They're oh. bad. They're really bad. Yeah. I, I used them in an ambush against you guys once. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Those are fucked up. Mm-hmm. They beat the shit out of us. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Don't think on it too hard because it's Orin's turn and I cast Wall of Fire. Where? <laughs> on everything there. It's a 20 uh, foot diameter. Well, so just like that? Wall of Fire only burns on one side. You know that, right? I could do a circle. Oh, can you? Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20. So you I think can... it's a 15 foot sphere? It can be a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter. So it's up to 20 feet in, in diameter. diameter. So 5, 10, 15, 20. You can hit like all of these guys. Yep. And they're all inside of it. <laughs> okay. And they all take the damage right away. Yeah, how much? 5d8. <laughs> Those poor trolls. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, it's all right. I'm really hoping you just run towards me, though. I mean, when they're on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the monsters are next. So. 14, wow. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that was a good roll. 7 is 26 Dude. fire damage. 26 they fire damage. They can save damage. on a dexterity save. Okay. Take half damage. To take half damage. Let's see what the trolls first. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Oh, God. So, how much was it? 26. 26. So that's 13. And then oh, one of the trolls dies. <laughs> He's like, ah. So the other trolls are hurt. Let's unfortunately, and we'll go with front and blue. No one back. ever told me what Catablepus do, for one. Okay, so the front Catablepus well, saves and we takes 13. Bleepus, so stop hating on us. I hate you. No, I love you guys. <laughs> 26. <laughs> okay, the kettle bleep is going to a panic. Because they're on fire. It's an opaque wall. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I mean they're gonna they're gonna come running out of it. They're cooking in there. Yeah. And that was the point. It's the monster's turn now. Okay. Uh, I'm on fire. Uh, I'm on fire. Well, you're still on fire right there. This troll is dead. Yeah, they're going to run this way. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, they go. Can I hit him? And can he hit that one? As uh, they run out of that choke? I mean, they're going to... No, they're still next to you. Well, I mean, I want to hit the one that ran away from me towards Tamat's side. Oh, this and way? And can Tamat hit the one that ran towards us on this side? Sure. Yeah. And then you're going to get some trolls. Right. I should, I'm just going to say this. Actually, this troll's going to run. We're going to die. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to die right now. Did you mm. hold your action as well? He no. Runs away. Uh, well, I, yeah, oh, so he doesn't get a reaction, but he does still get a swing. Because he, he held his action. Attack. I yep. raged. It's a reaction to hold your attack. So right. he does so get his get attack, attack, but it's... You, get, you get your attack when it comes to you. Yep. Yep. And I get a reaction, which is a 16 to hit. At, for a second there, I was thinking he was going to get two hits, but no, he just gets Nope, one. it's a 17 to hit. Is that a hit? Uh, wait. 17? For Catapultus. Um, yeah, they're not hard to hit. I'm going to expend my um, 
booming thunder thing. Okay, so do an extra 2d6. It is only audible, right? It's, yeah, it's not actually loud. like putting out fire. It's not like, bang, no, it's, not it's like just the, loud. It's cool. okay. Yeah. So I think I do 2d8. Uh, or is that next level? I don't know. It's a question. Poor Catalibus. You guys are crossing swords as you beat the other dudes, Catalibus. Yeah. It's loud, loud. Well, he can hit crossing either one. Swords. He can hit. Yeah, you can hit whichever one you want. I'm doing the one that's on my side. Okay. So, that so one's I am also damage. hitting the one on his side. Right. Smite, smite. I only get 1d8 plus 2d6. Thirteen. That was sad. So I'm doing grave weapons master as well, just an FYI. If that if that's all right, can I call it, or do you want? Yeah. Me to, are you going to be? Um, I, 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 I got I got all, all of it. You're doing it. All right. All the bad stuff. Do Reckless it. Score. Natural twenty. Holy oh. shit! Okay, so roll your. Uh, <laughs> I think you do. I'm not. I'm not even like fucking 20. lying. Yeah, about he hits shit, again like, on his bonus but action. He can't use a bonus action on his reaction. No. Unfortunately, but you would have normally smited again. Yeah. But he's frenzied, so he smites in his bonus every turn that he gets one. Mm-hmm. All right. So roll your dice, double them. So 2d6. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so this is going to be plus 15, 16, 17, plus 17. No, plus one, 17. Plus two for my rage. Yep. How much for a great weapon? 10. 10. Okay, so 12. And plus 5. Okay, all right. So 17 plus this. Plus one double, weapon, Double two? this. Plus, what is your weapon Oh, plus damage? one. So, so you already did 12s? No, stop. It's, uh, it's a 9, and so 18. Plus 18 is 36 damage. Where are you rolling these thing. d6s for? Because I have a maul, dude. I have two t6 mauls. Oh, I thought it was a d12. <laughs> no, Okay. So as it's running around towards you, you swing your maul up into its face and smash it in the crazy weird face that it has, snapping off a tusk and breaking most of the teeth out of its mouth. It's it's pretty hurt. So what did I do on that damage again? 30, 36. 36 wow. And you, did, you already got your damage? Yeah, a whole like 13. <laughs> okay. I mean, he made me look like a, a little boy smacking <laughs> someone with a stick. Yeah, and it's you were like, dude, he's like, slay Pretty much. All right, and so now they get to do shit, too, because that's yep. just their movement. It's mm-hmm. so bad. So this guy is going to attack the demon. Fail, fail, and a crit. Um, oh, that's great. <laughs> he His crit scratches it slightly. Hmm. He rolled a one on his crit die, so he's like, I'm not numb. The demon does not care. This other guy next to him is. Uh, That's a troll? I heard is he. Yeah, it's a troll. Um, fuck is he, it. Is he hurt? He's going to try to flee through the fire. Oh. He's going to try to get the fuck out. I don't know if that actually deals damage to him. It does. It does. Ryan, it does. Oh, I believe it. Uh, I don't think he's taking damage from the wall of fire. He's taking damage from, from the fire. The actual is... fire that he's running through right here. He's running through this fire right here. Yeah. So the, through the Alex is, fire. Through the Alex fire. So he howls as he runs off into the night. He's going to flee the scene. Things turn bad for these guys all of a sudden. <laughs> the guy will do the no. Oh my God! It's horrible. All right, so um, if it ends within ten feet of that wall, okay, so that's all inside because it's an inside cooking. Mm-hmm. Well, I made it. I should have made it a little different. Okay, right? You guys. No, I'm not ready. Are gonna have to make constitution saves. This is why I saved my inspiration. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to add a d4 to Ryan's roll. I need it. Okay. Thank Flash you. of insight. All right. Dude, what is that? Uh, that is my uh, artificer level seven thing, or and flash you do it of as a reaction? Yep, it's with a thirty within thirty feet of me. And then make an ability check or saving throw. You can use your reaction to add every a d4. time. You can keep doing it. I use my reaction, so That's awesome. This is charmed or frightened, right? Nope. No, this is don't die or do this die. This is death ray. This is saver suck. You have more hit points. So. Where who? Natural twenty. You're good. 
Uh, you're going to take, yeah, none. Who's it coming? 20 Against total. Everybody? I can't believe I no. just did another nat 20. Just those That's 20 total? Crazy. 20 total. You guys both saved. 1, 2, 3, 4, D8. So it's going to be 8, D8 divided by 2. Jesus, Josh. So 7, 14, 15, 16, 21. Why can't you roll like I do? 31 and 7 is 38 divided by 2 is 19. 38 divided by 2 is 19. Oh, 18, 18. No, it's 19. 19. Is that 19? Yeah, it's 19. I say oh. 17. Oh, so 17. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, take 19. <laughs> like 2,000 damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 15 plus more. Okay. Psychic. What's up? My rage doesn't help. No, it's necrotic. So, no. So, they just look at you and they give you the crazy <sighs> eye beam, and you're like, blah, slow. That's bad for me. Blah. It's bad for both of you guys. Mm. Also, right. you know I'm going to have sanctuary. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I have to make a constitution save to keep up wall of fire. I mean, no one's in it anymore, right? But still. Do they take damage running through it? I was just looking it's at it. It's if they end the turn there. That it's if they end damage. within 10 feet of the side, side that's pouring fire in. And you have yeah. the fire going side. inward right yeah. now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn. Okay. Or ends its turn there. So how much damage do they take for entering the wall on their turn? Well, I cast it on it. Oh, no, I didn't. Right, so tell me. So that would be how 5d8, because it entered the wall to leave. Okay, roll your 5d8. These trolls just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, by trolls. We, well, we Two, blew all of our resources four. on one round. Yes, yeah, so this guy's dead. He didn't make it. I was nice. Wow. Snipe him anyway. That was terrible. Wow. wow. 27. Doesn't matter, though. That, uh, was, 27. that was 5d8. <laughs> yeah. These guys die trying to escape. <laughs> Sweet. How much that cattle bleepus that you guys hit is actually dead. Nice. So you didn't take that 19 damage. Okay. And me? No, you took yours. Your cattle bleepus still got you. Okay. The other one I natural 20 to. Right. But you might have a problem now. He might kill him. It's all right. He'll have I, to go through I that have wall control of, fire. of him. Oh, he doesn't. He's not the guy who just fights things. He does that if I don't issue a command. Uh, what he, command did you issue? <laughs> don't well, kill right your now, friends. I, mean, I haven't done anything. <laughs> okay. You haven't done anything. All, all right. right. Cool. Blah. Kyle Bluebus is dead. All right. This was our turn, guys. This was it. You guys are making it happen. Cool. Oh, let's see. So mm. that's the monsters. This guy scratched him a little bit. He's and upset. We're back it. up to to mock. <laughs> oh, and I <laughs> come around and just <laughs> fuck this thing up. Yep. Right. Let's just do that. Um, did what? When the demon has a turn, at the end of its turn, it makes a charisma saving throw to see if I, it's still under my sway. Great weapons master, oh, all the bad. bullshit that goes along with it. Did you pick a low charisma demon? <laughs> I didn't look, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so good, I love this shit. I just, like, uh, summon the elemental! I was like, he looks strong! <laughs> 26 to hit my first one. Or, I'm sorry, no. Summon the elemental now! Uh, three, 20 to hit oh, my yeah. first He's not very charismatic. Yeah, you hit it, man. 20 to hit the first one. Oh, yeah. Uh, a 10 for the second one, so that's a miss, probably. Yep. And a 19 and th 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 3. And yeah, minus 5 on the hit. So uh, 19 and 3 is 21. Here comes our right, damage 20. machine. You hit anything 14 or over, you hit. All right, great. So then... He just churns plus, out Here's damage. another plus, plus 18. 18. So that's... Yeah, right. Uh, 24, <laughs> uh, 27. Okay. And... You snap one of its front four limbs. 5 and 18 is 23. Did you do your bonus action attack yet? Um, I missed yes. that. Yeah, oh, I missed that. You times. come back and break its spine and kill it. Nice. Crunch. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just totally fucked these dudes up horribly. That was viciously bad. Matt looked at me and said, we're dead, and then we killed everything. Killed the fuck out of all of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, after Tamat is me. At the uh, end of this round, should we pause for the week? We could. It doesn't matter to me, but it is 11.50. I don't care, but you care. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm good to go for a little bit. 
You're the limiting guy here. Uh, so you tell me what you want to do. We can stop here after this round of combat. How, how long do you think we're going to go? I can go for probably another hour. Okay, cool. Birthday. Yay. Yay. Birthday extension. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do Acid Splash. On the back of that troll? It says choose one or two creatures you can see within range. <laughs> What's the range? 60 feet. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just going to splash Acid on... Uh, technically, I guess you don't know for sure that. Yeah, there is a demon. Or two. Yeah, a demon came out. Although he did hit the troll. No, he just roared at it, and the troll bit it. Oh well, it looks like he was fighting the troll though. They are so. Fighting. Yeah, the Belgira is fighting the troll. I'll just do acid splash on the troll for now. We'll see what happens with this demon later. Okay. Oh, uh, target must succeed a dex save. All right. So we're. I got it. Okay. Let's see Bathroom. if he can. Troll. Nope. Okay, and 2d6 plus a d8. Four, so 10 acid damage. Okay. So the troll screeches as the acid scores its backside. Nice. He's down an ass cheek. Did they tell us if acid affected them? No, like but I just said that he's been, he said he's been using acid, yeah. and so I said by now you'll have figured out. Oh, Because okay. I asked uh, him earlier if Ice or acid like, work better, and he was acid? like, eh, "Acid yeah. kind of eats things like fire does." So I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, after me is the Balgura. Okay, it attacks Balgura. three times. It looks like big bruiser beaters. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude. Is it at the beginning or the end of the turn? It's like Fists at the end bite. of its turn. <laughs> oh, that's bite. Purple's bite. Fists. So, yeah, hit. Hit was it. Yeah, hit, miss, hit. So it's going to hit with this bite and with a claw. Wow, it's meaner than Troll is, although they have the same DC. That's weird. Same challenge rating. So, bite. Troll takes 14 piercing damage. It's still alive? And bites it in the face. The Troll was the... This is the backup Troll. The one that didn't take any damage. Right, the one that was <laughs> hiding in the back. Troll. He's the fresh Troll. So what did I Let's just change say? That. 14, <laughs> and then 6 is 20 damage. Okay. I mean, he's not fresh anymore. That's good. All right. So the Belgir is like, slam, blah, 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 bites him and beats him up a little bit. And then gets to make a charisma saving throw. Come on, Pretty low. Sorry. Yeah, he fails. <laughs> Ooh, super hard. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, I, he is mine. <laughs> Forever, or does he make a save every time? Every, time? every round, unfortunately. Ooh, so, so you're gonna so lose control. Gonna lose him eventually. Yeah. We need to just send him out to go. Go fuck yeah. that guy up. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Essentially. Cool. All right. Need to like end him like with ten hit points left or something, so you can be like, yeah. Bink. Or if he yeah, and if he drops to zero, he he goes away. He goes back to the back abyss. To, yeah. You're summoning him from the abyss. Yes. That's terrifying. I'm just glad nothing else came through with him. Right? Red, uh, <laughs> right. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't bring it up at the time, goals. just in case. But I was a little concerned that there would be... I'm not going like, to lie, that was my worry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Temujin's next, awesome. by the way. Temujin's totally next. Temujin. You guys like that. That would be great. Um, he would. Yeah, Ur's yeah. like, door? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey! He's like, Oren's face. Door. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love your face hole. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you, got, you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so right now, from what we're looking at, to there's no... Nobody else, no trolls are coming, no other hungries. Not to your neck of the woods. That was one of their big pushes. Right? Like, But some of the other places aren't faring super well. Okay. By the way, the fire's still up. Um... I can drop it, but it's That's still right. So if he decides to run this way, he's going to eat shit in fire. Either way, he's eating fire. Yeah, or Balgira Fist. He'll take his chances with the Balgira, probably. Can he move through? No. This is fire. Mm -hmm. This is fire. You have to run through the fire, and you can't move through the Balgira space. Yeah, so what I'm saying is he's going to take fire damage either way. He's going to come towards them and take fire, or go away from them. Or just stay Or just there. stay and slug it out. Stay I guess there's that, too. Yeah. So I'm out. going to telepathically issue a command that after this troll goes down, its job is to prioritize Catablipus. Catablipi. 
go find Kettle Be Blind and yep. beat them up. Yep. Okay. Um, and uh, just for funsies, I'm going to do two or a double Eldritch Blast at the back of the troll. Uh, da, ba, plus nine. So 17. Yeah, that's for both of them. Okay. So to 10, to 10, plus 5, plus 5. Nine and six. Okay. Pew, so Fifteen. Pew. Force, force. That was a roll. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 All right. Yeah, I was mostly focusing on piloting my elephant. <laughs> you go. All right. Yeah, I use my one fourth level uh, slot. After Brian is Oren. Oren wants to know Oren how the other buildings are faring. If I can see through the um, blasted fire that's been blasted away. These guys can see what's going on. There's still fire out here, so you can't really see what's happening in fog and shit. So I'll kind of do it as a free action. Yo, how are the other buildings doing? Sure. So I do that. Okay. To you. You can respond know. a couple words. Okay. Have I looked out yet? Or is it going to be next turn before I can... I mean, you can already tell Abder's bad off. He was bad off before the cattle people showed up. Okay, so Abder right. needs help. All right. I suppose that. Which way is Abder's? Over here. Oh God! Through my fire? <laughs> yeah, you you block the chokes point. Like that's it. Okay. You could probably try to hit the side of the building and skirt around someplace, but you guys kind of. Made it all fiery out here. Is there any clear path to run to the other building, or is it all like fire on the outside in this clear path? Once you get past this, it opens back up. There's like a street here and stuff. There's stuff going on out here. Okay. The fire is just in close to the buildings. So I couldn't skirt around just to my no. right. There's fire all around you right now, dude. It'd probably be a round of going around the fire. Because the sides of the firewall. Yeah, but it's not just a little wall. You guys put big banks of flaming shit okay. everywhere. That was my wonder. So there's fire everywhere around here. Yeah, you guys, little town of trolls hate fire. That was part of the defense strategy that... Yeah, I wasn't here for that part. Hmm. I purposely was okay. not here. All right. But I, uh, um, I'm going to move towards the demon and the troll. We wanted to a little bit. Yeah, we wanted to fulfill... But I'm going to drop my firewall. Your vision. Okay. Five, ten, <laughs> by burning five, everything. 20, 25. That's what I said. 25 is as far as I can move? Yep. Well, shit. I'm Unless like not double. even right there. Unless you double I'm moves. so slow. He's a fatty. <laughs> chubby little dwarf, I man. thought I could get there. No. All right, hit him with Toll the Dead then. All right. He gets to roll a con save. Yeah. Roll low, roll low. Five plus... Ooh, I might have did it. Save a 15. No, he does not make it. Nice. D12? 2D12. Oh, nice. Because I'm level, over level five. Take 14 necrotic. Ooh. Yeah. I guess I gave him a path back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Like, here, bing. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks. That's all right. right. He'd have to run away from the demon. Yeah. After Orin is the monster. <laughs> no, speaking of, <laughs> does troll. he run away from the demon or not? Mm. I don't say... One, two, and then four through six. Yeah, he stays and fights the demon. Good job. He knows what time it is. Bite, claw, claw. Hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. How many hit points your demon got? Not as much as a troll. Yeah. Well, I guess that is one way to get rid of it. It's doing its job. That's right. <laughs> right. Some I don't know shield. if it's a fourth level job, but 16. it's doing pretty good. Well, right we're fighting multiple trolls, okay. so I feel like it's okay. Yeah. So he just... It's not a horn of Valhalla. <clears throat> True. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's why? Still yeah. one of my favorite items ever. Just because you summoned I'm surprised you're still not counting. You've just been like, it would have been three days till Eric's. Yeah, it would have been I'm today. Sure. Today would have been uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So it would have been Eric's eventually. The demon takes some damage. Next. Uh, tomorrow. I can make it. Yeah. I can make it right there. Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Boom. Am I going to get fire 15, damage 20, or anything? 25, 30, 35. Nope. Okay. And I am not going to waste my 
resource because yep. I'm using it. So no. do it. We're still rough. Uh, everything, everything's going. We're doing everything. Uh, that's a three. Uh, so nineteen. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. Six plus three. Oh, okay. He has plus say, three. What? Yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm saying, I'm <laughs> Holy shit. A little bit weird. <laughs> that's a yes. Uh, that's another hit. Yes. Twenty-one. Yep. And nineteen. This guy is on fire. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh but not God. literally. So <laughs> smash, smash, smash. Oh look, he can make it to the draw. <laughs> plus, yeah. plus eight. Plus, oh my God, that so twenty-eight. Blah, 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 You're a terrifying blah, 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 blah. man. Nine and eighteen is twenty-seven. It's down. Hit it again for good measure. You can just boot it into the fire if you want. Yeah. No, roll it. <laughs> uh, and another nine and eighteen. So I, I'm gonna hit its knee, take its Snap. knee. Snap. Okay. Oh. Should mic up. And then too. I'm up, and then I'm going to. The knee snaps. It goes down on one knee. I was busted knee and screams. Uh, then I'm gonna hit its, uh, come around and. Hit it smack it to the back. Okay, the spine goes. You hear it cry so, out. It starts to crumple to the ground. <laughs> and then I'm just overhead, right on on its on top of its head. Okay, you gather the fuck out of it. Yeah, like it's <laughs> Those front row seats are the worst. <laughs> yeah, right? The I'm right there. <laughs> you guys are <were> like splat. <laughs> I'm like, no, oh, come on. <laughs> Twenty foot square radius of blood, just a brain, <laughs> troll brain. And I look up at the demon. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy that attacks the nearest thing? <laughs> no, I'm all right. I can control myself. Luckily, I gave it an order this round, so it has to go do a thing. Yeah. If you didn't, it would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ready. Okay. You're full health, now. too, right? Uh, after Tamat is um, me. Because I hit you for like 20... Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. Are any of the trolls, because we've seen them get up before, are any of them still... I mean, they're down, right? You don't see them twitching or anything. Can I acid splash a couple of them just to be sure? Sure. No, whatever. Okay. Do I have to roll a hit? No. Okay. You're just like acid, acid. Just acid, acid. Yeah. I'm tossing out acid at anything that I think looks the Green least... lumpy, right? The least burnt. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, after me is the demon. Okay, oh. so the demon's going to turn itself invisible. Weak. Oh, God. Yeah. And That's my boy. <laughs> right? That's so bad. You hope, you hope he is. <laughs> and then he's invisible, so you guys don't know what happens next, but he gets to roll a save. Well, hopefully it's not greater invisibility. <laughs> so if he comes out and beats us up, he'll turn invisible. Oh, my God. You feel the link break. All right, so he has 1d6 rounds before he uh, returns on his own. Oh, to the... Okay. So roll a d6. Um, actually, I don't know if that's when I break concentration, and if that's the case, I will break concentration. <laughs> <laughs> so Who some... rolls the d6, and is it in secret? Yeah. Yada, secret. yada, yada. Demon okay, appears, and the demon disappears when it drops to zero points or when the spell ends. Roll initiative... Verbal commands telling what to do. If you issue no command, it attacks nearest thing. And there we go. Charisma saving throw. Demon has disadvantage if you say its true name. On a failed save, the con he continues to obey you. On a successful save, your control of the demon ends for the rest of the duration. And the demon spends its turn pursuing and attacking the nearest non-demons to the best of its ability. If you stop concentrating on the spell before it ends... Its full duration, an uncontrolled demon doesn't disappear until for 1d6 rounds if it I, still has hit points. I think if he breaks the link, whether you can concentrate or not after that is immaterial. If while he was still under your control or not hadn't broken the spell, you could be like, oh, sh sh no, go away. Yeah, well, I'm saying, yeah, but it looks like... Well, it disappears after an hour because he's concentrating. If it breaks the link and he drops his concentration, then it's it will disappear. Then, Okay. It but doesn't. that's why it stays for 1d6. Right? But yeah, if okay. I keep concentrating on it, it just keeps. He doing could its keep thing. concentrating on it whether he breaks the link or not. That'd be horrible. <laughs> well, it might be to our advantage, but right now it is not. Right. Because all the things are gone. <laughs> well, yep. it was at the end of its turn. So if it turned invisible and moved. Yeah, but you it's don't not, know how far it moved. You don't know where yeah. it went. Exactly. It's like it's not there. I'm just saying, if we're not the closest <laughs> thing to it, it might not come to us. It depends true. on what it, how far it moved out. Right. Well, okay. 
I'm so either way, you don't see we anything. We just killed everything else with fire, so we're probably next. Let's up. just wait until see what Josh says. What does? Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, it jumps so far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so when I, it's not my turn. No. Okay. okay. After the monster's turn, turn, it is Temujin's turn. Take initiative. Yes. Hey, don't, don't pass initiative. My turn? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> and I go up. I'm like, it's loose! <laughs> is what I yell out. <laughs> Do you like a concentration? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I text you the yes. <laughs> it was actually a no, but a yes that I say out loud. But no. I get okay. All right. <laughs> and now it's Oren. Oren runs towards the next building to help out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled <laughs> it's loose. I don't know what that means, You're like, Yeah, you do. You can meta a little bit. You, you, can, you know I what it meta. means. I don't know what that means. You don't know what that means. All right. Oh, come on. You're right. I telepathically gave it a command. So when, uh, after 10, it did 15, the thing 20, 25. and it looked at you guys and went invisible... You you would guess even if I yeah, I didn't know. That. Okay, so that's where you are. Bye. Uh, can't I move again? Sure. You want a double move? Well, I gotta uh, go 10, help Abder. 15, 20, 25. Okay, so you're out here. Yeah. You're off screen. Going to help Abder. Boy, you are due for an off screen death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've all been on screen so far. He's gonna <laughs> pummel fuck you. <laughs> and now it's uh, the monsters, which are all dead. Then so we're at uh, Tamat. Tamai says, good journey, my friend. I am going to check on the women and children. <laughs> okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You're at the door. You I go shut outside? it. No, oh, you I... just close it? Yeah, yeah. shut it. Me. Okay. Stay outside the door? Yeah, stay outside the door. How do you even check on them? You just <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to heroically close the door. <laughs> nice job. You close the door. <laughs> okay, who now? You are God uh, killer. Then it is me. <laughs> I am God killer. <laughs> You're not God. Or uh, not. I'm probably going to actively look <laughs> for what's shirt. happening out there. See if. All right, let's see what happened while you guys were dealing with your shit. I'm going to say Black is Abder. Uh, Team Larry is uh, purple, but they're going to get a little bit of a plus because they started blowing fireballs, and Mel and Val are blue. Who's fireballs? Right. <laughs> 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 There's a name. <laughs> okay, so Abder rolls a 12. Just don't fireball that general vicinity over there. <laughs> you don't see Abder in the doorway anymore. Now Sally is standing there holding a great axe. Mm. <laughs> uh, Team Larry rolled a 16. And I gave a plus 3, so that's actually a 19. They repelled the kettle bleepus and the trolls. Mel and Val roll an 11. Uh... Mel is down and bleeding in the front doorway, and Val is standing over him. What what building defending is that? Him. Those guys are in the town hall. Oh, no. Went to the wrong building. I mean, no. Abder is the worst off. Oh, okay. Easily. Like, he's not standing there anymore. He's Go not on. in the doorway. Oh, no. Sally's holding his flaming great axe standing in the doorway, trying to ward off whatever comes by. Do you want Skilly to come by? A dwarf that ate her babies. <laughs> No, I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> don't worry, that? I'll save you from, from Sally. <laughs> I don't think Sally is what's going to do it to him. You know, I forgot as I'm, I'm just, injured. You're injured. <laughs> There's an invisible <laughs> to the Valkyrie. I think we need to have like a long discussion after game about what is... When is it good to meta, and what is it not good to I think we should have a discussion about when is it good to summon shit that might turn on your party, because you guys have a history of doing bad shit to yourselves I mean, like that. This Water is elemental and karma. Right. Well, to be fair... <laughs> No. I love a good to be no. fair. No, to be fair. I don't need to have a response to that. I'm just going to stick with to, to be, be fair. fair. <laughs> this is karma for the water elemental. So, to be fair, done. To be fair. Full stop. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when the Valkyrie beats you the know shit what? out of Ryan. Here, that, that's our next video for Inside Chat. Is that right now? Right? Uh, yeah. Definitely. After I perceive, yeah. Uh, yes, then it is the demon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Is it a greater invisibility or invisibility? It's just invisibility. So the, after the first hit, it doesn't get advantage. That's not right? true. It's reckless. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna flurry of blows on your ass. It's gonna be like, bam, 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 bam. 
like, oh my god! What's, it, what's it doing face. first? <laughs> uh, is it bite claw claw or claw claw bite? It's bite fist fist. Oh god! It doesn't even use claws. Its hands are as big as you are. All right, I do have my shield equipped. That's good. Ready? Nice no. job. Bite. Oh, that's yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. What? What's a hit with? Twenty five. <laughs> I cast shield. Twenty six. Sweet. You can do that out of the uh, out of the ring. ring. I can't do it normally. So, so oh, nice. basically, you're that's running, not a spell I do. And good you job. see it like <laughs> out of the smoke. The smoke kind of swirls strangely in front of you. And you're like, "What's that all about?" And it's like, woof, It comes into a view, and you're like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> it's like gnawing on the shield. You actually Suddenly, see like a metal shimmering of Moradin's protection. Okay. It, it like locks its jaws on it and it's trying to bite through the shield and it's <laughs> no, 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 no. this close to your face. Like its mouth is open and howling as it's gnawing on this semi-translucent shield. I got it. this guy! <laughs> so it's, like, uh, <laughs> it's loose! It's it comes in the back yeah, of your like, Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't sell me. Oh, 26? It's just a hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he gets damn, one dude. fist through. <laughs> So it's like uh, uh, I saw uh, the defense. It was the shimmery, and he's like, "There's the hole." Bam! Bam. Oh, that's what she said. So <laughs> take seven <laughs> from that one. That's seven. Whoa! And then it swings again, <laughs> and a miss. Oh, thank God! So it's like, uh, 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 and it's like dish, punches you in the face with the force <laughs> of a long sword, and then hits another part of the shield. It just. And Pushes the shield back and beats your face with it. <laughs> yeah. Bah, basically, it's one punch. <laughs> Come on. All right, man. And I'm it's ready. all up in your grill. Is it my turn? Uh, it's Temujin. And, I'm know. like, it's loose. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know what it is. It's a Because it's not a religion thing, is it? Uh, yeah, it's more like Arcana. No, I'm not really Ryan, it doesn't matter if you know what it is or not. It's going to kill it's you. It's that thing. It's beating the fuck out of you. Well, I know what it is. I don't care. Is it uh, it's how terrifying. far away? Are it's like guys? a rage monkey. And it's it is just. like a rage monkey. Yeah, it's just beating the shit out of you. You're going to. An invisible rage monkey came out of nowhere and is now <laughs> trying to beat the fuck out of you. I'm going to fly up and over. And I'm going to. Send a couple of blasts down on this stupid gorilla. I mean, gorilla. I really thought a 26 AC might stop it for a round, but no. Nope. It came really close. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I thought I had it in the bag. Pop, pop. I never Ooh. have it in the bag. Boy, that first okay. round is much better than what's about to happen. So I got one round. hit on it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, next round it's going to hit you three times. No, we're going to kill it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it takes seven damage. Yep. What? <laughs> You're gonna kill it. It takes seven damage. It? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't really do the damage thing. All right. How hurt is it? Look? I mean, I could open up a uh, gate on you. It's but not it's, yet. It's not, not yet bloodied. <laughs> it's not gonna do you any good. If I send your soul to the abyss, <laughs> small, sure, I can kill everything over there. But you're over there. And now it's Warren's this turn. Mm. Is it a uh, fiend? Uh, no. <laughs> this guy. Oh, yeah, it's a fiend. <laughs> okay. It's a large fiend. It's just like, I just remember right now I'm just echoing in my head. Fuck the police. He's like, I got the cover law. <laughs> yeah, right. And it's just like, Scar this Scar one's Scar mine. <laughs> you don't need to do this, man. Fuck <laughs> so okay. the police. So good. It was yeah. pretty awesome. Come on. Th this is the shit awesome. you remember, though. Yeah. This is, like, this remember is... that time that Ryan ran out there and accidentally bumped into the invisible rage monkey? Like accidentally? <laughs> no, this was like it was on purpose. It was no, not He purpose. didn't know it's out there. And he asked before we all knew what was going to happen, who's looking bad? Can I see through the fire and stuff? So it makes sense. Okay. Like, I'll give him that. I'll yeah. give him points for playing it if he dies. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to He stopped die. to look what around. What are you talking about? <laughs> he, did what yeah. you were he was like, where to should do? I go? And then he turned back and the gorilla was gone. He was like, oh, even better. Right. Is <laughs> it right in front of me? Yeah, it's right Because I here. can't see the battlefield. So okay. So we'll just pretend point? that this is farther. There's no choke point. You're in the street. And it is up in your grill. It's like up in your grill. Yeah. <laughs> but I could go around it towards the um, <clears throat> building mm -hmm. where you, Sally's wielding her axe. I mean, yeah. You're going to give yep. it an extra? Well, I could disengage as an action and move. Mm-hmm. 
You don't move very fast. It no, moves my short stubby legs don't move very <laughs> it fast. It is very quick. <laughs> All right, I'll stand there and yell, Demont, come help, please. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm closing this door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to protect the little girl that's like, inside this like place. Over here. Oh, that's right. He's not that close. No, he's actually like. You think the little girl's inside could, there? Maybe double. Well, move. I don't know. There's this is what this there is what Tomat's doing. Okay. This <laughs> is his job. He's got right. a job to do. Right. He's yeah. doing his job. Okay. You're a terrible person. Watch what? your friend. I'm flying you. with my Linda over that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, <laughs> towards the building to help Andrew. Ah. Still, I'll disengage mm -hmm. and I'll move that way. And all I gotta do is one coin. You're about this far away from him. You're about. You're about this far away from him. Because after you move around him towards the building, which is directly this way, yeah. you get about that far. That's all right, I guess. I'm okay. going to cast Healing Words, level 3 spell. Good call. <laughs> Knock your wounds? He had to disengage his action. I used my action to disengage. Oh, right. Yeah. So it doesn't I suppose I could have taken the hit, but it seems to be clobbering time, so I don't know. I could double move, though. It'll still, it will still catch Give you. Give yourself right? some protection from the only word. It will still catch you if you double move. Blasty, blasty. Move. Yeah, it doesn't. No, matter. I know that. Okay. Give it I wasn't worried about or that. I was worried about how much distance. I'm I coming have. to help. I'm bringing a demon with. <laughs> help me! I've got aerial support. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an hour or two. <laughs> After monsters, which is the uh, <laughs> or when the die turn, Catablepus and the trolls. Yep, yep, yep. Is uh, come on. Okay. All right, Tom. You 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 close that door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's holding his post. Hold the line. I'll go back to the choke point. Here. Well, this is the new choke point. This is opened up because of the blast. Although I guess that probably but when he that's cast not wall of fire. That's not happening right no. there though. So yeah, I'm the yeti. Go up. The dwarf. It's happening over here. But I'll go. I'll go up to. Kind of the choke point, and I'll just stand guard up to here. I guess, yeah. Okay. There's no one else that's going to help me. I'm going to watch Oren get his ass beat from a closer view. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on over there? <laughs> do I see? Fucking. Do I see what's going on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see what's going on. Yeah. I'll move closer. <laughs> then. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Okay, so you're like <laughs> you're here, such a fool. and this is going on over here. That's a double move for you. It's about that close so to where close. these guys are. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're coming to save After me. My range drops. drops. Me. Oh, your friends. Uh, are it would have dropped either way. Yeah, but uh, now I'm right in the, <laughs> right, right now I'm in front of a freaking demon. No, I'm in front of a freaking demon. I'm and I'm closer. <laughs> how far down is it? How far of a fall? Ugh. For you? Yep. Are you on the top of the roof? Yep. 20 feet. So I would take damage from falling? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's only 2d6. I'll, <laughs> I'll jump off and feather fall. Okay. You and just, I'm... You land here. Where are you? Here you go. Oh, wow. You're like all... Yeah, okay. You're and there. I'll move to the... Uh, as far as up as I can. You can move up to here, right? You can move to here, which is still well. Uh, no, 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 no. Remember? No, I get it. It's still really far away from what's going on. Yep. But you can move yeah. to here from the door. Okay. So yep. you're like back here. We have here two places. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Happening yeah. yeah. Move the door. Yeah. Fucking whatever. You got it. Okay. Take like this. All right. So that's where you're at. There you go. There. Okay. Okay. Uh, after me. I, I didn't mean for us all to leave our building. Nope. Yeah, well, I have to. Uh, I'm, in my mind... <laughs> I called everyone over to you. Oh, yeah. yeah, you did. I oh, said it's not. That's not everyone. In my mind, I'm plugging the full hole that he left. Plug the hole. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> after me is the Balgura. Weep. Yeah. Great kill. Already, I turn around. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't right. like to get hit in the back right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you turn. You stay turned around with your back against him, and just you. You take it, right? You I let him plug the hole. It. You let him plug the hole. No, he's gonna hit me anyways. Good. He's gonna plug your hole right now. Check it. That's, That's nice. twenty. Ah, oh, such crit bait. Why? <laughs> <You are just, laughs> there's no reason for him with advantage so to nine, roll. Eighteen plus 18 four is twenty-two. 20. That's twenty-two. 
He bites you in the face. You take your You turn damage. around, you're like, hi. Oh, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> bites you in the face. One of his teeth hooks under your jaw and yanks your head as he rips away. I get some of my beard and lip, too. Yeah, he took it with him. <laughs> and then he takes his two claws. No, he... it's not clawing. Jim? He's These punching, are fun. so that's a miss for the first punch. He hits the oh, shield, thank God. and you get driven back half a step as he strikes the shield with serious, tremendous does amount he, of force. Does he still have shield up? No, just his regular his shield. actual shield. I have a oh, wow. shield, man. And then he hits the shield again. So you're just like putting the shield away. You're like, no, skiing, no, skiing. Well, he bit my face. I knew what was happening. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, bring it up here. What's he so dumb? The face, you were like, oh, fuck. It was like sludge. He didn't sludge. do a good like one-two combo. He just kept hitting the same spot. No, you're skilled. He was trying to one-two combo, and you were moving the shield around. You're skilled. Take the dodge you action. Yeah, that 17 to my face doesn't feel very skilled. <laughs> I mean, he did bite the fuck out of you. That happened. Yeah. Uh, All right. Now it's Temujin. Seventeen to this guy is nothing. A D six is a very variable number. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> right away or, or yeah, a full combat basically. <laughs> Temujin's next. Pew pew. Natural twenty. Oh. One of them's natural twenty. Sweet. <laughs> the other one's also a hit. Kill that, please. <laughs> And then Tamak so, go back to his door. This one's going to be a natural 20. <laughs> You're going to lose it after, like, oh, it? God. This is so hurt. Six. Six. Many it has six. No, like, it's five. Five. Oh, come on. So, man. 11 and 11. You're daft. It's okay, taking so hardly any damage. So. It's because we don't have our barbarian. 53. All right. Yeah, it's... This it's, might have been hurt. going on to this <laughs> lady over here. So. Yeah, you slowed it down from eating Sally. Yeah. Yeah. And it would have eaten Sally, and then probably whatever's left of after, and then the small children and women. In that <laughs> See, so. I'm a good person. <laughs> yeah. Is it my turn to die? Uh, after Temujin is Ryan. All right. And then it's Dodge the monsters. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Yeah, it gets rid of the advantage to hate you. Just to hate me. Do, do you <laughs> it does man. hate me. Do, let's get let's get the second death of Orn on with it. What just the heck are you true. talking yeah. about? Yeah, let's Prostrate. just get this over. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I've already seen this show. I'm surprised. I'm bored of it. I've seen this right? show. I've seen this show. I've seen Orin die. I've seen Ryan die. This is going to be the third time I've seen Ryan's character die. I in promise. This I don't try to make this shit happen. No, I know. I know you didn't. Uh, okay, all right. No, Temujin did. <laughs> I don't I'm know. not even going to blame him. Yeah, I was gonna, even, even this fucker's on my side this time. <laughs> and he hates I'm me. I'm going to take the dodge, actually. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to catch. Yeah, stealing word again. Good call. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm surprised he hasn't beat you shitless. If he hit with those two fists, you would have been much worse off. Yeah. Yeah, that's he's missed I'm... a lot. Yeah, he's, he's missed like little two twos with advantage. percent of his time. Little double twos. Yeah. All right. Or three, a two four. D <laughs> four. This is a level third healing word. A level third? A level third. Whew. Healing word. I wanted to make a rhyme. Level third <laughs> healing word. Uh, 11 health. Yay. Not even as much as face biting damage. All right, you got a little bit of health. I mean, the face bite was real bad. Like, part of your face isn't there anymore. So, monsters, then Tamat. Well, it's monster. Well, monsters, Catapulipus, and Trolls. Just stop counting the monsters. Okay. okay. That's you, Tamat. I mean, he is a monster. Tamatster. Tamat's terrifying. I go over. Tomato monster. Tiredly. Sidesteps. Exhausted. The demon. Yeah, you're tired. And <laughs> rakes Orin across the face. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't rage. The second death of Orin. Right. I'm not going to rage. Are you going to be reckless? I am going to be reckless. Okay. Great weapon or no? No. You know, you you've, got, you've got the the post-rage blues. <laughs> yeah, dude, right? No, I no. swing my hammer. Uh, that's natural 20. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, I, oh, this is just two strikes. So no, I got no, no. a net. That's reckless. You're I'm not. I'm not doing reckless. reckless. Not Did great I? Weapon. Okay. You said yes. Yeah. Right. Natural, Natural 20, 20 and uh, 19. Yes and yes. All right. And you get a hit again, by the way. Yep. Because of bonus action. Yep. Great weapons. All right. So. Double those dice. So 8 plus 5 is what? 13? 13. Um, and I gotta hit two more times, right? One more, one time. more time, or one more time, which is also a hit. okay. So, 
that's going to be a hit. So here we go. Uh, that's nine and five, which is fourteen. Okay, and he falls. Yeah. So it just disappears, right? Because mm-hmm. when it goes to zero, it goes back to the abyss. <laughs> you so still have one more attack, go. and I still have one more attack. <laughs> and I look at Orin. <laughs> do you throw your returning hammer? Or it's and I do all my today, damage oh, it is. right in front of him. Okay. <laughs> so like, ah, just skabow. Good job. <laughs> then I run. <laughs> oh my god. You run this way. Okay, to Abdur and Sally. Okay. <laughs> You're on your own. It's like protecting we did mine. It. <laughs> okay, you go back. I go back to my post. Okay. Hey, we did it. Yeah. Well, we, it's not over. You're lucky. What do you mean it's not over? I mean, there's still the rest of the night. That was just the first time that. Well, yeah, that was my turn. That was the turn by turn. I feel like we did pretty good. Should we, we get an hour rest? <laughs> <laughs> when you said the rest of the night, did you mean it's continual fighting or is it going to be no, like lulls? there's going to be lulls, so you can get a short rest if you want to. Yeah. That's yeah, I want for me. to. Yeah, it is. I really I want need to, to find someone who died okay. in this, though. You need to find what? Somebody who died. A humanoid. You want to raise them? No, I need, I need their vial, <laughs> their blood. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. True. For what? Some I don't demons. <laughs> You want to do this again? <laughs> I don't know if you're going to find it from plant. You guys did a really good job peoples. defending your place, and trolls don't count. The trolls that look like people, like the abders of the world, they would count. What about Catablepus? No, it's got to be humanoid. Mm. You want my blood? There's a lot on my face. <laughs> it has to be of someone who died in the oh. last 24 hours. How about in the last week? I died in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that would be a good way to loophole it. Yeah. I'm bringing you back. I need some of your blood. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bring you back. I bring a demon back in your place. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So you guys have time for a short rest. If anyone wants to do some stuff, Ooh. do it. Um, I'm only a point down, so I, I guess I'd, I'll roll my hit die. Okay. Great. I got my hit point <laughs> back. You just roll a d6. You get a d12. Well, it doesn't matter. I know. You make it to Abder's? Yeah. Okay. What do I see when I get there? Abder is horribly hurt and not healing. He's lying up against one of the tables with some busted legs. There's some burns on his face. And there's something that's pulsating under his shirt on his side. And he looks bad off. All right. I'll uh, kneel down by him. Okay. Inspect him. Is he the only one that's really injured compared to everyone else that was defending? I mean, there are a couple of other injured like defenders, but they're regenerating. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? How does it look like I'm feeling? There's obviously blood in one of his lungs. He's coughing it up. Um, you going to be able to heal that? I don't think so. Not this time. All right. So it has to do with something that's going on under that. What's going on under that? You wouldn't understand. There's been a lot that I don't understand, try me. A long time ago, I failed my boy. I won't do it this time. Is that your boy? I understand. And uh, when you die, what about that? Well, it depends on how far along he happens to be. If he's mostly developed, then he'll continue to feed off my corpse until he gets what he needs out of it. And then he'll emerge from his call, so to speak. Well, let's keep you alive a little longer. Good luck with that, friend. It's going, I think it's going to go badly for me and mine. It's going to be all right. Oh, no. I uh, put my hand on him and I cast Cure Wounds on the two. Okay. Asshole. (laughs) Roll it. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be all right. 11 health. Okay. He looks better. Do you think that'll jumpstart your healing? Healing's done for me. 
My flesh won't knit while it's supporting another life. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, Man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that got to you. That's the one. That's the job wow. you've been waiting for. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of you will live. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like, okay. Like, Greg, I'm going to give him... Um, Two more cure wounds. Wow, okay. Just You're gonna have to hold out through the night. We're not caught. <laughs> Six or something. Five and four. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's okay. Four. All right. Well, no, it's not horrible. Well, that was two level one spells. So he gets back on his feet. He's like, Thank you much, friend. <sighs> Just last through the night. I understand. I wanna stay here, help shore up these defenses. If it comes to it, I could keep your body from completely dying, whether I'm out of healing or not. I appreciate your help. Okay, so. I'd like to take my hour and my short rest. Yep, good call. Everybody short rests. We're going to go through a couple other just eh scenarios, but no one's running with, rolling with advantage anymore because no one has four defenders. So. Uh, there's another wave about an hour and a half into the night. You guys are kind of, what, around 2 in the morning now? It's getting mm-hmm. kind of late. Most of you are exhausted, like yourself. Um, in fact, during the lulls in combat, you're going to have to give me a constitution roll to stay awake. Can I use my uh, flash of in, uh Is there a certain amount of times you can do that? Yeah, it's based on my... Uh, where is it? Uh, max... Or you could just wake him up when it's go time. Yeah, I can do it uh, two more times. Okay, sure. But uh, what is it? Flash of genius. Plus four. Twenty. You're good. Okay. All right. So we're gonna roll for Abner and friends, but I'm gonna give him a plus two because Orin's there. Okay. So another ten. Abner is not doing well. You suck, man. I'm here to help you. I mean, <laughs> can I take uh, a few little stones? Yep. And uh, put a recording of uh, me saying something like, get them, and then toss it into the fire so that when the thing comes through, they think that they're surrounded and there's voices coming from the fire, basically. How many of those things can you do at once? Uh, I can do four at once. Okay. I mean, you can try for that. Okay. All I'll right. give that a shot for this okay. wave. Uh, Team Try Larry. Confuse him. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, there didn't need to be two Larrys That's in this natural. world, yeah. anyway. It's, 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 it's not two Larrys anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> there's only Team other Larry. Larry. Don't ask about Larry. Ran out of fireballs uh, during the Catablebus assault. They did a really great job. Everything was cool, but they rolled one. So during this next assault, what you see is like one of the Larrys, the one who had his arm half out of his socket. He's having a hard time casting this quickly, and a troll gets a hold of him, one of the hungry, lifts him up into the air and pulls him in half. And you see his intestines and his spine flop all over the boardwalk. The other Larry freaks out and screams, runs out to try to do something about it, and is pounced upon by two other trolls who drag him out and toss him in the fire. And then the trolls enter the building and screams ensue. That building has fallen. Which one was that? That was the general store. Like a, Where are we going to get beef jerky? Now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, now it's free. <laughs> <laughs> so the Larrys and all the women and children that are in the general store have just expired in an untimely fashion during the fight, and there's nothing you can do about it. My Newports. Fuck. <laughs> wow. You're some hard motherfuckers. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously I go scoop some up some blood to some demons. <laughs> <laughs> do you, in between, do you like fly over there, fly down and get the blood? Um, if it looks like there's an opening. Uh, Mel and Val... Do a pretty heroic job. They roll an 18. Uh, some of the survivors from the general store, some of the kids and some of the women are pouring out the sides, and they even get some in, into the town hall before everybody else is eaten. So they did a really good job. And now it's you guys. Uh, so I'm going to give you a 13, which is pretty good. So far, you haven't rolled anything below a 10. So you guys managed to fend them off. Uh, are you down there with Tamat? Uh, I return to my post up at the top. Okay, so you're going to take some damage. Son of a bitch. Uh, you're going to take 15. (laughs) 
All right. Give me one second to take a whiz. Do you guys want to keep going or you want to call it here? It's 1230. I'm good. What are, what are you thinking? Because we can do one more turn by turn fight and then it will probably be the morning. Finish out the night. Let me see one time. Get 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, what do you think about it? I'm gonna hit the head real quick. Yeah, here. I think I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good for about another half hour. I mean, okay. you think we can like truck through it? I think if we have like, shot. Right. not Josh Long's uh, Josh <laughs> turns. Josh turns is what we call him. Oh, we're running out of resources, so I feel like it might go faster. I just started over again. I might got a short through. rest. Yeah, he actually gets more resources yeah, like, than he started. I can do with. it again because he's used a. A couple of spells before we do. Uh, I use those. Oh, but then, then you get a short rest. rest in between. Yeah, that's so. right. I only can cast two spells. But you reset on short for rest. short rest. So yeah, so I used twice on the detect magic or detect thoughts. That's the really good thing. Short rests are uh, great for warlocks. Are you going to come back and help, or are you going to? No, stay? I told him I'm going to help here. Mm-hmm. Well, the other one fell. You saw it. Yeah. I could probably use one of your guys' help. Good. You could. <laughs> Figure that guy's the most mobile. Yeah, I'll fly over and help you. <laughs> after, oh, after he commits to the door, and then I'm like, Ning. <laughs> let me run to the door. Chink. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Let me go save. <laughs> there you go. I mean, to be fair, if we all left, it, he would have just. Yeah. It was yeah, a good like move to when shut you get it. back, they're all dead. So are we going for 24-hour charity stream? 24-hour charity stream. I'd be into it. I could run 24 hours. Today? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> You'd probably have to start at night. You'd probably be better off. I'm always better off at night. All right, let's do this. He'd be better off starting in the morning. Yeah, it's like... He'd turn into you a mean at night? You mean PM. like 3, 3 a.m.? I mean, so <laughs> what'll happen is if we start in the morning, I'm going to be like... And then at some point around now, I'll be like, okay, I'm awake. And I'll be able to run until around 2 in the morning pretty good, 3 in the morning. And then I'll start to get tired again. Man, that's crazy. 8 p.m., I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> you'll be done. <laughs> okay, so. So um, I take my short rest. It strikes you while what, the what? carnage is ensuing next door. Oh, that I that thought you meant something strikes no. me. Like, it's, it's, a girl. Girl. Yeah, like no. it's the asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> it strikes you. While the chaos is ensuing next door, that that's where Caleb was. Okay. So he got eaten along with the. I mean, I called and children in fire and screaming. I said if we stay here. Now Timogen knows I wasn't wrong. <laughs> well, what was the last part of your vision? Well, I'm not gonna die. Oh. Okay. That's not happening, Josh. All right. Yes. You split the party. You, did. <laughs> you know what happens after you split yeah. the party. We're gonna I never be wanna, awesome over here. I okay. never want to hear you on that. And when you're in that seat, I never want to hear you say, "You split the party. You're driving me nuts." <laughs> That's fair. Man, he's got an attitude today. <laughs> Wait till I'm the DM. <laughs> yeah. Just no. split the party. I'm, I dare you. I'm handcuffing I'm myself banking. to everybody. <laughs> I'm banking it. That's why I followed him. Just so I could Don't drive. worry. I'll split the party. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll be your turn to visit Retribution upon me. It's fair. I don't really feel like Retribution. I feel like I deserve my first death. Because mm-hmm. I chose it. And my second death, a little less deserved. He chose it. Eh, it's kind of save or suck. No, it was, it I was stick my rib sock. into your I gave body. you an opportunity. <laughs> You're already down. You were bleeding out. So you shove something inside my body? Life. Okay. All right. <laughs> life. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I penetrated you with my life stick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yep. And he died. <laughs> and you couldn't say no because you were unconscious. <laughs> Implied <laughs> consent. <laughs> <laughs> it's that whole argument again. <laughs> I like how you thought you were safe. So you were like, I'm good. He was like, he was unconscious. And I was like, no, no, don't teleport him. So like, <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Let's let's focus because first of all, we need we're a, gonna win. All right. Oh. Well, let's let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. okay. So let's back up. The night moves away. What are you back on? Let's go forward. Yeah, well, we're going to change this back to the way it was. 
That stays. Mm, yeah, that stays. It's more like this. So, do you guys rekindle that fire on the sides? Yep. Do you, okay. See the side. Oh, man, we need that fire back, so we're going to set up our lane. Cool. Yeah. That did a number on the trolls carrying the, the litter. Yep. <clears throat> that was possibly a big reason of why you guys did okay. Okay, you're here. I don't know. Oh. I felt like the wall of fire was pretty awesome. The wall of fire was super awesome. Where's the Where's the girl? She's coming in, to, coming to in this broom. Okay, great. Slash. It's not a broom. It's a hoverboard. It doesn't matter. Hoverboard slash. Yeah. Whatever. <sighs> okay. Cool. I am not a fan of this. I mean, no. No, I'm not a fan of this. No, I don't think I would be either. It's sort of horrible, right? My team just abandoned me. Uh, your one door friend. Your archery team is still there. He's I followed him. him. He's the one that left. Oh, you went with him? Yeah. He's, oh, so he's you're with him? him? Oh, I didn't know that. So then I would have given these guys advantage. Oh, ah. well, never mind. Yeah, so matter. there's four of you over there now, and there's only two of you here. Oh, wait. What? I was trying to even the things. No, it's three and him and Abder and Sally. Because you got Abder back on his feet. Over here, it'll be three and three if you stay oh. with these guys. Mm. If so you go with three Orin, and three, or should you stay over there? Uh, evens is staying three and three. It's odds. So I go with you. So you're with Orin. Okay. So it's you two, Abder and Sally. And then over here, it's just you guys. But these are the competent ones. Let's not pretend. So it okay. makes sense to split up this way. Sure does. I mean, this guy's the rage beater. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm good to go. Oh, oh uh, well, did I get injured and then? No, I healed. Do you remember? I hit no, you for I, 20 you know, you're that not following. That last little bit where I rolled those dice? Yeah. That was? Before I could take my short rest? After. All right, yeah, so I'm good. Okay. All right. I got 53 out of 68. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do Sanctuary on you if another wave is coming. Now he's the only one down there? Yeah. So if they, I don't know, he's going to lose it when he... Rages. Rages. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, will we have time for me to do a couple of cure wounds on him? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. How much are you down? Yeah. Um, 53 out of 68. So you get back nine more hit points? Where are you at now? 62 out of 68. Okay. We'll We're good. good at that for now. Okay. What happens, boss? What level spell can you cast? Four. What level is invisibility? Um, let me check my spells. I have it. It's two. Two. Two? Yeah. Sweet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, greater invisibility is like five. And then we'll put this over here. All right. So you guys are waiting for something to happen. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Surprise. Let's roll initiative, but these guys are going to start off coming out of invisibility. Okay, great, but I can't be surprised if I if I if enter rage, rage right away. Okay, right so let's away. roll. Let's roll initiative, and then you won't have to clear surprise. Do I? So we should just roll in on this side, right? Mm -hmm. well. I'm going to roll the warlock troll separately. Jesus, cool. Very no, cool. Not cool. <laughs> when you say those two words combined, that's definitely not cool. <laughs> okay, would you six minus or plus one? Seven. Minus twelve. Oh man, so the warlock troll is definitely faster. Like it? Warlock troll is going to seventeen. Mm -hmm. And then uh normal troll is going to two. And Orin? 15 straight. Do we have two battlefields? Or is we it have just... two battlefields. We're going to resolve them one at a time. Okay. So we're going to go with you guys first, <laughs> as the more likely to capitulate. And then we'll go with these guys next. And, what? and is it a warlock troll or just the normal troll on ours? Uh, no, you guys both have troll shock troops. Okay. So you got two normal trolls and a warlock troll. Gotcha. <clears throat> then you have okay. a certain amount of rounds until reinforcements come. You can hear them coming through the mists and screaming and howling. You got this tomorrow all by yourself. So we're surprised, so I clear surprise. Mm -hmm. 
You have reaction. Then it's the warlock yeah. troll. Then it's the mount. Okay. So, but you're not surprised. That doesn't really matter right now. They're coming out of invisibility. So his first shot's going to be advantage. And then after that, it'll be Does whatever. he... So warlock troll gets a turn. He, he clears surprise. The... Who then the trolls. Can't he see invisible with his optic eye? Oh, you can see the invisible, can't you? The eye is the thing that you guys had me give Yeah, we gave it to Old Man Mossy. Old Man Mossy. Oh, no. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I don't have ass. anything. And you're like, you, you have, have that. That, that useless like, oh, thing yeah. over there that you <laughs> okay. never use. You can no longer read the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. You guys, yeah, you guys, guys talked me into losing the map. Oh, oh man, yeah. that's all we'll our fault. project a picture of the map. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> but. That's good. At least you can always project a picture of the map. If we live. <laughs> if your projector survives. I hate I hate this group. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this group with a passion right now. Man. What are you talking you guys, about? You guys. We had to pay for our passage. <laughs> Ready? Oh, goodness. So, so, rid of the horn of so the thing I'm confused about is, I... is it the warlock troll that's going? Yes. Okay. The clothes. 16. Making sure. What'd you, you didn't get rid of anything. 16 hit? Uh, <laughs> barely, I think. Yeah, it hits. I've only got three magic okay. items left. I can't So I'm not raged though, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take 11. Splouf. <laughs> and then he's going to hit you again. That's funny. For 10 more. Just take 21 overall. Splouf, 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 splouf. His hand goes off twice. These force projectiles strike you. I got. I hope I die, and I'm going to blame it on Ryan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so blame it you then want it's to. I hope you die and blame it on me too. You can <laughs> hope whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's surprised at this point because he got hit. Mm. If he can take his. Well, basically, all he has to do is rage, and he gets to kill everything. Okay. All right. But Sorry. the things next to him haven't popped into. Visibility. Now, so but if the warlock casts invisibility. And he goes and it breaks. Are they still invisible? Uh, you lose the invisibility effect on you when you attack. attack. Okay, so you can see the warlock. So yeah, you just see the one there. You don't see these guys. <laughs> Get your hand off my rolling stage. And he's like, slap, slap, slap. I do everything. Okay, and you're going to come out swinging? Yeah. Okay, so okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. They're both going to get <laughs> swings on you. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. Wait, I never said... Well, you can't see them. You can't see the ones next to you. You don't know they're there yet. That was Josh's bad. Oh, what the fuck? So the warlock guy out there hit you. His invisibility <laughs> when, drops. When, his invisibility drops. You don't They're know about invisible. anything to the left or the right. I get whatever. I, I go. Okay. Well, that will reveal them for you. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you're... What would okay. Tamat do? So He'd go for it. He doesn't go. know they're there. Uh, a, 13 and 9. No, no. Amazing. Okay, miss, miss. so they both miss you. Fuck. If, they don't awesome. reveal, if they don't hit them, they reveal. They attack or cast they, a spell. Yep, okay. attack or cast a spell. Cool. So they're both. You, you do notice them now after you start to leave. All right, put me well, back then. Well, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Hmm? They probably get advantage. Oh, that's true. That's right, because he doesn't see them. I mean, that one missed. Yep, that one missed. And that one is going to be a 13? Nope. Miss, miss. Wow. What the fuck? Guys? All right, Whoa. put me back. You guys suck. Put me back. So you don't run off. No. You're like, oh, yeah, so you, you leave and then you're, you're like, like, oh, well, fuck actually, this. You, know uh, you have to leave enough that they would attack, but you don't have so to. All right, the here. door is shut, though, right? I mean, yeah. All right, I'm going to go it? back for the... <laughs> it's not like they can go through that door. All right, so I'm going to stay. I'm staying... Okay, I do so all the like, things. Fuck this. I got two shots. So I rage. I, I rage. Yeah. I frenzy. I. They're not incredibly hard to hit, if I remember. So I'm gonna do all the things. Okay. Fuck. I um, miss. Twelve. Miss. Uh, seventeen. You don't get to roll again. But go ahead. You hit that one. I hit twice. You hit once. I get two uh, two attacks. Yep. Yep. And that's I, what I mean. You don't get a third one this round. No, I know. I rage. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's like, take that. <laughs> uh, what do we say? Uh, 10 plus 18 is 28. Okay, so crunch. This is going to be bad. Yeah, we can't do that. Well, especially you. Yeah, if they're we're fighting gonna, this right, way, we're next? screwed. Well, well let's see. Screwed. After you oh, would be the this. two... Uh, trolls next to you. Okay. Okay. So, 
These are the ones that eat you in your vision. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you don't see me in your vision? Because away. I'm invisible and fly away. <laughs> All right, so swing once. That's a hit. Swing twice. That's a hit. Swing three times. And that'll be a 16. That's a hit. Okay, so here we go. Um, a d6 plus 4, a d6 plus 4, and 2d6 plus 4. I'm just going to roll these and add uh, 12. Well, he has to half every damage. Yeah. Just Nine. Yeah. Five. 10. But if you add them all together, 12, it would 24. change all the round down. Uh, oh, I guess that's true. Okay, well, let's roll them separately. So that's six, or three. That's ten, or five. Unless you're all even on everything. And this is eight plus four is twelve, or six. So three, five, and six is what you actually took. So you took fourteen 15, overall. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, four, five, and six would be fifteen. Okay. Don't cheat yourself so that's out of that one. one. Troll number two. That's a hit. Uh, 14? Miss? Okay. Is it 14 a miss? 14's hey. a miss. 14's right. a miss. He's, he's okay. staring me down. <laughs> he's so mad at you. And that's another hit. <laughs> Should we so, take a break? <laughs> that's yeah. nine. A week to cool down. Or four. <laughs> How much? Four. four. You're going to take, I'll just say what you take, okay? Yeah. It's four. And then... Four and six. So you took four and then you took six. Ten. Mm-hmm, ten. They're just like viciously biting and clawing into you. No, go to hell. <laughs> you know I'm going down. You're going down. He's going to fly away. The evil guy is going to fly away with the... <laughs> with the girl, though. I get to save yeah. her, just like you said. Save, <laughs> save her. For sure. Uh, so now That's it why is... I'm flying. My I'd otherwise turn. be on the ground. <laughs> would we would we notice this is happening, or are we having our own troubles? You're, you're having you're your own fucked, troubles, dude. Okay, are you? What do you think? What do you, like, now you're trying to meta. <laughs> now you're fucking trying to meta. I'm saying, are we having our own here, troubles? Man. Oh, yeah, oh, wait. All right, now I, I think Matt's at level four. Come on, come on, let's, keep <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> Who's next, Alex? Who's uh, next? That's me. Uh, I'm gonna do <laughs> scorching Jesus, ray. Do okay. any of them? Any of the trolls to the left or right of him look especially hurt? No. That, Just kill uh, one of them is more hurt, but a little more hurt. <laughs> you should be mad at uh, Josh. I'm not. No, <laughs> you split the party, dude. If I was in that seat, See. you'd still be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's possibly true. Did he focus on one or did he hit multiple? No, he hit one. Okay, I'm gonna hit the same one that he hit with all why. three parts of a scorching ray. Holy shit! Oh, I love it. We we we. All right. So oh. the first one. I just have to is... look away. <laughs> Let's see, what is this to hit? It's such a dumb shit. <laughs> Plus seven. I hope so you're ready. Brian, are you nice. ready for that next campaign, dude? Yep. Uh, 20 well, to hit. Yep. I don't know if we'd have been better off and here versus six trolls than you are there versus 21 three trolls. Hit. So Who says there were going to be six over here? All three well, hit. wait till we see yep. our three. Yeah, so I'm sure you're going to have the same shit, but... Is... Everything, seven. It's 15 or over, just so you know. 15 or over? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, first one is 7 fire damage. Okay. Second one is 10 fire damage. So it's 17? Yep. yep. Cool. Third one is, oh, sad, 3 fire damage. So 20. Oof. Okay. Did you hit them all with fire? <clears throat> yeah, he yep. squeals and screeches. Nice. Who's turn next? Next is the Warlock Troll. Uh, make a wisdom save. What would it be like if you cast Dissonant Whispers on somebody? You could give him a plus, no? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll give him a for, um, plus to save. Damage. Plus four. Oh, the damage. Dissonant Whispers at fourth <laughs> level. What'd you get? Is six d6. Um... A seven. Plus four is eleven. No. Plus four is seven. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Sixty-six and you run like shit. You run like mad. Mm-hmm. Although do you have advantage against fear stuff? 
Oh, actually, you can't be feared. I can't be feared or anything like that. Is um, that because this you're a barbarian? It's because he's raging. Is that is the level still, seven ability? Still, he takes the damage, but he's not afraid. I think this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it causes rack. It racks you with terrible pain. The target makes a wisdom save on a failed save. Takes the the damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far away as its speed allows from you, or from the, uh, caster. the caster. The creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous grounds such as fire or a pit. Away. Creep. Yep. What if so there's, there's no nothing about the there feared is. condition or the anything door. like that. He's in the door. door. Take ninety damage. Well, I'm down. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way. <laughs> All right, you're down. Tomas last stand. Wait, wait, wait. Do Glass have anything to stay up? Oh, yeah, it's called this. <laughs> and you can reduce the I damage. I Stone's Endurance stones did endurance. Oh, Stone's Endurance? Do it, man. All right. Now yeah, might be the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's called this. <laughs> I'm so, trying to help <laughs> over here. <laughs> I'm just like... It, Oh my this god. 1d12 plus 2. It's 12. So, what was it? You take 7. Alright. Then instead so of 19, was you it take 19. 7. And or was it 17? He used his so reaction. You're at 10. You have 10 hit points left. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's actually mm -hmm. really good for you. I don't know what that. Well, it's his <laughs> reaction to do that, and then he doesn't have a reaction to run. Yeah, I don't know how the That's stack true. works, but probably. whatever. That's well, he has to react call. first, right? I would say that that works out. <clears throat> I probably would, too. So you don't run. That's kind of a weird okay. one. Instead yeah. of just like, blah! That'll be a rules after. And, like, play. stay on your feet, even yeah. though it's bad. We're going to so we just gonna do the thing. Dead. Whose turn is it? Uh, is it still the Warlock's turn? No, that was his turn. All right. It's okay. turn. Uh, yeah, now it's Tamat. All right, so I'm going to do the thing on one of them. The okay. one, that one that's hurt already? Okay. Yep. Uh, everything. This is everything. That's a 15. Okay. That's another 15. Okay. And that's a natural 20. Okay. <coughs> Go ahead and roll damage. How many hits? All three. Oh, right. <laughs> it's 15 or better to hit. So this is my first one, not crit. That's 6 and 18 is 24. Okay. Doesn't go down. Nine right and <laughs> eighteen is twenty. Uh, yep, twenty-seven. Now down. Okay. Yeah. And then my, crit, my, crit, crit, guy. my crit on my other so one. So you like you smash him in the chest and ribs crack. Blood shoots out of his mouth and you come back around and literally you wipe the front of his face off. And this third guy, you turn around, you're like ah! keeping it. Uh, that's seven and fourteen. To double, right? Plus 18 Plus is... Plus 18 is... 32. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then you bring your uh, hammer back around and catch him in the pelvis. And he's sucking wind. His little troll makers have been smushed. <laughs> the troll makers are smushed. Yeah. It's fireballs. At least... You know what? <laughs> At least there was that for Tamai. You did it. You there got you go. combat Who's next. Uh, yeah, next you. is the one troll next to you. The one next to you. Okay, so he's going to claw, claw, bite you. He's going to take a miracle mm -hmm. here. Hit for 23. Hit for 25. And then hit for 20. Okay. So here we go. Um, <laughs> that's four. <laughs> so mad. Four damage. <laughs> I just don't understand, like... And that's <laughs> five, five, five more damage. Bullshit. Five more damage. So, so you're at one. Five. Nine. So that's yeah, nine so damage. One. Yep. So you're at one. Yep. And then... I mean, it's going to take you down on that. Six order. and ten. Oh, this is important, though. So five more. So you're negative four. Because if a claw claws bites and he falls on the first one, he dies. Right? But because it was claw, claw, and it dropped him on the bite, hmm. he's not dead. He's rolling. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you're down. But... You're still rolling saves, and you could be healed by your friend, possibly. He <laughs> doesn't do that. Well, I um, come up with <laughs> or uh, two, uh, two. What is it? Exhaustion two levels. Exhaustion levels. You better frenzy again. Oh yeah, I don't have any more. 
You don't have any rages? No. I thought you had three. I have four, and I've used them all because we were we were doing that. Uh, oh, because you use resources yeah. for that thing. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. And then it's it me? Were you guys not following the game? <laughs> no, we're following your death. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to make sure you spelled it out for the camera. So after um, <laughs> this guy bites him down, he prepares to enter the door. Yep. Fucking kill them all, dude. Just go trolls That's me. at this point. I what jump down. What did you seem troll for? Okay, because I hate down. you guys. Yep. <laughs> Where's your damage? damage? Where's your you? Here you go. Slam. You're going to take 2d6. <laughs> Hero landing. Take nine. Oh, God. <laughs> you, put your, <laughs> you put your knee through your chin. <laughs> and I cast Cure Wounds. <laughs> what level? Nice. So, so you're going next to I you. only have one. Splam. On yourself? Nope. On, oh. <laughs> on him. That would have been fun. You get uh, nine hit points back. Okay, you're awake. And tired as fuck. So... I think now is it whenever you rage you can ignore but you're out of rage is this it? okay all right you're tired as fuck that's a thing yeah let's talk about rage right now when <laughs> I don't have any okay what's assholes. up uh, so unfortunately next is warlock you don't troll. have any assholes <laughs> warlock troll there was a there was a period in there somewhere dude <laughs> <laughs> not out of an asshole man <laughs> oh no come on <laughs> one step <laughs> one step too far do you, do you want to be odds or evens? Uh, let's do odds. I don't fucking give a shit. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the Warlock Troll is going to shoot you twice. Hit and hit. So take seven. Are you back down? No, got two more. That's cool. And then you take uh, yeah, that's eight. That's cool. Mm. Well, that also is important, right? Because if you drop in the first one, he would have lost two rolls and you got mm -hmm. hit again. So, stays down. I don't have any more healing. That's all right. Who's Our cleric's down? on the other side of the fucking uh, <laughs> Oh, God. See, after the warlock troll he used, is you know what? He used all his freaking healing shit okay. on that stupid I ass still have healing. Roll a d20 oh, for great. me, man. Roll a d20 for me, man. Me? Yeah, it's okay, your so. death saving throw. 19. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's a good one for you. Cool. I'll, I'll even do this on camera so everybody can freaking watch me die. <laughs> uh, then it is uh, the it troll. right in that nook right there. Yeah, I, sure, I sure will. The troll right next to us. That's okay. about to enter the door. He's not going to bite you in the face instead. Yeah. Well, claw, claw bite. Yeah, claw, <laughs> claw bite. <laughs> oh, gosh. So 19 for first claw. And miss, miss. And then... 18, 18 for AC. And then miss, miss. So he hits you once. For five damage. Oh, He'll suddenly, be our new tank. Suddenly horrible at his job. All right, what's next? Man, uh, ready to get on with this. Well, I mean, yeah. we're, I'm in a sort of a time crunch, but not yeah. much. Uh, next is me. I don't have any spells or uh, spells or healing or anything, so. Oh no. I do acid splash. One what? on the troll in front of me, and one on the uh, the troll warlock to the right. Cool. They have to make a deck save. God, you killed Alex, too. <laughs> I'm going to kill everybody. Dex save of 15. Save, save. Both save, no damage. No damage. Oh, that's rough. It looks bad for the defenders over here. Yeah, they. Yeah, it does. Well, we can see how our combat's going over here <laughs> next week. Yep. <laughs> it might just be as bad. I mean, yeah, no, I don't want to play like that, dude. I mean, I'm not could... sitting here, and then, then the campaign ends, and then just be like, oh, fuck it. We'll bring another character. I'll bring one, too. A, a troll, probably. <laughs> we're finding out. <laughs> yeah, we're finding out. Right. Uh, like, I, I just called the That's the warlocks and the, <laughs> the troll. Wait, are you gone next week? Okay, I so... mean, if you want to just roll, or just have, because it's only you rolling, right? Yeah. So, so warlock. Two ducks saves. Oh, two deck saves? Or two deck saves after you attack. What do you, what do you mean? You attack with oh, I got all you. of them. And like, they're just going to keep throwing acid until you're down? That's all I can do. It's all my what resources. About your you could do more things than that. I mean, I ha You know what they want. Don't do that. They're going to hit you twice. AC 18? Actually, 
Yeah, AC of 18. Uh, Actually, I'll do something different on my move. Okay, yeah. so here you go. So you're going to take 12 and 6. So take 18 damage as he pelts you with two Elders Blast. If you get another move. Pieces mm -hmm. of you are flying off and patterning against the wall. Yep. You're hurt badly. Mm -hmm. uh, the structural integrity of your face is starting to fail. One of your <laughs> optic uh, you know, sensors is pointing in the wrong direction. You're fucked up. I've been there. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to use the rod on me and Tamant. Okay. What about everyone inside? Can't see him. Yeah, I think Did you open the door as part of your fuck. move and do it? I don't think it matters for anyone inside because I wouldn't survive the thing. I don't know if he will even. Because he takes ah. damage, which automatically fails a save. But not two, because it's not a melee. It's yeah. true. It's true. So you're gonna use the rod of security. Rod yeah, of that's security. the only thing I can do. So the rod good. of doom. I mean, I have my cannon, but that's not gonna do enough against these. You things. live, maybe. Maybe. Well, you most likely live. It's a paradise maybe. where you're you're healed maybe. supernaturally. <laughs> yep. Are you here supernaturally? Ones that I can see. Huh? Yeah. You're here supernaturally while you're, you're there. Healed. Yeah. You gain regain hit points per. Minute like you would per short rest. Does it regain hit points as well, if it's spent one hit die for each hour spent? Oh, per hour. Yeah. You might live. Yep. It's so possible. I can't believe this. So up to 200 days, or me. up to 100 days between the two of us. So you grab him, you get the fuck out? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, there go those women and children. So... <laughs> You haven't, you're not you out guys. of the woods yet. You guys. You're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, you have to uh, work on the deck save. Or so, the so that's saving throws. Can you uh, give him bonuses to his death saves as a reaction? I ran out of those. Oh. <laughs> so the answer <laughs> was so yes. Maybe. I can do a medicine no. check to try to you stabilize can, him. You can try to stabilize him. Yeah. Put your so finger you're going to take four more hit points of damage mm -hmm. as you travel between interdimensional pockets. And I'm going to take a fail. You're going to take a fail. So... <laughs> That's one success. For those of you that are watching, I got one and one. One fail. <laughs> All right, so uh, the next turn we're going to stay with initiative. Mm -hmm. You're going to roll a save. That's a fail. Ah, damn it. You're going to try to stabilize him? Yep. Don't roll a one. Put a finger in the Don't hole. Don't Come on, man. Put a finger in the hole. <laughs> Did you roll one? No. Uh, I got a 15 plus. Nice. On, Minus on. one, so fourteen. <laughs> but you stabilize it. You okay. do. You're oh, like God. he's bleeding really bad on that one. <laughs> 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 you just like leave your finger there for a little bit until the blood congeals and he stops bleeding to death. Oh my God. So in a hundred days we're gonna come back <laughs> and find him. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You guys are whoop. all right. Do you guys want to run the two of you? We're in paradise. Or do you want to be done? It's one something. One I seriously have no fucks to give though. It's up to you guys. Yeah, let's do it next. I mean, okay. the fun thing is Matt could leave. You, or you guys could we definitely could bring different characters. I, I see and you guys could continue me over here, but I'm not reading the messages. You don't want to. I'm betting it's um hurry the fuck up. Oh, okay. This is what she said. She said Oh, um, she texted you. Oh yeah. She said, Be done. Hey Josh, you want me to throw pissed off cats in there? Wrap it up, will you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. So, yeah, man. Let's go ahead and do um, roses and thorns. You got cool. time we for that? We can start with Josh. If you start, <laughs> no, I'll be the, I'll be last. All right. Ooh. That was I thought that was an awesome game. I really loved uh, how mad you got. That was so great. <laughs> that was like the best shit ever. Like, I don't know. I I feel like maybe it didn't feel great, but games that provoke an emotional response in me, even if it's not like a really positive response. I usually later on feel good about. Like I feel like I was really hooked. Like that, I was invested in that moment, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that game is supposed to do that to some extent. Um, and I just yeah. revel in chaos. So <laughs> yeah, you fucked up, Holmes. Yeah, I think that was <laughs> you revealed that you're the actual <laughs> evil one in the group. Yeah, right. <laughs> what? Get out! Bye, here. guys. I'm running <laughs> off to go steal the people. I don't know. Whatever. That was also great. <laughs> what? Um, Thorn. You guys spent a lot of time figuring out what the mm -hmm. fuck you were going to do for this whole thing. Like, there was a lot of the game where you guys were just, like, talking, 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 yeah. talking. Even that wasn't bad. Like, the talking was good, right? But, um, 
It was probably excessive. Yeah, it just was long. That's <laughs> it all. Was definitely... It was long. <laughs> that's what you have when you have conflicting interests, though. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's not. It wasn't bad, right? Like, even that had some of its good points. Like, you guys seem emotionally invested in some of the conversation. It got a little warm sometimes between people. I thought that was really cool. Um, it was just a lot of that. That's all. And so I don't. I don't have like a sharp thorn. It's like a blunted kind of dull thorn. <laughs> just wait. All right. Who wants to go next? <laughs> How about you, Ryan? We'll go to the oh, left. I'll go. <laughs> but he wanted to go last. Well, that's okay. He just, just has to go after say you. Your shit. He just has to go after you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What are you fucking waiting for? Just say it. All right, I'll say, say it. my thought. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I can't deal with this uh, shit. All right, I'm, I'm going to say my thought. Turn. I'll let yes, Ryan go. go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. My, both my Rose and Thorn actually came in the first, um, probably third. Rose, I loved the opportunity to talk with Tomat and try to c- convince him to give up the girl. That part was my favorite by far. And... Being able to use his low intelligence score against him to constantly flip it to his, your idea, your idea, your thoughts. Well, that was the most fun I've had in a while. Um, my thorn, also related to Tamat and saving the girl. Fuck, man. Was I when we decided to me. use our once in a lifetime teleport <laughs> to anywhere in the cosmos <laughs> to the front door. <laughs> Uh, that was pretty good. That was so ridiculous. It's like, you can have anything you want. They're like, I want to go home. <laughs> what, really? <laughs> but you came here of your own volition. Okay, sure. I guess we can undo that. <laughs> undo the whole swampy plot. And go back to where we started. <laughs> and the swamp is getting draining. Yeah, drain the swamp. Drain that swamp. <laughs> So oh, you'll go. Okay. Uh, my rose. We got to the combat. Thorn. Uh, I'm well, really bad. It just said yeah, I I think the combat ended poorly. <laughs> had to abandon. It's not over children. yet. Yeah. I'm bringing a new character next game just in case. Oh, this is definitely backup character week. <laughs> no, not for you on the broom thing. Well, no, I'm not talking oh, about really? for me. <laughs> you don't know that. Uh, true. Warlock fights suck. Yeah, that's true. If you go unconscious on the broom, you fall. So does the girl. Oh, for sure. Oh, don't do that, dude. That would be great. Oh. That would be the best shit. She slowed me down. It would just be one quick elbow. And that'd be <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta go. <laughs> you just go I'd be fast again. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. That was it? Door. Yep. I'd say my thorn is... I'd say my thorn is... I could be here all day. This is my house. It's all right. Go ahead. I won't bug you anymore. I'm just half... I'm just half joking. Uh, (laughs) I think it's that we all do have the same goals in mind, kind of, but different ways to do it. Different ways to go about it. And I guess it's kind of like uh, politics. You got two factions that are fighting for pretty much the same things and different ways to do it. And it becomes very conflicted. Um, Rose. Bunch of people trying to save the world. I don't even get just what you just said bad. there, but yeah, I guess. Well, like, my way to save the world is different than Temujin's way to save the world is different than your way. No, Temujin's just trying to save himself. Mm-hmm. Right? His, his world is small. Well, like. he wants to be <laughs> the girl in an awful, awful different <laughs> way. <laughs> Than we would, mm-hmm. or I think, nope. I think not. To, not uh, Oren. <clears throat> Oren doesn't really know that you're super evil. Temujin would say he's not super evil. <laughs> well, Temujin would say he's not super evil, but Ryan knows you're super evil. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think all people believe that they are not evil. Right. Actually, you did kind of say you wanted to feed her to the oh, hungry. Probably, undoubtedly. Yes. Yeah. I want to transfer her into a more hardy, uh-uh. survivable shell. See, that's shell. evil. <laughs> okay. 
That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> me walking <laughs> off from... <laughs> <laughs> you, you say it's more evil for me to go walk off and help Abner? I, hey, I followed you. I, just, I provided assistance. <laughs> You're going to watch me die, aren't you? He's going to laugh. Oh, it's going to be so great. All right, Rose. It's not Matt being upset. That's Ryan Rose. <laughs> that's, yeah. not, that's not Oren Rose. It's not about the game. Because in the game, I would say... Oh. I kind of like the wall fire. That was pretty cool. Big spell. It hit everything. It's like the one good thing I did all day. <laughs> True. You now understand the bliss that happened when you gave my bard that wall of ability. fire ability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's probably my rose. And I think I got it like two levels earlier than you did. Ryan <laughs> Rose is that Matt's at level four, maybe level five. <laughs> Come back down a little bit. It's cool. I go up. I go down. I will say, before we get too far from it, that that style of combat was kind of refreshing. I think we I think could use some fine-tuning, but it was real neat to see it as like a mm. feels really long, like lots of things are happening, we're going and going and going and going, but we didn't have to play through them at six seconds a turn. Yeah, because we would never end. Right. Like some fights do, like some, you know, there's protracted engagements between forces often, but if you had to go through it a turn at a time, and at some point too, I think like the haze of war just kind of descends and you sort of like, I'm swinging the sword, like I'm not dead, that's cool. Wait, there's a clearing in the, in the fighting for a second. And it's mm-hmm. not actually like medieval fighting because if you wanted to do a historic, like getting through plate armor, those fights took forever. Like forever. Mm-hmm. And we're done in 12 seconds. Yeah. 18 All seconds. of our huge epic dragon level fights are like, Hey, no. Yeah. Three <laughs> rounds pass. And you're like, oh, it's over already? It's yeah. like a high school fight. Mm-hmm. In less than 30 seconds, somebody's fucked up and it's over. I'll let you go, man. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know what to say about it. You want me to start with my rose? I want you to My rose just is this. Say it. My rose is this. Ryan's gonna fucking die next week <laughs> because I'm gonna pay Josh money, cash <laughs> fucking money, to make this shit happen. <laughs> that is my rose, and I'm oh, pretty sure no. there's money talks to Josh, right? It's not wrong. Oh boy, Josh, you're gonna be loaded. <laughs> you fucking loaded, brother. You want? You want? Is there, you want a, a, is there a werewolf? Just buy an insurance plan for me, bro. I already got one of these. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there a werewolf in disguise? <laughs> Yeah. I'm telling you, Brownie brother, face. I have all the faith in the world <laughs> that Orin's going to die, and it's fucking awesome. Oh, Boulder wow. City. Ooh. <laughs> I'll make sure to sit way far away. Yeah, you want swap seats? <laughs> okay, so here's my... Here's he my, might hit me, I don't know. No, no. Okay, so my real rose is... You know, like it was, a, it was a great game. Uh, uh, I guess my rose and thorn is the player conflict in here, and, the, and not being on the same page. Uh, that's my rose and thorn because yes, it does make it really interesting. Um, no, it does not like feel good when we're button heads constantly. Uh, yes, it is so awesome to split the party. No, it's not, because that's just, that's not really, like, you, you watch all the YouTube videos about not splitting the party, not splitting the party. It's just, like, I, you know, it's a team game, but then, like, you know, it's, it's I guess it just, it's, um, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Like why? I'm just, I'm just hearing. He just turned I'm just, around. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just that was hearing, great. I'm just I'm hearing. Fucking kill you, fuck the police. Fuck the, I mean, you're just like it's like like when like I really want to do like an insight check when we do it. Like I really want to talk about like meta gaming, like because there I think there is like a time and place to to fucking meta game. Like sometimes your character like. So you want to know what I think about this split? What? To me, I feel like we are presented with the option where we could all stick together, but we're probably going to watch everything fall besides us, and we still might fall, but we have to make a choice. Are we going to help support other buildings? 
I feel like we were put in that position on purpose. That's kind of a and yeah. There were conveniently four buildings at and the you, beginning. Yeah, and you and you got to make that decision for the entire group on your own. Welcome Damn to my it. world. <laughs> As a team, Tamat even said we stick together. I mean, I know you don't listen to Tamat. <laughs> I listen like, to Tamat. Words like, of why, wisdom. Why, why, why do you think we teleported to help we the little girl? We stick together. <laughs> if it was my choice, we wouldn't have come here. We'd have gone to the next tower. I guess that's my thorn. <laughs> I guess that my 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 true thorn because the battle and everything and Ryan splitting the party and dooming us all and getting assaulted by a demon. Right. I mean, assaulted. That's not. That's mm -hmm. not really. I'm. I'm joking. Like yeah, fucking angry it, it is down. what it is because we're just playing it. We're playing a fun game and we're rolling some dice, and uh, it's t it's fun to fuck around. My real thorn is it's like these plot hooks. Like they really grasp me. It's not just Tamat. Right. It's me. Yeah. Right. That's good. Like, like I want to know what's going on. So, but like, I'm gonna do everything I can. Just like Brian's gonna do everything he can to talk to Oz and do his little thing over there. Right. Mm -hmm. hey, I felt like we had some. Um we're figuring out what happens on the in-betweens for yep. once, instead of just Brian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, your characters are getting some insider knowledge. Instead of just fast Now you see why it's so intoxicating. <laughs> I mean, I love to do it, but I also know how much time it takes. No. It was fun. So that, yeah. So, like, it's just like, when do I listen to the group and just let it go? And when is it, like... Like I like. I don't know. Like, is it really that important that we save her? Like, what's jo what is Josh thinking? He probably doesn't give a shit. It's like <laughs> he's probably thinking <laughs> he yeah. forgot about her like, from last it's time. It's kind of like uh, we should have probably turned, went somewhere else. But yeah, I don't care what you guys do. Like, you guys do what you do. But my job is to try to make you feel emotionally invested in what's going on. And Brian's gonna die. <laughs> hey, nice. I'm invested. I went to help Abder. I want him to have his weird ass baby from his body. You wanted to have it? <laughs> well, he wants it, so I want him to be happy. I give a shit about Abder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. that was fun. That was fun. You didn't die. You thought you were going to die, but you That's didn't. True. No, I didn't. I didn't die. It's all right. You can watch me next week. We'll start with me dying. How about that? Oh, God, I can't wait. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> My vision will come true. I'm going to laugh so much. <laughs> no, no, so no, 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 no. I want everybody watching. We got we got over 70 people watching right now. Wow, really? We have so if you're here early enough we have next seven, week. People. We start at 730. By the time Ryan takes off his pants and gets comfortable, we probably start about 745 game-ish. Please show up by eight o'clock because I'm sure you're going to see Ryan just go. I think there's things that he could do that would keep him alive, but I don't know that he'll I'm do those survive. things. I'm going to survive. Oh, can you pay Josh more than I can? Because yeah. I can pay him a lot of money. <laughs> I I got you a birthday present. Yeah, you did. Did Matt get you a birthday present? How much is it worth? <laughs> it was worth. The time and effort I put into making him a zombie stick. Is it worth more than this? <laughs> what is that? Five bucks? <laughs> no, it's a $20 bill, yo. Oh, 20 bucks. Okay, all right. I mean, I don't know. I've killed Ryan twice. I'd feel bad if I intentionally killed him again, but I will give him the chance to die, I promise. <laughs> I mean, you set the bar with the two trolls and the wizard. Oh, I'm going to give him a chance, too. <laughs> <laughs> so when you show up next week, just be prepared for another character. This will be number four? Yeah, I'm going to have to update my shirt. <laughs> did you see what that? Did you say? What? Did you oh, see no, shirt? he was, no, he he was, was gone mm, last week. What shirt is it? Uh, I just took some fabric markers, and it's just a white shirt. And it says, Orin, crossed out. Elio, crossed out. Orin. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And Orin's going to be crossed out. <laughs> we can bring Elio back again? No. Let's go back Not the way he went out. <laughs> that was a mess. It was a mess. That was a mess. He's not yeah. coming back. Let me do some shout-outs before we go for the day. Um, yeah. So, Ron, the RBDM, thank you for your follow. Arby's. Onigiri Fluff, USC Lola Bunny, Pigeon Dirt, Jackaboom, Like a Jellyfish, 
Blue Penguin Craft and Iced Charfire. Thank you, everyone, for your follow. <laughs> Sometimes reading those names, it's like a writer's prompt. You're like, okay, <laughs> these are the words. Go have fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, like going through them all at the same time is also like, what did you just say? Did you just mm -hmm. speak yeah. some gibberish? <laughs> right. But they know their names, so we're giving you all a shout out because you, uh, you guys deserve it. Thank you for following. We'll be here next week, 7.30. I'll probably be dead by 8.30. And on with the campaign, it's as highly usual. Possible. This highly is about possible. how it goes. Maybe, maybe Central time. Just it. Maybe, Central maybe time. the robot and Temujin and I don't know. I learned he was mind. a person today. You guys are alive. Yeah. So regardless of these two die, we can keep going. Yeah. Plus, you guys, you guys can have your little frolic in heaven for a hundred days. you guys can days. stretch out <laughs> until will. about March. March is about when I'll have the next campaign ready. So it was January Josh's, Josh's heart just broke. <laughs> I like, we're, I said we're you mid guys. January, though. I said you guys. So if he ends the campaign like next weeks. week, then oh, if someone right. can take over for three okay. to six. It's not, okay. it's not far at all. Yeah, that's that's very doable. Yeah. Well, thank you all for coming. We'll see you next week. Thanks for sticking around for our extended session. Yeah, someone was saying Temujin should just uh, fly away and save the girl. But you should at least try to help. Oh, fuck no. He, he's for sure going to fly away there. in what? Yeah. <laughs> at least three quarters of that sentence are going to happen. <laughs> fly away in something. Save the girl. The girl. Yeah, right. Again, this is our, um, we see the problem in a different way. Yeah. Saving her might mean something completely different. If to this is him. Heroes, he's like Siler, all right? He's not fucking whatever his name is. The nice guy that tries to save the shooter. Peter? Adam? Yeah, he's not Peter. Was Peter. it Peter? Whoa, you were drawing. That's the way back yeah. machine. I was like, yep. I didn't even realize well, when what he was like, save the girl. I was like, save the cheerleader, save the world. Everyone was just like, blah, blah, and vomited oh, that out. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. This is totally save the cheerleader, save the world kind of shit, right? God, that season was so good. And then it just. Yeah, the first one. Season one was a shit. And Remember then the that second guy season that was just like. Shoot vision. So that was great. How many seasons was it? All right. It's like three or four. Yeah, man. One the second good. one wasn't even a season. Now we're just babbling. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.